Okay, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the broadcast. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. Getting things started today, we're going to go into the women's QS round of 48. <clears throat> Immediately following that, we're going to go into the round of 32 for the women's QS and rounding out the day with the junior men's round of 56. Coming up in this first heat, we're going to be seeing the surfers of the likes of Reed Von Wagner, Ellie Barimo, and Olivia Stower. <clears throat> that will be the first heat of the day. Currently in the water, we're looking at a three to four foot east northeast wind swell. We are currently at a dead low tide, so the waves should be pulsing throughout most of the day. A high tide coming up this afternoon about 1.30. So we got some big action on store for you today. Yesterday's culmination, we watched the men's QS, we went all the way down into the round of 32. So that is set for later on in the week. We're expecting potentially a nice pulse coming on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the event should wrap up over the weekend with some hopefully pretty sizable waves. So we're going to have to wait and see. So we're going to, we're going to cut to a highlight reel for yesterday's proceedings, so stay tuned and we'll be right back with the start of the women's QS round of 48. All right, we do apologize for that break in transmission. We're having some technical issues. So the last free surfer is making his way into the beach. We're going to look to start this off in just over a minute. So ladies, hold your positions. We're going to look to kick things off in just over a minute. Thirty seconds, ladies. We're coming up on thirty seconds. We are going to be running twenty-minute heats through this first round of forty-eight, and then going into the round of thirty-two, we're going to be at twenty-five-minute heats. Also, be running twenty minutes for the juniors. All right, ladies. Here we go. Count this one in. Ten seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we are live and direct. BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. This is the highest rated QS in the North American region. A lot of points on offer. We're going to be seeing. My screen goes dead. So I am... All right, here we go, up and riding, red, Reed Von Wagner, working it out onto the open face, goes up and over and out the back of that north set section. Want to wish everybody a good morning, and 
We're looking at Blue up and riding. Ali Barimo. She's got a little bit of an inside section to work with. She's going to be able to get around it. She kind of cuts back in the wrong spot there. And the wave just ran off from her. I want to wish everybody a good morning and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Louis Venezia. I'm paired up here with Jimmy Hogan and Simon Coles, local legend. What did you guys think of the event so far, guys? Uh, it's been spectacular surfing, and uh, I'm looking forward to the juniors right now and the women's. This is uh, the conditions right now are coming from the east and. It looks like we have a little bit longer walls. What do you think, Simon? Yeah, morning, everyone. Um, this morning, we're still waking up to four to five foot surf. It's definitely a dominant east swell. Um, and we're coming up to the high tide, which is mid-morning. So you're going to find there's some long, slopey walls from deeper today. And I was really pleased to see what we, we got yesterday. And on the lower tide, we're probably going to see the best waves this afternoon. But this morning is going to be a little bump on it, and the surfers are going to have to hunt around a little bit as the, the peaks are going to be scattered in about three different spots. But this is very competitive surf. Yeah, I've been seeing some little bit longer walls that look like uh, a little bit of a trussles look from a little deeper. So, uh, of course, you know I'm going to like that one. <laughs> you comparing trussles to soup bowl. <laughs> Not exactly, but the angle of the wall. Little, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got you covered. I know what you mean. Yeah, the, the, you know, yesterday we had very similar conditions in the morning. And as the sun comes out and, you know, gets a little warmer, the wind kind of swung around, swung around a little bit to the right as we were checking out Olivia Starr. This is her opening ride. So you're seeing just a 3.3 for blue and a 2.5 for Red's opener. We'll wait for the judges to write down their scores on this one. Go ahead. Olivia going up. She's cutting back into the power pocket and really attacking this thing with everything she's got. You know, what the wave has given her. She surfed it well. The wave just let her down some. What do you think, Simon? I think that was the first uh, score maybe of consequence in this heat so far. She picked up a bit of a, a wide wave, but it allowed her to do a, two nice open face carves. Um, we've got some nice waves approaching. Yeah, and here we go, Reed Wagner. Reed Von Wagner, she's on a nice second wave as well. Yeah, as you said, that was the best of the heat. Surfer in white dropping a 4.6. As we go back to red, working her way to the inside and she just comes unglued a little bit and she goes down. So some, a lot of points on offer of this event. Our breaking down, last of red. She picked up a, a mid-size set wave, was able to get a good first opening carve. This is all set up work trying to make the connection on the inside where it starts to get a little chattery and she starts to get some work done. So she'd be looking for a mid-range score there. 15 minutes and 15 seconds left. 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Priority blue. Second priority white. We're actually seeing the surfers now go up almost above soup bowl into the higher section um, of the wave, which is called middles, or approaching almost higher up. But on this easterly swell, we can see waves connect all the way through. We've seen quite a few this morning. Um, and that will be kind of working towards the higher tide. On the lower tide, the wave will shift back down into the bowl. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching these heats this morning. There's a lot of talented girls here in this uh, competition. Uh, I've been sitting out there in the in the bowl and it's like a hornet's nest. I couldn't get away from them. They're just, they're all, they, they, they have that wave covered. From even the weekend, they're all over the island surfing west, the south coast, and you know, the girls are aggressive and they, they, they come here not just to compete, but to 
actually capitalize and ride as many waves and get the experience of all the best waves in Barbados. Um, the girls were really surfing drill hall well over the weekend because we had a, about a five, six foot swell down there. Yeah, it's great to see them pushing their level. So here we go, Blue Ellie Barimo. She just is up and out. So priority will sit with the surfer in white on the outside by herself. Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, after Molly and Caitlin and Hawaii did those big performances, it inspired all these young women to attack it more because I'm, I'm seeing a lot more attack. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting for women surfing right now. Yeah, I've seen some really good surfing by the ladies, and the ladies have definitely stepped up their game. They're, they're surfing critical. They're using their reel. They're understanding really what good surfing is. And they're not scared. They'll, they'll pile out in the bigger conditions as well. All right, so situation of water. Red is in first position, sitting on a 3.6 and a 2.5. White, you are in second position with a single wave of a 4.6. And blue, you are in third with a 3.3 and a 0.5. So white, you require a 1.5 to move up. And blue, you require 1.2, 12 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And red, red, you are now have third priority. All right, here we go, Red. Going left, nice big downturn. She's got something in front of her and throws it up into the lip, so she is the current heat leader. Picking off that little left, ending that wave right in front of the dry reef. Okay, waiting for the, see if they'll queue up the replay on that. That was a nicely surfed wave. And we on the outside, this is white. Olivia Storer, nice wrapping cutback, working it on onto the open face, throws it up in the lip, and finishes strong. She's going to look to get around this section, and she's going to kick out the bat as that wave offered no more scoring potential. Uh, here's the breakdown of red. Going left, lovely first hit. Got a lot of torque on that first turn, and a second follow-up so far left. She got two good turns in. And White, White takes off on a little bit bigger wave out the side, brings it all the way back to the pocket, does a big power turn here, and finishes uh, with a good re-entry there. It's uh, good to see these girls, you know, having some fun out there as well, huh? All right, last of red, five, six, seven. So waiting for White. I'll update the situation. So last of red, 5.67, 10 minutes, 30 seconds, 35 seconds remaining. All right, so priority goes blue, red, white. Blue, red, white. Last of white, 5.67, so white, you go to first. Red, you drop to second. Red, you now require a 4.6, and blue, you are third. You require a 6.0. 10 minutes, five seconds remaining. Yeah, White's transitional turns from one move to the next out there were pretty uh, smooth. What do you think, Simon? Honestly, looking, looking back at that replay, I would think that surfer in White would have got the better of that exchange. She was able to get three outside maneuvers and she wasn't even that interested in trying to make the inside connection. But I saw two outside hits on a lovely full real turn. So I think the judges have got it right. Yeah, well, white and red both have a high score of a one wave of a five, six, seven. All right, here we go, live action white. She's up and riding. Nice vertical re-entry, another nice re-entry. Out onto the open face. Setting up this inside, sticking with this one. So with nine minutes, five seconds remaining, that is the heat leader, Olivia Storer.
Priority blue, red priority second. So break, break a notice replay of white, Olivia. She has a, a good first hit, actually drifts the tail on a second hit in the north section. Hung up for a second, but she comes around out and still was able to do a clean wrap. This young lady can serve well. She has a lovely style, body English is on point, and she connects it all the way through. Another good wave by White. All right, here we go, Red, swinging into this one. Nice top turn off the lip. Working her way to the inside. She is currently sitting in second position, sitting on a 5.6, looking to get rid of a 3.6. You can see one of our sponsors logo there on the screen in for rentals thank you very much for your support breaking on the replay here of last of red she was able to get a lovely outside first turn and the wrong host caught back she actually put a little flare on it was able to get the tail engaged there um connection was kind of weak so two outside maneuvers we'll see what the judges make of that yeah she's looking to better that 3.67 Yeah, I think she needs to still a little bit better wave choice on would help her out. That one had like not much wall in front of her, so she did as much as she could, but it didn't really give her enough opportunity. All right, we see that score coming in at 3.5, so that score does not factor in. So Surfer in red, you're still looking for that 5.0. As blue paddled for that wave, she will go back in the order priority will be going to white so a little bit of a mistake there by the surfer in blue paddling for that wave not being able to get into it so she gives up her priority so with five minutes 59 seconds remaining the heat leader olivia will retain priority that's where you want to be in the driver's seat when in the heat with priority you don't know how many times we saw yesterday the top seeds with that priority, White, you are currently in first position, White. You have a 5.6 and a 5.03. Red, you are in second. You have a 5.6 and a 3.6. And Blue, you are in third. You have a 3.3 and a 0.5. Blue, you require a 6.0. Red, you require, well, to go to first, you will need a 5.0. All right, four minutes, 30 seconds remaining. So servers in heat number two, you ladies can be paddled out. Just want to remind you, please stay in the channel. Please stay down in the channel.
Shout out to Brad Hurst, who's watching the competition, giving a thumbs up to everybody here. And uh, three minutes and 50 seconds, priority white, second priority blue, third priority red. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Had plenty of waves in this heat, Lou. What do you think? Yeah, um, you know, some quality waves. Not, it's, it's a little slow out there, but what waves we do have definitely have a lot of scoring potential. And the girls are. Yeah, next heat can paddle out, next heat. Just a reminder, ladies, please stay inside the channel. Thank you very much. All right, coming up, two minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Situation in the water remains the same. Surfer in white, first position. She's sitting on a 5.6 and a 5.03. That gives her a 10.72 wave heat total. Down Surf to the two-minute bell there. Yep, and the surfer in red, she's sitting on a 5.6 and a 3.6. The surfer that is desperately looking for a wave would be that surfer in blue. She wants to move up to, into that advancing position. She will require a 6.0. As a set approaches the lineup, the girls are moving. So I can see what's going on. So can they. And Ellie, with second priority, way up inside. And she's not going to be able to get around that white water. So she goes down. Ellie's surfing with a little bit of an injury. <clears throat> coming in contact with a stonefish on the reef earlier this week <clears throat> putting her hand down on the reef and she got hit by it thank you Fifty seconds remaining, fifty seconds remaining. Priority white, second priority red. All right, here we go. Red with second priority. She's going to try and hold off blue. <clears throat> or better, that 3.6. She's going to do it with quality maneuvers like that. Out onto the open face, cutting it back. She's going to stick with it. She had a nice outside turn. Reed Von Wagner just getting a little too far ahead of this. She's going to come back left. And then Blue, she's going to try and answer. Ellie Barimo out onto the open face. And here we go, counting it down. Three, two, one. So this wave for Blue will count. So let's see where that goes. <clears throat> red getting the opener on that exchange so we're waiting for a score for red and then for blue so ladies in the next heat here we go with red's replay attacks that first lip comes around the has a little misstep there but continue on all the way through but that first turn was dynamic and it had a smoother face than most of the other waves looked she made the most of it on the way in. Simon, what do you think? Here, take the other replay. Uh, now we're looking at the replay of Blue. Blue picked up a nice mid-sized wave. We offered her a little wall. She got a first check snap. She's just doing redirection work, trying to set up the inside connection. Here she gets it. 
And then she gets one final hit, basically, here. That that would be her, probably her best wave of the heat. Yeah, I think so, too. But we got to watch that wave of red. She did have a solid outside turn. The scores are dropping. She's definitely going to go. It's definitely going to be her best. And server in blue, it's definitely going to be her best. So the last of red was a 5.77. So blue, you now require a 6.43. Your score coming in at a 4.27. So not enough, so official results, red first, white your second, moving on into the round of 32. So ladies in the water, stand by. We're gonna take this opportunity to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number two in this round of 48. Stay tuned. to live action. Coming up in this heat in the red jersey, we have Ava Wagner followed by blue. Daya McCart in white. Fabia Akala and in green, Felice Castasio. Castasio. Sorry if I'm butchering your names. This is the first time I've ever seen them. Usually I look before I speak, but not this time, so I got burned by it. <laughs> So those of you watching, tuning in, you want to know any more information about Barbados, just visit barbados.org. It really is a beautiful place, as you can see by that last advertisement. Tons of things to do here. We've got everything from surfing to sailing to fishing, hiking. We have a, one of the, a cave that's fully guided. Tremendous amount, tons of restaurants. There we go, drawing first blood, green, up and writing. And she goes up and out the back. <laughs> Seeing a little texture on the water. Um, surfers. Need to move around a little bit and hunt out what are the best waves today. Still, although we have an east well, there's no rip running through the lineup yet. We've been very fortunate with that. But the, today is an east swell, so you ought to definitely look all around. Here we go up and right in green. And she just goes out the back, so just a couple of offers for her, a 0.83. And she looking at 0.67 right now, so early going in this heat, red. It's gonna pull the trigger on this one. This wave's gonna get a little doubled up on this inside reef. That's a nicer looking wave. Out onto the open face, cutting it back. Ava Wagner throwing it up vertical on that last section. And on the outside, white, we're going to pick up with her. This is the second turn. Throws it. Nice, nice maneuver. She's working it all the way to the inside. Oh, and she finishes strong. So I like that one. What would you think about that one? We'll watch this replay and then break it down for you. Yeah, th that wave just kept pulling, and just kept giving her maneuver after maneuver. Red on, takes off on the outside, looking for this wave to reform for. Gets a little bit of a wall, comes into a roundhouse cutback, attacks the lip, 
really smoothly, kicks out of that one on the replay. And here we go with white. This is a, carves it up, back to the power pocket. I don't know why this. It, it attacks it with another off the lip. Gets around it, cuts back, and makes the most out of this wave, and then even gets a finish on the inside. So that, she should be happy with that on the start of the heat there. Okay, so we're still waiting for these scores to drop. I think they're going to be the two best of the heat, two quality waves. So the score for white is trickling in, the score for red trickling in. Looks like white is going to get the better of the situation. Green, she's up and riding. Out on the outside, she's got some wave ahead of her, going to look to get around this section. Nice little wrapping cut back. Another little wrapping cut back. So the first of red, 383. Three. And blues giving this one a look. She's up and riding. So here we go. She's looking to get into the mix with these other two girls as well as green. Couple quality maneuvers there. And she'll kick out the back. So last of white, four, six, seven. So white getting the better of that exchange. But now waiting on blue. And then I'll break down this situation for you. I'm watching a replay of green here. She picks up a white wave, was able to get one outside carve. On a second. She got hung up there for a little bit. So I don't think I'll be keeping her in. Watching the replay of blue. She gets one first outside snap. Wave goes very soft, so she has to squeal back to round house cutbacks. She's able to link two of those quality cutbacks together. Okay, last of blue, 287. Last of green, 2.5. So server in white, you are in first position. Server in blue, you are in second position. You have a 2.8 and a 1.3. Server in red, you are in fourth position with a single wave of a 383. And surfer red, you require just a 0.34. And surfer in green, you are in fourth with a 2.5 and a 0.83. You require a 1.6. 13 minutes remaining. So priority order, red, white. Red, then white. We're waiting for blue and green to get back to the lineup. There we go, blue giving this one a look. She's up and riding, coming around the first section. Nice little down car, setting up this inside. Stall and wait for it. So servers in the next heat, number three, you should be checking in. Mia Moore in red, Maddie Stanton in blue, Charty Eastwood in white, and Bahia Fridiana, she is in green. Replaying last of blue. Was able to get quite a few maneuvers done on that small wave. This young lady seems to be getting a bit of a rhythm now. As last we cut to live action, this is surfer in white. We'll get you that replay as soon as the wave is done. She had some nice outside maneuvers. She's currently sitting in second position with just a single wave of a 4.6. So this wave will definitely go into her score line. Potentially could be her best. It's gonna come in right around that mark where she is right now. So here's the replay. She comes off the bottom on that first turn. Just a little setup turn, but she's looking at the inside. And here she goes, comes on hard off the bottom. A nice 
a quality move, but she gets a little wobbly there. And then she gets busy on the inside. All right, last of white, 5-1-0. So white to first, blue, you drop to second. As we watch red up and riding on a bigger one of the set, but she was a little too deep. And on the outside, we have green setting up for this one. Here we go. She's up and riding on a nicer looking wave. Oh boy, and she just comes undone, but that wave is gonna roll off right onto the reef. That had more scoring potential than any wave so far in this heat. It was unfortunate that she came unstuck. So yeah, we saw Surfer in white dropping a, a 5.1 on her last effort. Last of blue, 297. So red, you are currently in third, sitting on a 3.83 and a 0.77. You require a 2.1, sorry, 2.01. And green, you're fourth, requiring a 3.3. Yeah, breaking down that last exchange, uh, Surfer and White, although she picked up a frothy, white, watery inside wave, it did offer a lot of inside wall. And she was able to capitalize with three quality maneuvers. Um, with a little bit of wind and the direction swell, there is a bit of bump on the face, and surfers need to be aware of that. Keep a low center of gravity. If you don't want to be too straight up, you're going to be bucked off pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to take this opportunity to cut to the glass for the St. Luke interview with the heat winner of the last heat, Reed Wagner, Von Wagner. Here we are by the St. Luke last to interview the first woman, woman of the event. Reed Van Wagner, yeah. <laughs> who won uh, Heat One, Round One of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. You were just like me, first time in Barbados. How is it adjusting to those waves? It's amazing. I mean, the waves are definitely a little difficult to get to get to know, but once you do, they're amazing and fun, and I'm just so grateful to be here. Yeah, very lucky to get to surf Subo with just a few other girls out right yeah it's so much different than free surfing <laughs> i mean like there's a bunch of people out in free surfing so you kind of know where to sit and then when you go out there with like two other girls you're like wait like i have to position myself <laughs> yeah but it was amazing it's fun to just get going on waves and catch waves yeah and that cross swell is still not making it very easy to try and find the right positioning at the lineup but you managed to uh score a decent you know a couple of decent waves so that's a good confidence boost there 100 percent, yeah I mean, definitely with the bumps, it's a little tricky, but just getting over those bumps and trying to, like, surf the wave as best as you can, it's such a great feeling. All right, that's great. You want to say a little something for friends and family, maybe, back in California? Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks to my mom. She woke up at 5 this morning to watch my heat. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Mom. I love you. And thank you, Billabong, and everyone who has supported me through this. And can't wait to surf the next round. All right, sounds good. Good luck for the next one. Thank See you, you again on the glass, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay, back to live action while we were on that short interview break. There were no waves ridden, but we're seeing Green putting herself in position. Blue has higher priority, so Green's going to give way to Blue. There we go, up in the lip, Surfer and Blue. Can she get around that section? And she kicks out. But that wave was going to reform on the inside for her. She did some work on the outside though, that was a big hit. So for those of you that don't understand the priority, blue was a higher priority than green. Green was able to stand up on that wave as long as she did not interfere with the scoring potential of blue. Therefore, you saw her kick out very quickly. It's a pretty severe penalty. You actually lose an entire wave if you interfere with the surfer with a higher priority. In my opinion, it was the best thing the WSL has done. It really leveled out the playing field. Remember those days, Jim? All that jockeying, jostling, and surfing, paddling right next to each other, grabbing each other's hair, <laughs> trying to get any kind of advantage you this could. Guy, a guy with the longest arms that could uh, <laughs> get the better paddle, like Mark Richards, yeah. <laughs> full time yeah. world champ. I've seen surfers paddle on top of other surfers. All right. Last of blue. Last of blue, 5.5. So red, you now require a 
and green, you now require a 597. So blue, Dana, just with that one hit getting rewarded by the judges, it was a bigger wave, critical section. She went up and smashed it. She could have linked that one up with a couple more inside turns. That could have gone into the sevens for sure. Yeah, with five minutes and 35 seconds left, we've got red in the lead, uh, wait, white in the lead, blue in second, red in third, green in fourth. And again, they're looking for major power for, power for combinations and the most critical sections with quality maneuvers, progressive, powerful combinations the judges will be looking for. Five minutes. So ladies in the next heat, you're free to paddle out, ladies. You're free to paddle out. Please stay down in the channel. We'll give you five minutes to paddle out, and we will give you enough time to get from the channel into the lineup and get yourself settled. So please stay in the channel. The best way of doing it is once you see the judge's tower, do not pass it. That's the best way to describe it. Thank you. There we go, live action. We're looking at Red. She's currently in third position, and she goes up and out the back. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. White is in the lead. Blue is in second. Red is in third. Battle on the inside by Red. Well, here we go, Red up and right, and she goes out the back. She's hunting, she's looking for a six. Sorry, she's looking for a 4.6. Yeah, Blue's looking for a 4.27 to take the lead. Red's looking for a 4.65 to advance, and green is looking for a 597 to advance. With three minutes left, priority white, second priority green, third priority blue, and fourth priority red. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. See the drone above them getting some great footage this morning. Paddle green. Priority right. change. First priority white, followed by blue, then red. So green will go to fourth priority. A little bit of a mistake there. She is looking for a 5.9 to move up into that advancing position with two minutes remaining. So once a surfer makes a vested attempt at a wave and does not catch that wave, they will lose their priority. Hence what just happened. We have one minute and 15 seconds, ladies. One minute and 15 seconds. Priority white. Paddle for green on the inside. Up and riding. Green doing a nice bottom turn, hitting the lip. 
Wade n just not offering that much for her. Fifty seconds left. Here would break down that green. She just gets a really nice hit here, but the wave doesn't seem to give her much more after that. Okay, so that goes in your score line. You stood you now require a five point nine, but that puts you in third with thirty seconds remaining as we see blue up and right and she's trying to hold on to that second position. Looking to better at 2.97. That will raise the requirement for red and also green. With 15 seconds remaining. Ten seconds. There we go in five, four, three, two, and one. So that ends seat number two. Ladies in the next heat. We're on a short hold, so hold your positions. We're on a short hold. So official results of heat number two. In first position, server in white, she will be advancing into the round of 32 coming on later on today, and as well as the server in blue. Coming in third and fourth will be green and then red. So we're going to cut to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number three. In this round of 48, stay tuned. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, welcome back to the pro broadcast. Coming up in this heat, we're going to see Mia Moore in red, Maddie Stanton in blue, Charlie Eastwood in white, and Bahia Fredia, Fredia in green. So there were no waves ridden while we were on that short break as my TV goes black. Back up now, okay. Yeah, one of my most entertaining things with the heat start, Lou, is out here is uh, the positioning. It's always fun to watch how they line up to start this heat. You know, everyone has their own spot where they're going. So it's the strategy is kind of like a chess game. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. This, you know, beginning of the heat, there is no priority. So it is conventional priority order surfer closest to the peak has right away to that wave once every surfer catches a wave or the first three surfers in the heat catch a wave priority will be established it's, it's, a, it's much of a strategy trying to catch the first wave some servers don't some servers won't even battle for it they'll just let the other three servers catch the first wave and they will automatically go to priority and then they sit wait get really selective especially on a day like today where the waves <clears throat> are a little slower. Uh, we got an incoming tide, so the tide is now changing, and the waves get a little slower, but you know it builds its form. A lot less in between waves, just set waves that are coming in. But there is plenty of scoring potential, getting at least four or five opportunities for every heat. Yeah, for me, it's not really about catching the first wave, Lou. It's about catching that first quality wave. So that's why the chess matches so important at the beginning for me. Uh, I like to see who is the one that picks that quality wave and gets the major uh, maneuvers in the critical section to pop that first score. Yeah, absolutely, that's good advice. Jimmy is also, not, not to mention a multiple national champion, world champion, ISA champion, he's also a great coach. And he does have some accolades behind him put some surfers on the world tour. Also, his motto, you got to know it to live it, or live it to know it. Got to live it to know it. You got to live it to know it, and you know it because you've lived it. <laughs> I don't ride bulls, and I don't know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you always tell your surfers, make the first wave count, and it, it's so, so important to start the ball rolling 
on a good note with a good wave and a good score. And, you know, it just kind of relaxes you and it, it, it gives you 20 minutes or 15 minutes to just wait for one more good one. And then you're ahead of the game, you know? Well, it changes also, like in conditions, Lou. Like when you're in Florida, you can throw the dice a lot more. We're going to be going down to the class here, Lou, so take a break. Yep, we're going to take it down for the winner of the last heat. Here we are back at the St. Louis Glass with the winner of heat number two, round one of the women QS BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you, Fabiola? Super stoked to be here, happy, and yeah, happy to make my first heat. Yeah, that's good, that's always a little, little booster there, and you were telling me you took a little break and you're finally back. Nice to uh, open up here in Barbados in warm water. Yeah, I took a little two-year break from the QS and surfing as well, and Nothing, I'm just back, feeling good. Uh, it's a little bit tricky out there, but I felt in rhythm, so super stoked. Well, rhythm is key for sure over there when conditions are not that easy. How is it compared to where you're from in Puerto Rico? It's kind of similar. Here it's a little bit more windy, a little bit more movement in the water, um, but there's a really similar wave back at home. It's called Middles. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be here, warm water. <laughs> warm water. <laughs> All right, well, good luck for the next one. You want to give a little shout to the family, a little higher up in the Caribbean, maybe? <laughs> Hola, los quiero mucho. Gracias a todo el mundo. Mi, mi, mi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we are, back to live action as White finding this little nugget. She did get one little outside maneuver, She's working it to the inside. Nice little vertical re-entry. Kind of cut that one a little short. She realized that, made that adjustment on the way up the lip. Otherwise, that may have taken her out. So we'll look to see if we can get that replay and see what that first turn was on the outside. 14 minutes and 35 seconds. Replay by White here. S turning it all the way through, waiting for this wave to stack up. Get a maneuver in here on the inside. Just kind of miss that one. I'm sure she'll get back out there and look for a better wave. But she's got one under her belt. Yep, that wave earned her a 3.5 for that attempt, that effort. And here we go, up and riding in blue. She's throwing it up in the section as the waves start to get a little bumpy. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit more out of the east. And on the outside, green up and riding. With 13 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. As we await the judges' result for this score of blue. Blue on the replay, it looked like this wave split in two, but she took the high road, stayed on the steeper part of the wave. Does a nice transitional turn, waiting for something to stack up, but it doesn't. She kicks out. Meanwhile, out the back, Green got a little bit bigger section to do a better turn in, but the wave faded out. Red's up and riding. Yeah, so back to live action. Red up and riding. It's a series of cutbacks. So all four girls now are on the board. Last of blue coming in at a 2 3 3, and last of green. Coming in at a 3.9. We're looking here at this replay for red, just a couple of small cutbacks. Yeah, they're all looking for that wave to stand up in front of them so they could actually show their surfing glue. It's just the waves have been letting them all down just a little bit, but I'm sure they'll find something. Yeah, that wave earned her a 1.93 for her attempt, as you can see. One of our main sponsors on your screen, Mount Gay Rum. That is the oldest rum distillery in the world, right here in Barbados, the oldest rum in the world. As we look at the ocean coming to life, this is probably one of the bigger sets of the day for sure. The girls all see it. 
And blue, she's gonna turn, but green has the priority. This girl's been coming here for years. She knows this wave and she's not afraid of it. Working it out onto the open face, two nice down carves as she works her way to the inside. And she goes out the back. As we look yeah. at this. Green gets his bigger set on the replay, makes the most of her, the first power pocket, and cuts back to let this thing line up. Unfortunately, the wave kind of let her down, but she really worked this wave all the way in, waiting for something to let her, to let her uh, do something, but the wave just faded out. Yeah, here you go. You see the scores trickling in, and that's exactly what I was thinking, somewhere right around that 6.5 range. Coming in at a 6.33 for green, 6.33. So green, you go to first. White, you drop to second. White, you are sitting on a 3.5. Blue, you are thir third. You're sitting on a 2.3. You require a 1.1. And red, you are fourth. You're sitting on a 1.9. You require 1.5. 10 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Yeah, all the points came from that first turn in the big pocket there where she's able to open that board up all the way around. So uh, that's where most of the point scoring points came from with a nice transitional turn for the next one. Just unfortunately the way let it down, otherwise that score would have been quite higher. What do you think, Simon? Well, definitely the judges seem to be looking for the outside more, more critical turns and they're not really being that um, harsh on the wave size. They're just looking for waves that given quality, clean outside turns. Um, today, the girls got to hunt around. Um, Subo can be a little bit flatter on this east swell in terms of wave face, but you, if you, you can s slip in some of the double ups, they are still good quality waves. There we go, white, way, way, way up inside. She's not gonna get around that section as also, the other girls are halfway to parlor as the other peak. <laughs> They're catching waves from up there. They were catching waves from up there last night, surfing them all the way to the inside. As we see a bigger wave on the outside, she's going to have to get some legs on her. Just that one maneuver, she's going to turn and go back left. So not a bad series of maneuvers on that wave. But she actually created her own turn there by going right and then re redirecting to the left and got a big power pocket section to hit. So that was that was nice. Break down, Simon. Yeah, breaking down last of red. She just was able to do a little fade and then cut back, then she turned back left and get a finish. Both those turns were a bit lateral. We'll see what the judges think of that. All right, last, last of red, 3.6. So red, you go to second. White, you drop to third. White, you now require a 2.0. And blue, you are fourth. You now require a 3 to one Eight minutes remaining. So surfing in red from way up inside, catching that right, but then redirecting, going left and getting... Couple of nice maneuvers, earning her a 3.6. So server's in the next heat, number four. You should be checked in and ready to go. Kiana Miller, Molly Tushin, Sophia Gamble, and Arena Vargas. I think the whole Vargas family's here. I think there's three of them here. Seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Here we go, Blue. She's looking for a mid-range score. She can't quite negotiate that, and this is gonna be green. She pulls back, so she loses her priority. So priority order, white, then red. 
With six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Red, you're currently in second position. Your last wave coming in at a 3.6. White is in third, requiring a 2.04. And blue is in fourth, requiring a 3.2. So white with a higher priority up and riding. She is looking for a score. Out onto the open face, that's the second maneuver. Here we go, blue on the inside. Oh, nice quality turn, but she goes down, comes undone. Seems the girls are really hunting around and moving around in the lineup and they're having a little trouble actually finding themselves in the right spot. We're watching red here. Out onto the open face, a little down curve. Cutting back this inside section. Eyeing up this north section. Here she goes, throws it up in the air. And she hangs on to the maneuver. A little swan dive at the end. So she just requires... Breaking down the last of red. She gets it outside for a snap. She's setting it back up, redirecting to the pocket, looking to make the inside connection here. Pumping her in, and she gets one last hit on the end. So we've got to see what the judges think about that. Yep, that's going to shake things up. She doesn't need a big score to move into advancing position. So you can see one score on the board. And with five minutes remaining, blue up and riding. She is currently in third, fourth position. She too doesn't need a big score. And as we shift to the surfer in green, she is the current heat leader. Big smash off the top. She's going to redirect left. So we got scores for all three surfers, leaving the surfer in white. Charlie Eastwood on the outside by herself with priority. So red is going to be the first to drop. Here's blue on, on the replay, does a nice snap, gets a, a, a nice lined up wave, does three snaps in a row, just loses the third one. But that wave had a lot more to offer than the other one. And green out the back, gets this and comes into the big power pocket and does one of the major turns right there, and that's where all her points are gonna come from. So that's so that was Surfer from France in green. Probably getting the best of that exchange with a big outside maneuver. She picked that up, that wave way deep. I was able to actually hit the section where most girls are taking off. Okay, last of red, 4.43. I still need a score for green and blue. And then I'll update the situation. Three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. So blue, blue, you drop a 5.27. Okay, so blue, blue, you go to third. Red, you go to second. So red, you are currently in second. Blue, you are currently in third. You require a 2.7. And white, you are currently in fourth. You require a 4.5. Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Blue, your last wave came in at a 5.2. And red, your last wave come in at a 4.4. Still waiting for the score for green, who is in first place. It's not going to change your situation. It is going to be your best. All right, last of green, 693. So green first, red second, blue third. Blue, you need a 2.7. And white, you are fourth. You need a 4.5. Two minutes. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Yeah, that last wave of green, you know, she uh, got a little bit bigger wave and did the most explosive turn, and she got... Red, you are in second position. Your last wave was a 4.4. Blue is in third, requiring a 2.76. White is in fourth, requiring a 4.5. Two minutes remaining. Back to Green's last wave. 
Uh, she she got that big power major critical turn, and that's where all her points came from. So. Yeah, that was a bigger wave as well. So here we go, Blue. She's looking for a score. Maddie Stanton, and she goes down. So with one minute, 46 seconds remaining, she will go to fourth priority. We go blue up and right and on the inside on the inside. Yikes. All right, ladies in the next seat, hold your positions. I'm gonna give you more than enough time to get in position, I promise. Fifty seconds remaining. Priority with Surfer in white. She held that priority for a long, long time. Let's see if it's gonna pay off for her. She goes under that set with 30 seconds remaining. So last of blue, 207. Not enough, you're still requiring that 2.76. With 15 seconds remaining. All right, 10 seconds. We're going to count this one in in three, two, one. So that ends the heat. Ladies, in the next heat, please hold your positions. We're going to be on a short hold. So official results of heat number three, round of 48, advancing in first position green, Bahia Fridiani. Also advancing in red, Mia Moore. So surface in the next seat. Please hold your positions. We're gonna cut to a short commercial break and we'll be right back with live action heat number four, round of 48. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back to live action. As you see, the two advancements on your screen, server in green and server in red. So they will move on to the round of 32 coming up a little later on today. Coming up in this heat, in the red jersey, we have Kiana Miller in white and blue, Molly Tushin in white, Sophia Gambio, and in green, Arena Vargas. As we look at server in white, Couple of nice little top turns. Blue giving this one a look. Molly, she's been coming here for quite some time as well. I think this is Sophia's first time here. Seems to have figured out this wave quite well as we watch this replay. Breaking no last of white. She picked this up, this, this wave way above the Super Bowl peak, was able to get one carve in and then a last hit. Surfers are Interestingly, have moved way up the point. Um, girls are actually now way up into high rock. You know, they're they've actually left the Super Bowl peak. And sometimes these waves can be a bit of an optical illusion up there, where it looks a lot easier, a lot more waves. Than when you get up there, it can be quite difficult. But I don't know if this is jockeying for position, but they have now put put themselves out the main peak.
So first of white, 317. First of white, 317. So White will go to fourth priority once she gets back to the lineup. Here we go, blue, she's gonna pull the trigger. Molly up and right in. So she's gonna get something on the inside. It's gonna double up for her. There she goes, getting busy now. Oh, and she, nerves get the better of her and she goes down. So she surfed that wave a long way and did no maneuvers. So red, she's gonna give this one a paddle. She can't quite get into that one. Again, speed, power, and flow were the most quality maneuvers Lou was going to hear. I, I, with Blue on this wave, it just looked like she lost some of her speed. So I think that's why she ended up digging the rail here. But uh, she's riding it, working it all the way in. And see, she catches that rail there and then stands up. And then the wave flattened out. But again, they're looking for the most quality turns on the outside in the power pocket with more speed, power, and flow with transitional maneuvers from one to the next. All right, here we go, green. She is up and riding, so that will hand priority to the surfer in red, followed by white. As arena. Series of a couple turns, so last of blue, 1.5. So still waiting on that score for green. So manufacturing a nice little score. A couple of maneuvers. Uh, 327 for green, 3.27 green. So priority sits with red, then white. Fourteen, fourteen minutes remaining. We're cutting back to re a replay of green here. Pick this wave up, all up in high rock, doing some setup work, redirecting two little carves. And she gets one little inside hit, throws some water, so that might be a, a score at the end of this. talking about one of those lionfish, right? Those yeah, blue? stonefish. Not, not the typical lionfish that you would think of. They're more or less fish that just sit on the bottom as we watch green up and right in. She's surfing it. All right, we're gonna cut down to the glass for the winner of the last heat. Standing by with Amaya is Bahia Frediani. Here we are by the Saint Louis glass with Bahia Frediani who just won heat three, round one of the women's side of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. So pretty slow start of the heat, right? Yeah. But then you managed to find those two six points, so that's great. Yeah, it was really hard to find the good ones in the water, but I'm happy with my surfing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're showing a lot of power. How about that one turn that got you a 693? That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. But yeah, I really like to surf this wave, and I'm happy to surf backside too. <laughs> 
Yeah, like what is the wave that looks the most like this one at home? Maybe Ange Bertrand? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I mean, you're doing great over there, so hopefully it continues on to the next round. You want to sell us something uh, for your friends and family in Guadeloupe? Yeah, uh, bah, merci à tout le monde qui me suit. Et, uh, je suis trop contente d'être de retour à la Barbade et on va tout donner. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. Bonne chance pour le prochain tour. <laughs> Wait, your third. All right, we're back to live action. So last of green coming in at a 5.0 and the last of blue coming in at a 2.37. So green is first. As we look at here at red up and riding, Kiana Miller opening her account. Nice big hack off the top on the outside. She's going to stick with it, get back out on the open face. And that's all that offers her. So she goes out the back. So took her out. Nine minutes, eight minutes to catch that wave. But it'll get her on the board. She did do a nice outside maneuver. Yeah. Up from the queue back up that replay. Uh, Server in red, Kelly Miller from the States. She picks this up here about all the way up in High Rock and she did a lovely for outside, close to vertical hit there. Let go a lot of water and she stuck with this wave, was able to get around it. Not much else after, but the judges will reward an outside maneuver. Back to live action. This is the heat leader, Arena Vargas. Very, very talented young surfer from Peru. She's working her way all the way to the inside. She did have a couple of major maneuvers on the outside. A good looking wave. It's going to come in as her best, and we're watching this score for red dropping. So here's the replay. Yeah, Green picks up a nice lined up wave with multiple opportunities here for her, and she's taking advantage of it by hitting the lip. Coming around the, the section, hits the lip again. She gets, keeps the power and the speed going and the flow all the way to the end of this wave with a nice finish. So back to live action. We're seeing red earning a five, six, seven on her last effort. And we're waiting for this score for green. It's going to go up there, I'm sure. Yeah. 10 Th minutes remaining, priority blue, second priority white. So recapping what we just saw, the last two exchanges between, that would have been green and red. Looking like Green has probably picked up the best wave of the heat so far. And here's the last replay of Red. Johnny Miller from the United States. Gets one outside check's turn. She picked this up with wave, but a bit wide, was able to complete another snap. There's a little chatter on this face, but she was able to do as much as she could with that. So that would be her first backup. Well, you see a score starting to drop for the surfer in red. Last of green, 473. Last of red, 367. So green first, red second. White, you are third. White, you are looking for a 6.1. And blue, you are fourth. You're looking for a 6.9. Eight minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Priority blue, white. Second priority, green third priority, eight minutes and 45 seconds. Blue up and riding, wave fades out, she's out. Seeing now they completely um all the girls have repositioned themselves back down to Super Bowl's main peak, which is a real lucky dip in terms of picking up good quality waves. Um, you've got to search your own. The waves are coming from sometimes somewhere in High Rock, so it's really, it's really a bit um, of a challenging conditions this morning, but the girls got to keep searching around for their scores. When you're in fourth priority, you got multiple opportunities instead of just having to sit on one peak you could power around take your chances get away from the other competitors huh? 
Yeah, I'm not seeing the girls thinking like that. As they were all, all four of them were up in high rock before, and now all four of them seem to be back down in Soup Bowl. But you can definitely move around, and there's a large window of opportunity of waves. Okay, Red, you are in second place. Green holding down the lead. Red, second. White, you're in third. Blue, you're in fourth. Green, you've got a five and a 4.73. Red, you have a 5.67 and a 3.67. White, you've got a 3.17 and a 213. And blue, you get a 2.37 and a 1.57. Six minutes and 50 seconds left. So here we go, blue up and right, and she's looking for a score. Just sitting on a 2.3 and a 1.5. Not a bad looking wave. All right, we just watched the replay last of Blue, picking up her probably her best wave of the heat so far. And that's Molly from the USA. She's just only sitting on a 2.37 and a 3.23, so let's see what, what, where that score comes in at. Molly's actually in third in this heat. Priority still with white. Second priority with green. Third priority with red. Red paddle. Red's up. Coming out, doing a roundhouse cut back to the pocket. S and her board through, doing a little transition cut back and finds the lip to tag and gets out. Nice little wave by Red. Uh, it's funny. Um, that was probably one of her, going to be one of her keeper scores. At the end of this, she picked this up mid midway towards high rock. She set up with a first snap. She's just sticking with this wave, trying to wait for the double up. Gets in one more snap, redirecting. And they offered a lovely inside section where she was able to hit a lot of spray. So I'm thinking this is going to be one of her better scores. So situation, situation change there. Surfer in red, Kiana Miller. Now moves to first. All right, so situation in the water, Red, you drop a 4-2-3 on your last exchange. Four minutes remaining. So Red goes to first. Green, you drop the second. Blue, you are currently in third position. You require a 6.5. And White, you are in fourth position. You require a 6.56. Three minutes, 55 seconds remaining. There's a one, uh, definitely a larger set approaching here. Girls are not really in position. They're going to try to pick up the tail end of this one. So here we go, white up and right in. Sophia, nice little wrapping cut back as she's working her way onto this north peak, and she goes down. Oh, unfortunate that she went down there. That wave would have given her a little bit more on the inside. Three minutes and 20 seconds left. Break down this one from white. Picks away, rotates her shoulders back into the lineup, waiting for this wave to stand up. Unfortunately, catches the rail. There we go, blue. She's up and riding on a frothy looking wave. A little bit smaller wave, not offering too much. Scoring potential, she's still looking for that 6.5 with two minutes, 50 seconds remaining. 
Ladies, in the next heat, please stay down in the channel. Please stay down in the channel. Here we go, White, Sophia, out onto the open face. Nice little Whitewater snap there. Nice cut back. She's showing some flair on this wave. Getting into some rhythm. And on the outside, Red smashed that last turn. And she's going to trying to get back out before the surfer in White, but that wave wasn't letting her go. One minute and 30 seconds left as we watch White's replay. She goes up and attacks that first turn. Does a nice wrap back into the pocket. Unfortunately, after that, the wave just let her down. Good maneuvers there. Red on a little bit bigger wave out the back. Does a little check turn, sets it up, has the bowl coming at her, and does a really big snap here for that, that section. Good surfing by both. So last of white, 433. White, you now require a 5.4. We're back to live action. This is blue. Molly working it to the inside. She goes out the back. So white, you just require a 5.4 with 45 seconds remaining. And we're waiting for the last of red. So green gave that one a look. She's on the outside by herself. With 30 seconds remaining, we do have a score waiting to drop for red, but red is in first position. So green, Arena Vargas, not some, a nice inside section. Nice wrapping cutback. Out onto the open face, throws it up. So she's currently in second. She's trying to replace a 4.73 as we count this one in in 10 seconds. Uh, White desperately trying to get to the outside in time in three, two, one. Okay. So that will end the heat. We're still waiting for that last of red to drop as well as green. I'll break it down. And blue. So the last of blue doesn't factor in a 1.9. Last of red, 593. <laughs> so that increases your lead. And we're just waiting on this last of green. So last of green, 483. So official results, red first, green second. Those two ladies will be advancing into the round of 32. So ladies in the next heat, hold your positions. We're on a short hold. All right, we're gonna cut to a commercial break. And we'll be right back with heat number five in this round of 48. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Back to live action coming up in this heat. We're going to see Rubiana Brunel in red, Carl Schuster in blue, and Jesse Engel in white. Here we go, Jesse Engel. She's up and riding. Just coming unstuck on that last turn. So Carl Schuster, and she can't hang on. She goes down.
There we go with White on the replay. Getting her feet in the wax, waiting for this wave to line up. Does a little turn. Didn't quite get the speed that she needed to complete that. Getting her feet in the wax and getting right back out there. We got priority with Red, 18 minutes and 38 seconds. Red up and riding. Oh, here we go, Red, she's up and riding. Robiana Brunel coming out onto the open face. Nice hack off the top. She's surfing on her backhand here at Soup Bowl. When the waves are small like this, it is a little bit easier to get that little upside down vertical re-entry. Yeah, as you see her go over that lump blue, she does a nice snap back, waits for it to get steep, attacks it. Unfortunately, the wave here just dies out, but she get, got her feet in the wax, got one explosive turn off of that wave, and uh, she'll get back out there feeling good with her feet in the wax now. Yeah, that second maneuver is where she's going to get all those points from. Set that wave up nice. Just waited for that bottom turn. 4.67, Red, 4.67. As we're watching Blue, Carl Schuster from Central Florida. So first of White, 2.0. Previous of Blue, 1.0. So last of blue, 1.67, 16 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, red opening up with a 4.67. Blue has a 1 and a 1.67, and white has a 2. Blue up and riding. Comes up, does a nice snap at the top, the beginning of that wave, waiting for this wave to reline up, but it doesn't. She's out. Okay, we're just going to watch this replay real quick. This is Carl Schuster. That's more like the surfing I know she can do. And she cuts it back and waits for this wave to reform. She doesn't like the looks of that inside, so she kicks out. Yeah, she's been surfing good out here all week. Yeah, she has been. So while we wait for this score to drop, we're going to send it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Kiana Miller. Here we are at the St. Louis Glass with the winner of Heat 4, round one of the women division in the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you, Kiana? Good. How are you, Amaya? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> First name basis and all. <laughs> You've been coming here for a while, so that's why we know each other. You always try and come early, squeeze in some surf while it's not too busy, and it shows. Yeah, there's so many fun waves here. It's so fun to just come for a little bit earlier and get some waves, good lefts, and yeah, everything's been super fun so far. Yeah, and Dragon over there was telling me that before paddling out, you did go and talk to him, and he gave you a few pointers, and it's showing. I mean, at home, you do surf a, um, a left very often. You can see your backhand is quite strong, so that must feel good to kind of find those things like home. For sure, yeah, this wave is so fun coming from Santa Cruz, surfing so many rights. And yeah, Simon really helped me. He's a great person to have in your corner. For sure, I mean, local knowledge never lets you down. <laughs> um, well, I mean, good luck for the next one. Can't wait to see you again, maybe by the glass. Keep it up, love that. You want to say a little something, a little shout out for friends, family, maybe sponsors as well? Yeah, I just wanted to thank all my sponsors, family, friends for watching, and all my Bayesian friends for coming down and supporting me. Oh, thank you so much. Well, you know, we love having you here, so keep, it, keep ripping, girl. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, back to live action. 
Last of Blue coming in at 317, putting her in first. So if Surfer in Red drops to second, <coughs> sitting on a single, sitting on a single wave of a 4.67. Surfer in White currently in third position, sitting on a single wave of a 2.0. White, you require a 2.68. We go up and right in blue. Carl Schuster throws it up in the lit. Looking to stay with this one. He's gonna line up on the inside for her, give her at least one more opportunity. Getting back out in front. I in that closeout section and she hits it. Here we go with blue, break it down. Driving off the bottom, attacks the first section. That was a little bit of a a real dig, cuts back into the pocket, waiting for something to reform. Drives it all the way through and gets a nice little finish on that. White is up and right. So a little paddle battle on the outside and red giving way to white. We'll see what that replay looks like. All right, last of blue, 3.4. Here goes White going up into a power pocket right there, getting a nice turn to start this way. Carving back into the pocket, waiting for it. Does another nice snap and kicks out. Red has priority, 12 minutes left, and a paddle battle for second priority. So last of White, 4-2-3. So blue, you are in first, white, you're second. White, you're sitting on a 4.2 and a 2.0. You require a 2.3. Red, you are third. You have a single wave of a 4.67. You require a 1.5. Priority sits with a surfer in red, followed by blue, then white. 11 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. So breaking down the situation right there, the girls are actually now repositioned. They're sitting on the North Bull. This is um, every heat. We seem to see different repositions going on here. And the actual lineup is vacant of all surfers. All right, w watching White now. This is Jessie from the USA. She's picked up a very wide wave. Was able to get some work done. Um, the East conditions are now wreaking havoc. The girls are finding it hard to find quality set waves. But she would, she'll get a score. Breaking down last of White. She starts off a one redirect snap. She's pumping, trying to stay back. She gets one more redirect. And there's another little check snap to end that wave. So try to manufacture a score with a very small insider. All right, live action, blue is up. Up and down. Very difficult conditions this morning. Uh, you know, so you really got wave choice is going to be key out here for getting the score. What do you think, Simon? Yeah, if I was um, competing today, probably my plan would be to 
maybe keep busy, keep paddling around um, between High Rock and Soup Bowl, not sitting too wide of the peak and trying to pick up anything on my way back out, but I'll be just doing the circuit. Eight minutes and 45 seconds, priority red, second priority white, third priority blue. White is in the lead. Blue needs a 3.34 to advance into first, and red needs a 1.90 to advance. Holding priority with eight minutes and 20 seconds left. Yeah, as the tide comes in, I notice it got a little bit slower out here. Simon, you, you would know more about that since uh, this is your home break. Well, right now we're coming up to a higher tide, and um, it's, it's going to be a little more inconsistent. Wave faces are a little more slopey, and there's a little chatter in the, in the wave. But you have to really pick, pick out what, what are the good quality waves, and some of them are the double ups on the under, un, under the um, set waves. Some set waves will go wide, but you gotta keep active and keep busy. Waves on the east swell are going random, multiple peak almost. It's not a one defined position. Yeah, you can actually move around and find quite a few different waves in, on this reef with this, uh, the way it's breaking at the moment. Things are a bit slow in this one. But I'm looking out the back now, I'm starting to see a few little lines approaching. White, paddling and losing priority. Second priority goes to blue. First priority red. Third priority white. Got a paddle for red. Nice wave here, lining up. Comes straight off the top. Cutting back, waiting for this thing to line up to give her some more opportunity. And gets a nice vertical on the inside to finish this wave. Good wave for out there at the moment. Simon, what do you think? Uh, this is uh, Ryder Ru Rubiana. This is the second wave. Break it down. First, first turn, lovely snap. She mm -hmm. redirects to the pocket. Yes, another snap. She's sticking with this thing, waiting for it to wall up one more hit on the inside, so that would be three turns. That's probably one of the better waves of this heat so far. Yeah, while we're waiting for scores, you know, that was only our first wave, so this will determine uh, on the placings here, and everybody will know what they need to advance after this. She's kicking and scratching. She's feeling good about having actually one wave underneath her belt now, looking to back that up. But we're still waiting for the scores to give you a situation update. Priority goes to blue, second priority with white. We'll give you an update after that score comes in. Blue up and riding, comes back in the power pocket, does a nice cutback with some speed. Does another transitional cutback, looking for something on the inside, and the wave fades out. With the current position, the girls are, 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 are putting themselves on the north bowl, which is actually gonna be almost the end of the wave, so it's really more like a cutback. And we are down to f under five minutes remaining. The next heat can paddle out, or please sit in the channel. As a score comes in for red, as a 4.9, shoots her to first place. White in second needing a 5.37, and blue needing a 3.34 to advance. Priority is with white. Red second priority, Two four minutes left. 
four minutes left. Uh, watching White, she got a good first turn in. She's now on the inside trying to make the connection, just trying to stick with this wave to see if she can get one more opportunity. She gets one more little hit, but she's caught behind here. She's going to ride this thing right into the rip. So not a, not a big score, but she has put something on the board. Breaking out the replay. Here she goes with one outside carving maneuver. Redirecting. Wave goes a bit soft and flat. It's going a bit out to C4, so she's trying to stick with it to see if she can get one more maneuver. And then she gets one last snap. Yeah, we have three minutes and three minutes left on the clock. First place is red, second place blue, and third place is white, needing a 3.04 to advance. Blue needing a 5.73 to take the lead. Two minutes and 45 seconds left. As the next heat's paddling out. Yeah, definitely um, conditions are not the easiest. There is scoring waves out there, but you have to move around and you got to hunt them out. Today, we are, it's almost like Soup Bowl is being split into three little different peaks. On this east, this is a predominantly east wind swell. The period has dropped down a little bit today, so it's a little slower and about a foot less. But we'll probably have some good conditions after lunch as the tide bottoms out. We got a paddle battle with blue and white and second and third priority. White on the inside with the paddle and going. Has a nice little wind up, little snap, doesn't it? Has a little rail dig there. With one minute and 35 seconds left, priorities with red, second priority blue. Next heat, stay in the channel until this heat ends. Thank you. Our breaking down the replay last of green. Sorry, that was last of white. It's just, an, it's just an up and down. Probably should be looking for a little bit better wave there. Maybe yep. the nerves at the end of the heat. Live action, we're back to serving from red. Gets two lovely outside hits. She picked this up deep. And this is your yeah. winning surfer at time. At, on this heat, This we're down to 45 seconds. Here's the replay. Yeah. She gets one lovely first snap, opens up the shoulders, and bang, she gets a second, almost a vertical hit there. So the judges will probably reward that heavily. And yeah, she, that looks... To me, like it blew up and riding with 28 seconds left. Cuts back into the pocket. Waiting for this thing to line up to do a big move, but nothing there. White's up and riding on the inside. Does a nice cut back. Again, waiting for this thing to line up to give her another maneuver, and she gets it. Still trying. Anyways, seven seconds left. As a Good wave by Rubiana, as I, just as I thought. We have a replay with Blue doing another cutback. Wasn't really going to go into our score line. But Rubiana's last wave coming in is a 6-1-7, take the win. Still waiting for a score to finish up. Now it's in. It was a 2.3. Second place goes to Blue, third to White. Next heat on hold. Oh, did you start? We're going to go to a commercial break now. Be right back. I'm 
come from a place. We upset every single race. Paradise is we name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. No search for many answers. Well, here we go, red, up and riding. Remy Todd, we're back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're gonna see red, Remy Todd. In blue, Havana Cabrero. In white, Danielle Dickerson. And in green, Koa Fierro. Yeah, getting so, on that last uh, heat with red's last wave, came from behind the section, and let it stand up, got two big maneuvers to get a six, so uh, I'm sure these girls in this heat took notice of that. Right, so that brought her to first place, I heard. So waiting for that first of red to drop. White, gonna look at this one. Giving out the replay of last of red. She picked this up right on the buzzer. She was able to get her first snap in, and she's waiting for this wave to build up. She got a little second snap in and a third snap where she really threw a little water there. So that would have been a, you know, a keeper score probably at the end of this one. So back to live action. Here we go. Blue up and riding Havana Cabrero. She qualified two years ago right here for the Challenger Series. Havana Cabrero from Puerto Rico daughter of the great yep that's right daughter of the great Carlos Cabrero from Puerto Rico if any of you were here on this beach two years ago to witness what Havana did when she qualified it was absolutely amazing we watched this replay I can break this one down Lou this lady comes up opens up the shoulders gives one first wrap in the, in the pocket there's it big second snap She's got a lovely style, and she seems to be understanding how to serve soup ball very well, staying critical in the pocket and letting go of some water and engaging the rail. Yeah, the That's money, good. money came from that second and third turn there. She really got to open up that full extension there. What do you think about that? I love that. I love that surfing. I got to see how the judges reward it, but that was, to me, the best, best score. I'm going to probably go down, or best we have ridden so far in this heat. Oh, girls definitely. Are, girls yeah. repositioned, and there seem to be in the right spot in the lineup now. Yeah, right. red, red got a four on that first wave with white getting a 1.17 and green getting a 3.3 as we're waiting for blue score. All right, here we go. Scores dropping for blue. It's going up in the good range or right around that good range. Got one more score to drop. All right, 6.17 blue. 6.17 for blue. So Havana's currently sitting in 37th position on the QS ranking. She has a 13th at Jack's Pro and 25th at the Supergirls. And a 49th. Like we thought, Lou, that wave came in of a 6.17 from Blue. Very nice wave to open her campaign with 15 minutes and 30 seconds left. Yep, we are. It's a very good, well served wave, so we're going to stand by, cut to the glass, and standing by with. Actually, we're going to stick with this Blue wave. She's going to back up that 6.17, and then we'll get to the interview in just a second. Oh boy, if she could have just finished that wave. So standing by with Amaya is the winner from the last heat, Rubiana Brunel, coming from third to first. Hi, we're here by the 
San Luc uh, San Luc Glass for the BTMI Barbados Surf represented by Diamonds International, Rubiana Brownell, who just won Heat 5 or the first round in the women divisions. How are you? I'm good, yeah. It was kind of a scary first heat. It just got really slow. Um, I've been feeling really good out here at Soup Bowl, so I was really excited for it, but I only ended up catching three waves, but yeah, super grateful to make it through. Yeah, pretty slow heat, I mean, for everyone, because not many waves surfed, but you did manage to get that six points at the end, like one minute left. That must be a good confidence boost. Yeah, for sure. I definitely waited a lot for my second wave. I caught it with, I think, like seven minutes left. Um, and then I knew I was in the lead at that point, so I was able to just be a little more relaxed, wait for a bigger one, and happy it worked out. Well, you're looking, you're looking strong over there. How are the waves here compared to where you're from in Costa Rica? Um, the Caribbean's definitely really different, just the whole way that the ocean works here. I'm from the Pacific side in Costa Rica, so the first couple years I came here I had a really hard time. But this is my third year in a row and I feel like I finally figured it out this year and I've actually been having fun free surfing, so I'm just happy enjoying the trip. Don't have a lot of expectations for this event, just taking it one heat at a time and it's nice, it keeps the nerves down and I'm just going to have fun. That's good, I mean it's all about fun, right? If you're not having fun you can't can't get through it. You want to give a little shout out to friends and family back at home maybe? Yeah, shout out to my mom and dad and brother and sister-in-law watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Y gracias a todos en Costa Rica por el apoyo siempre, por ayuda. Thank you so much. See you later maybe. Hopefully. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> okay, back to live action. So Silver and Blue, your last wave coming in is 683. So blue is in first position. We are waiting for a score for the surfer in green as we watch this replay of blue. Yeah, she helps go through a little bit of foam, but gets that open face, keeps the power, snaps it two times in a row. Unfortunately, she's able to bounce off on the last one. This wave was quite well. Tags it, gets in the power pocket, really explosive turn as she's able to keep the speed and flow through these maneuvers all the way in with Green's replay here. Coming all the way in, do, does another one, another check snap, and then finishes off here. Great wave by Green, waiting for that score. She's from Tahiti. All right, last of Green coming in at a 6.0. So blue first, green second, red, you are third. Red, you're sitting on a single score of a 4.0. You require a 5.3 and white, you are sitting in fourth position. You're sitting on a 1.1 and a 1.0. You require an 8.16. So just like that, red pulls the trigger, she's up and down. So yeah, we were talking about that score. Uh, we were talking about that score by Havana, and unfortunately she did come unstuck on that last maneuver. I think she would have been able to hang on to that finishing maneuver. That score would have gone into the sevens for sure. Well, you see Green dropping a 6.0 on a well surf wave. 11 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. So, so, so breaking down this heat so far, looking at a replay of White. White picks up a frothy little inside wave, only gets one outside snap. She's trying to rate the connection here. Doesn't quite make it. She have to get herself out the back and we have lines out the back approaching. Right her up. Miss here we go, blue up and right in Havana on a lovely looking wall. Nice slashing cut back. Working it out onto the open face. Wave not going to offer too much. She's going to stick with it, hoping for that inside reform. She gets one, another t big turn, another big turn. So Havana Cabrero from Puerto Rico. She feels right at home with these uh, reef yeah, breakout here. This is like her backyard. Go ahead, Simon, break it down. All right. Surfer in blue starts off with a lovely open face carve on another rail turn, which is like a down carve. She's on the north section. She sets it back up to make the connection. She's just doing some filling work here, waiting for it. We have to stand up again. Bang, she gets the connection. One first snap. Another snap. 
And an end hit where she tries to flare it out a little bit. So that's going to be a good score. This young lady has a stranglehold on this heat right now, and she's in the perfect rhythm. That's her third scoring wave, and all of her waves right now are up. I would say above average, so it's good surfing. Yeah, in second place, we have green with priority. Second priority is going to red with nine minutes and 40 seconds left. So Havana Cavero is sitting on a 6.17 and a 6.83. Uh, where she's still waiting for her third score to lock in here to see if it will improve her situation. So she's comfortably in, in first. And she does improve. Her situation just changed. All right, last of blue comes in at a 6-3-0. So green, you're currently in second. Red, you are third. Requiring a 5-3-4 as we see red up and riding. Remy Todd going up in the lip, checking that second turn. She's working her, working her way onto the inside. Eight minutes, 40 seconds remaining. So surfers in the next heat. You all should be checked in and ready to go. You can paddle out in about three minutes. Red look at eyeball on that lip, it just faded, so she had to cut that turn a little short. Comes up again, the wave just died out. She was really looking to attack it. You can see in everything that she was trying on that. She was able to get a finish here, but I'm sure she was disappointed that that wave let her out, down on the outside because she was set up for two big hits and the wave just died a little bit. Green just kicking out of that last wave. So we got another rider up, that's Green. We're playing green, gets the first outside snap. This wave does not have a whole lot of wall it. She has to do a lot of filling work, a couple little check turns. She's, and then she acts to get out. Green actually is sitting in the second place here with a, a six underneath her score line and a 3.33. So we got to see if that improves her situation. But this is, heat is a flurry of action. Girls are actually sitting in the right spot and a lot of waves being ridden. Blue priority, seven minutes and 20 seconds left. All right, White, you're currently in fourth position. Your last wave coming in at a 1.17. You require an 816. Six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Second priority going to green. All right, Green, your last wave coming in at 6.0. You're currently in second position. Red, you are in third. Red, you require a 5.34. And White, you are in fourth. You require an 8.16. Five minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Okay, situation in the water. Red, you are in third. You are sitting on a four and a 3.2. You require a 5.34. 
Five minutes left. Next heat, you can paddle out. All right, ladies, I'm going to give you a full rundown. Blue, you are in first position. You have a 6.83 and a 6.3. Green, you are in second. You have a 6.0 and a 3.3. Red, you are in third. You have a 4.0 and a 3.27. You require a 5.3. And white, you are in fourth. You have a 1.1 and a 1.17. You are in fourth. You require an 8.16. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining. All right, coming, coming up to the three minute, 30 second mark. All right, ladies putting themselves in the position on the outside. And go over the first one. On the inside, White, she's got a nugget on the inside. Nice down carve, and she can't hang on to that. She goes down, and that was that little underlying north swell. Just popped up right in front of her as the two girls on the outside let everything roll through. And Havana's gonna turn on this one, she's kicking hard to get in. This one's gonna show some teeth, here we go. She can't get around that section. She gets gobbled up by that North Peak, leaving the surfer in green with priority on the outside. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Red, you are still in third position. You still require a 5-3-4. Your last wave coming in at a point nine zero. Yeah, we have three waves in the six range on the scoreboard with all the girls, and that's because they were getting them by coming behind the peak and hitting the power pocket with the major turns. So that's what the judges have been looking for their assignment. Big power turns, power pocket with speed, power, and flow. Yeah, Jim, I think what we just witnessed was probably one of the better sets of the morning so far. We're coming up to high tide around 11.48. And then the next low tide, I think, is closer to 7 tonight. So it's going to be dropping out during the evening. Here we go. Green up and right and big first turn. Comes unstuck. Ladies in the next heat, please hold your positions. As Blue, giving this one a sniff, there she goes, up and riding. The current heat leader, Havana Cabrera, big turn on the outside. Quality maneuvers. Sticking with this one, with just 58 seconds remaining. That was as much a defensive move as it was an offensive move, just keeping the surfer on the outside off of that wave. Right, breaking down this replay, Ms. Cabrera does a huge open face carve there, letting go lots of water. This is almost a little victory lap for her, and it was a defensive move. Um, so she didn't even write that thing through, but we'll see what the judges throw for the one opening carve. That's, that's, she, that was a well-managed heat by Miss Cabrero from Puerto Rico, daughter of Carlos Cabrero. He is a seasoned pro, and he knows football well. All right, 20 seconds remaining. All right, here we go, counting this one in, in five, four, three, two, one. 
So that ends heat number six with the surfer in blue dropping a 5.5 on her last effort. She is in first position. She will be coming up later on in the round of 32. Coming in second, surfer in green also advancing into the round of 32. So we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with heat number seven in this round of 48. Please stand by. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90 faceted modern dome shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we're going to see Maddie Storer in red, Avery McDonald in blue, Rachel Aguero in white, and Ellie Brown in green. So while we're on that short commercial break, there were no waves ridden. This is heat number seven in the round of 48. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. This is the round of 48. I'm here, I'm Louis Venezia sitting here with Jim Hogan and Simon Coles as we watch the water and Blue giving this one a dig. She's up and right and Avery McDonald throwing it up in the lip. The girls are just a little bit far up in sight so that wave runs away from her just manufacturing that one score. Yeah, I think she did really well there, Lou, to uh, come up into a power pocket and give herself an opportunity for this big turn right there. Just one turn, but I'm sure it felt good to get her feet in the wax. Yep, just waiting for that wave of blue to come in. Uh, this is a replay of white. Yeah. Sur surfer in white picks up a small insider. Wasn't ever going to make it a connection for her, but all these surfers be... So red goes up and out. So priority will go with surfer in green on the outside. So priority order, green, red, white, blue, with 18 minutes remaining. So Green giving this one a look. Ellie Brown up and riding. A little down carve in the pocket. Wave not offering much and she goes out the back. So the waves are starting to get to a point where they're starting to split in two. We're playing Green. She gets her first outside snap. She's picked a very wide wave here. Um, you got to look for the waves that actually have a bit more defined wall on them. A replaying blast of red, seeing a lovely wrong host cut back, some set at work, trying to make the connection here. She makes it, gets one last fit, and she flicks the tail out. So now looking at the first score of consequence there, and that would be Maddie Storm of the USA. So we're waiting for those scores to come in. Here's a replay of red, so driving off the bottom, nice power snap there. As it steepens up, she does a roundhouse cut back to the pocket, waiting for a section in front of her. Another roundhouse cut back. Surfing this thing smoothly all the way through and got a finish. Kicks out and it's on the way back out. Blue, your last wave was a 4-3-3. There we go, white up and right, and this is live action. She's currently sitting on a 1.5, but she's going to definitely get what looks probably to be the best in this heat. Just working her way all the way to the inside, getting some more wave to work with. Nice, pushes out the tail. She goes out the box. Green. She's up and riding. So last of blue, 433. Last of blue, 433. So last of white here, this is from a surfer from Costa Rica. Gets a lovely, she picks a lovely white wave. 
which stays open for her. Gets two outside carves done and a third. Making the inside connection, doing another snap close to the pocket and gets the finish. Lovely last hit there. She was able to throw some water, replaying last of green. That was just an up and out. So we have had a couple well-ridden waves here. We have to see what the judges think. I would think green got the best of that exchange. So surfers in this heat, we have Hawaii, Costa Rica, and two surfers from USA. Yeah, surfer in white, I believe would have the best of that exchange, and that would be Rachel. Blue, your last wave was a 4.33. Last of red, 5.33. Last of white, 6.0. White first, red your second. Blue, you are third with a 4.33. You require a 1.5. And green, you are fourth. You require a 3.3. 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. We're looking for the speed, power, and flow with the major quality turns in the steepest part of the wave there. And uh, white was able to get it pulled a six off on, on her last wave as red had a 5-3-3. Three, three. So those are the two highest scores of the heat at the moment. And blue's got priority. The yeah, last two heats, we've definitely seen some, some very good surfing and the scores seem to be reflecting that. The girls are sitting in the right spot and they're really capitalizing on some open face waves. So red giving way to green as she's up and riding. Ellie Brown, she's got a little section ahead of her, comes off the bottom, pushes out the fins. Okay, while well, we are waiting so we're for these well. scores to come in, we're gonna cut to the glass, standing by with Amaya is the last winner of the last heat, Havana Cabrero. Here we are with the winner of heat number six, round one of the women QS, BTMI Barbados Surf Pro, presented by Diamonds International, Havana Cabrero from Puerto Rico. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You're looking good over there, a couple of six points. That must be a little confidence there. Yeah, I really like this wave. It's really similar to home, so I'm just super happy to be here and have this opportunity. Yeah, and we were just saying that you had a good few runs down here, fifth last year and a year before third. Well, how was your mindset coming up to this event? Um, I'm just looking to have fun, really. I don't have any pressure going into this event. Um, I'm very far down in the rankings, so I'm just here having fun, and I really like this wave, so just making the most out of it. The most out of it and having fun. Love that. I love that mindset. It's very relaxed, so that's good. You might be performing with that mindset for sure. Um, you want to say a little something, you know, for friends and family, how you up in the Caribbean? Yeah, eh, gracias a todos por estar eh, mirando el evento, gracias por el apoyo, y nos vemos en la próxima. Thank you so much. Good luck for the next round, girl. Okay, back to live action while we we're on that short commercial break. That last of green coming in at a 377, sending her to second position, as you see there on your screen. Dropping the third is the surfer in red, and fourth is the surfer in blue. Both of those servers just requiring small scores to advance. All right, priority changed. White swap with green, so priority order blue, red, green, white, blue, red, green, white.
Priority with blue, second priority red, third priority green, fourth priority white. So blue with priority chooses to use it out onto this open face, nice cutting back slash, throws it up in the lip. She's gonna get hung up a little bit on that north section and she's not gonna be able to get around that white water but that was definitely a nice looking wave. So a little bit of a blunder on that one. She currently sitting on a 433, just manufacturing that one cut back. Here we go, white, uh, live action, nice first turn. She's working it to the inside. These ladies are having a difficult time making that connection between the outside and the inside. You have to stick close to that power source. Yeah, breaking this back down, she gets one first tap on the white water. This wave kind of is a very easy wave. Didn't offer much water, trying to cut back to the power source, but loses it. You have to actually pick the right wave out here today. Some of these waves are not going to offer the connection. You've got to actually see that from the start. Yeah, I think you want to look for a wall in front of you when you take it off, so it looks like it's almost closing out. Sometimes... Okay. So that is the best wave is actually a All wave right. that has some face plus an end section. All right, last of blue, three, two, three. Last of white, one, eight, seven. So white goes to first. Blue drops to second. Third is green. Green, you now require 3.8. And red, your fourth, you now require a 2.23. Red, your last wave coming in at a 5.33. Priority order, red, green, white, blue. White, you are in first position. You're sitting on a six and a one, eight, seven. Blue is in second. Blue, you require a 3.5 to go back to first. Green is in third, requiring a 3.8. And red is in fourth, requiring a 2.2. Eight minutes remaining. All right, here we go, blue up and right in. She is currently in second position, nice top turn. She's got a nice little bowl up inside of her. Here we go, another top turn. Oh, and she just goes down, that was unfortunate. She is currently in second position, looking to better at 3.2. Looks like her leash broke too, Lou. Yeah, she lost her board. This was a very nice lined up wave, nice first turn, had a lot of wall on it. She was able to open up, stretch out that cutback with a nice little snap. And unexpectedly, her leash came undone. So she doesn't really have that far to get back to her board, which is nice. But she has six minutes and 20 seconds left. All right, here we go. Anybody going to pull the trigger? Green's going to turn on this one with second priority. Got a nice bowl section on the inside. Big wrapping cut back. Working it out onto the open face, cutting it back once again. She's going to wait for this wave to reform on the inside. Looking to finish strong. She goes out the back, so 
Blue still making her way in to get her board. Breaking down last of green on the replay here. He gets a lovely first turn, throwing lots of water, waits for it, sets back out, open up the shoulders, gets a lovely carve back in the pocket, waiting for the inside, and she gets one more fin snap to finish. Yeah, that was a nice little wave, kept bending right back at her, so she got to attack it over and over again. That was a great little wave by Green as the scores come in. All right, last of blue, 5.0. So blue goes to first. White, you drop to second. We are still waiting for a score for Green. With five minutes remaining. As soon as the score for Green comes in, if it changes the situation, I will update you. So Surfer in blue, your last score coming in at a 5.0, you go to first. We're waiting on this last of green, round out the next positions. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining, priority on the outside with Surfer in red, followed by white. Four minutes remaining, it looks, as this score starts to trickle in, that it is gonna change the situation. All right, last of green, five, zero, three. So green to second, white, you drop to third. White, you require a 2.8. And red, you are fourth, you require a 3.4. Three minutes, 45 seconds remaining. All right, green, she's gonna look to ditch that 3.7 up and right, and she's got a decent looking wave ahead of her. Can she get some legs? Yes, she does. Throws up the final turn. Is she gonna get around this section? A little burst of speed, and she gets around it. So making quick work of that wave, dropping a five on her last wave, looking to back up a 3.7, get rid of a 3.7. And I think it's gonna come right around there. I think she just might better that score. Watching the replay of Green, she barely picks up a nice quality wave that she's able to get two outside maneuvers. She makes it around the inside and just gets one more check stop. So Green is starting to find her rhythm in this heat. Waves out the back. Oh, and Red on the outside, two big major maneuvers. She's on her way to a good score, a nice floating maneuver. Out onto the open face, she's gonna look to finish it. She's looking at that end section, throws it up. Completes the maneuver, so this is gonna flip-flop everything as well because I think green is gonna better that 377, but here comes the surfer in red. Yeah, red t takes off on a nice lined up wave, taps it there, comes out with a big turn on with a lift there, roundhouse here, keeping the speed, board speed up, looking for another floater off the lip, and then coming into a Finishing turn where she pulls it off and control kicks out on the way back out. We'll wait for those scores. All right, back to live action. Here we go. No riders, but with two minutes remaining, blue, uh, sorry, green, you did get the requirement. However, I do have a score for red to drop. So momentarily, green, you have gone to second. However, red does have a wave to drop. Priority with white with a minute and 30 seconds. There we go, white. As we're still waiting on that score for red, it's starting to trickle in. So red's gonna flip flop this one, just so you know, I can see two scores. Last of red, five, nine, zero. So red goes to first. Blue, you drop to second. Green, you are now in third. Green, you require a 4.30. And white, you are fourth. You require a 3.3. .3. One minute remaining. Watching the replay last of um, Surfer and White. 
This is Rachel from Costa Rica. She picked up a very small inside wave that did not offer a good connection. She's just sticking with it, but she might have been better off waiting for a slightly better wave. All right, so White, your last attempt did not, it was not successful. You are still in fourth. You still require that 3.3. Servers in the next heat. Servers in the next heat. Hold your positions. Not an inch further. You are almost in the lineup. It gets very confusing to tell who is in what heat. With 10 seconds remaining. Surfer in red, you're in first with three, two, one. All right, servers in the next seat, please hold. We are on standby. Please hold. We are on standby. So official results, surfer in red first and in blue second. So we're gonna cut to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with the beginning of heat number eight, round of 48. Back to live action as we resume our presentation. Coming up in this heat, in red, Kyle Fusini. In blue, Caden. And in white, Cinderella. Can I'm not sure how to pronounce it, that name either. I almost said Cinderella, and I said I can't hear her name. Surfer in white, that we can't pronounce it is. Starting with a bang. Rosano. Um. Candelario Rosano, surfer in white. He's open up with a bang. Watching the replay of white, surfer from Nicaragua. Lovely first hit to, uh, and how to float that section comes around it. Does another little check snap. She's moving with the speed. Lovely round host cut back. She's linked the inside section already. She already does a, a third carve. And she finishes with an end hit and she rides out cleanly. So that would probably be well rewarded. She picked a quality wave and she had speed linking. She didn't bog any rails. That would be an excellent start. Any surfer would be happy today to start the heat with one a ride like that. playing last of red server from the USA starts off with a lovely first hit big wrap in the pocket she's doing some setup work to connect the inside and she's out of there so prairie has not been established 17 minutes remaining in this heat And we will wait for some scores to update you girls. All right, rat first of red, 533. First of white, 7.0. First of white, 7.0. So the server from Nicaragua, I'm sure she's accustomed to right hand point breaks, dropping a 7.0 on her opener. That's a dream start for any server to start off with a seven. That's right, she has 17 minutes now to find a backup.
All right, immediately following this heat number eight, we're gonna go straight into the round of 32 on the women's side. Those will be 25 minute heats. Immediately following that QS, women's QS 5000, we're gonna go to the junior man's round of 56. So while we're waiting for the next surfer to catch a ride, we're gonna throw it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Maddie Strohr. Here we are, Addy St. Louis Glass with the winner of heat number seven, round one for the women WSL QSBTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Maddie, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Welcome to Barbados. How is it to surf here for the first time? Thank you, it's been amazing. The water's so nice and waves are pretty fun. So yeah, loving it. <laughs> you were just telling me that you live in California. So how is it to like adapt to here? A little warmer, different kind of waves? Yeah, yeah, we got here um, about a week before. So it was kind of nice to get to adjust to, you know, the warmer water and figuring that out. But it's been so nice and yeah, the water's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing Now you got plenty of time to get used to it. Did you get some of that big swell? We did, yeah, yeah, it was it was fun. Yeah, we had a good time, good introduction to Soup Bowl, so <laughs> yeah, been having a great time. Very different conditions today, a little hard over there, but you managed to find a couple of decent waves, so are you ready for the next round? Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for the next round. Yeah, it's a little tricky. I <laughs> didn't catch like my second wave till like, I don't know, a couple minutes left, so it was definitely a little nerve wracking, but just trying to look for those little nuggets. <laughs> For sure, those little nuggets are the one that give you points, points for sure. Uh, I know mom is here. Hi, mom. But you want to say a little something for our friends and family back in California? Yeah, um, hi to my dad and my sister who are watching and all my friends. Um, hi, miss you guys. <laughs> all right, mom, keep it up. Nice seeing you and maybe see you at the next round. <laughs> Have a good day, good luck. Thank you. Okay, back to live action. Thank you very much, ladies. While we were on that interview break, no waves were ridden. As we see Surfer in red putting herself in position, she is currently in second priority. No takers on this one. Priority order on the outside sits with blue, red, and white. 14 minutes remaining in this heat. Just two waves ridden. We looked at a Score for red of a 5.33 and a score for white at a 7.0. As you see one of our main sponsors up on the screen, Zakio's Restaurant. Visit them, they're just over the hill. Also have a location on the west coast, right there in Sunset Crest. So coming up in the next heat in red, we're gonna have Bella Kenworthy. In blue, Chelsea Ruit in white. Reed Van Wagner, and in green, Daya McCart. So Bella Kenworthy is sitting atop the QS rankings for the Challenger Series. She's holding down a second place at the Jacks Pro and also a second place at Pismo Beach. And she took the win at the Ron John Roxy Pro. Ninth at the Supergirls. All right, priority change. So paddled by blue, so red goes to first priority, followed by white, then blue. So a little bit of a blunder there for the surfer in blue. She is looking for her opening wave. So rounding out the top four on the North America QS rankings, Bella Kenworthy, Talia Swindell, Kira Pinkerton, and Zoe Benedetto. Here we go, blue up and right in. Finds a little inside runner. She just goes out the back. She did make a little bit of a mistake with priority just there, just trying to get her feet back on the wax, in the wax and just kind of resetting her mindset. So we will qualify four girls to the Challenger Series through these North America rankings as we watch Surfer in red up and riding. She's sitting on a 5.33. 
So just a quick reminder, we are going 25 minutes in the next round. This round of 32 will be 25 minutes. Cue another replay here, last of blue. She picks a very small wave, is only able to get in and out, so that'll be of no consequence. And surfer in red, Kylie from the USA, opens up her shoulders and does a huge outside carve. This wave goes a bit fat on her, or goes out to sea, so that'll just be one, one maneuver and up and out. But that one maneuver might garner some scores for her at the end of this. It might be a keeper or not. So last of red, 3.0. So red, you go to first. White. You are in second with a single wave of a 7.0. You require a 1.3. And Surfer in blue, you are fourth with a 1.17. You require a 5.84. 10 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Red, she's going to look the better that 3.0 up and right and throws it up big, vertical turn. So just offering that one maneuver, she tried her best to get around the section. So surf, Surfer in red, um, here queuing up the replay, takes off behind the section and gets one big crack at it. So white. That was an impressive first maneuver, though, Lou. What are you thinking about that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, very impressive. She smashed that section. And White and live action as we still wait for this score for Red to drop. Looks like it's going to be her best. White up and right in. Last of Red, 617, 6.17 Red. So Red first, White, you are in second. You are sitting on a 7.0 and 8.5. And blue, you are fourth. You require a 7.5. Amazing thing there, Lou. We um, are now seeing that rider getting a six for one outside hit for one maneuver. Yeah, it was a big, big section. She hit it hard. She pushed out the tail. So situa situation is uh, eight minutes remaining in this heat. Um, priorities with blue, second priority with red. Testing one. All right, red, your last wave was a 617. 6.17 for red. You also have a 5.3, your first position. White, you are in second position with a 7.0 and a 1.6. And blue, you are in fourth with just a single wave of a 1.1. You require a 7.5. Eight minutes, 10 seconds remaining. So, although it's a bit, a bit slow at the moment, um, and really one score of consequence in the beginning of the heat, and then the two one maneuver waves, has the surfer in red out front here. So quality of maneuver is what the judges are really looking for. Coming up on the seven minute mark, Priority sits on the outside with a surfer in blue, followed by red, then white. White holding down a seven point ride. She's gonna look to back it up, here we go. She's up and riding. Under Priority, throws up, big turn. Can she ride out of it? No, she can't. So that was an unfortunate mishap. 
definitely would have backed up that seven point ride. Yeah, taking my replay here, right here from White. Comes deep bottom turn and tries to go over for it. She overcooked it a little bit, got hung up there. If she rode out cleanly, that would have been a hefty score. She has the right idea at all. The critical surfing is what, what, ju what the judges are rewarding. Um, she got to get herself back out there and see if she can complete. She's sitting on the high score, so she actually should be in the driver's seat of this heat. She just needs to back that up. Coming up, five minutes, 30 seconds. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Service in the next heat. You are free to paddle out. But please, ladies, please stay down in the channel. Service in the next heat. You can paddle out, but please stay into the channel. Coming up in this next heat, we're going to see Bella Kenworthy, Chelsea Ruit, Reed Von Wagner, and Daya McCart with four minutes and 15 seconds in this final heat in the round of 48. Surfer in red in first position with a 6.17 and a 5.3. Surfer in white in second position with a 7.0 and a 1.6. And Surfer in blue in third position with a 1.1. So blue, you require a 7.5 to move into an advancing position. As you see, the number one ranked surfer on the North American Tour surfer there in red, Bella Kenworthy. And watch in blue, here we go, she's up and riding. Coming around the first section, up in the lip, out onto the open face. And this wave doesn't offer much on the inside. So she kicks out, she didn't really have much on the outside, maybe a little bit of a, could have just stalled a little bit just what? to get a watch. little more vertical in that first turn. Yeah, watching the replay of blue, she was, it, it, Able to pick up one outside turn, smaller red, wave. Red on the outside is the heat leader. Nice down car setting up this inside. She's got a nice looking wave ahead of her. Drives hard off the bottom, goes vertical up in the lip. She's sitting on a 6.17 and a 5.3. We see a paddle battle on the outside as we watch this replay. Breaking it on the replay. She gets the first snap, waits for the north section. Lays it on a rail, back to the pocket, waiting for this thing to stand up. It's standing up. She gets one more snap, and bang. That was all the money there in that last turn there. I, I dare to say that could be the best score of the heat so far. Well, four well-executed uh, maneuvers on that wave. Last of red, five, six, three. So red, you strengthen your lead. Last of blue, two, four, three. So blue, you now require a 6.25, and blue is up and riding. A little better looking wave ahead of her, setting up this inside. Oh, and she can't make the connection. She goes down, that wave was a nice looking wave on the inside. Definitely could have got a couple more maneuvers in on it. So as we look this replay, she's had some opportunity on the outside. She kind of just went around them 
Cut in back. I think she was looking more on that inside section. Managing a 2.67 on that effort. The last of blue was a 2.67. So blue, you require a 6.01. One minute, 24 seconds remaining. One minute remaining. Ladies in the next heat, hold your positions. Surfer in blue, she's gonna look at this one. Nope. She opts out, wise decision. She needs to get more on the outside with 35 seconds remaining. She's looking for that 6.01. Surfer, here we go, Surfer in blue, she's up. Can she get a little more vertical this time? Wave's gonna not cooperate too much and she's gonna concede and come in. Surfer's in the next heat, stop paddling. If you ladies can't respect your other surfers, I'm gonna stop you from paddling out. It'll be a beach start. White up and riding as this heat comes to a close, three, two, one. So ladies in the next heat, hold your positions. We are on a short hold. So waiting for this last of white, she as waited. it could possibly affect first base. She waited uh, for the last 10 seconds of this heat to get her, her, back, her proper backup wave. She finally got it. She started off with the seven, and this wave was not the best, but it's the best wave she's had since her, the first opening raid. Yeah, so the judges are looking at this one. These two girls in red and white are going to advance. It's just which in which order. Okay, so surfer in white, you require 4.8 to go to first, you drop a 3.4, so you remain in second position. So taking the win, surfer in red, coming in second, surfer in white, you ladies will be advancing into the round of 32. Coming up shortly. We're gonna take a short commercial break and we'll be right back with heat number one in the round of 32. Stay tuned. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90 faceted modern dome shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. Okay, back to live action. This is round of 32, heat number one coming up in this round. We're gonna see some exciting surfers coming up in this heat. Bella Kenworthy in red. She is the number one ranked surfer on the North American tour. Followed by the surfer in blue, Chelsea Ruit, white, Reed Von Wagner. And in green, Daya Makar. While we were on that short break, no waves were ridden, so there are no scores to give. Got, got a little hot sauce in the bowl here. This is going to be a hot heat. Yep, we're getting down into the round of 32, so we got the seated surfers coming up, taking on second, first and second place, coming out of the round of 48. Yep, these heats are gonna be 25 minutes. So the top four girls in the North American rankings will advance into the Challenger Series coming up later on this year. I wanna say good morning to all the visitors to Barbados. We had a big crowd down here yesterday. If you're watching at home, the sun is out, the breeze is blowing, the bar is stopped. Come down, say hello. Welcome to Barbados. So the top four in this ranking so far, Bella Kenworthy, Talia Swindell, Kira Pinkerton, and Zoe Benedetto. 
Uh, those four girls are in qualifying position. There also will be one wild card given for this North American qualification, which will amount to five girls. We also qualify seven men. There will also be one wild card for the men. So in total, five women and eight men from the North American region will be taking part in the Challenger Series with 5,000 points on offer right here in Barbados. A lot of things can happen. The surfers putting themselves in position, just peeking at these little waves coming in, but no takers and local surfer, Chelsea Ruit, out there with these girls. She's getting herself in position. She's the only one in the right position, so here she goes, up and right, and Blue throws it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. This is local girl, Chelsea Ruit. She's working her way all the way to the inside, trying to stick with it. And Green was right behind here. We're gonna switch to Green now. That's Daya McCart. She was one of the surfers that qualified or I should say advanced from the round of 48. Def definitely um, trying to queue up these replays. We had a flurry of action here, starting out with Chelsea Ruit in blue from Barbados. Picks this one deep, gets a lovely first outside hit. The wave goes out to see, she sticks with it. She just decides to wait on a wave and just keep, keep her flow going. She was doing a little fill-in work in between there and she waited for it to, to come back on the inside section. She got in another roundhouse cut back. So that will probably be a good score. That was a long ride. And then we had the rider up from green. She picked this one from way up in the top. Was able to get one dynamic maneuver, barely hung on, and then a second snap there. So, and a third snap. So we're looking at a, a good exchange here between surfer from Barbados and surfer from the USA, first opening exchange. Okay, so while we're standing by for those scores, standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Kylie Pulsini. Here we are at the St. Louis Glass with the winner of the last heat of the round one in the women QS BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Kylie Pulsini, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> a little stressful for that first heat. Yeah, I guess a little bit. I was just hoping to get some scores under my board or under my feet. <laughs> it works out. It worked out really well. Um, not the easiest conditions over there. How is it compared to where you're from in Florida? It's a lot better. So I'm actually really happy with this. It's been flat and at home. So it's like perfect type of wave. It's my favorite type of wave I've ever surfed is here at Supal. <laughs> Oh, well, sweet. Can't wait to see more. Um, so you're feeling confident for the next heat? I know you're mostly in juniors, but it's, it's great to get through a few heats in the QS as well, right? Yeah, it's nice. I'm just trying to uh, stay confident, be confident with what I'm wearing, and um, yeah, just have fun. <laughs> well, I mean, you're pushing a few good turns over there, so keep it up. You want to a little shout out to friends and family back at home. Are they watching? Yeah, my uh, my mom, my grandma, and probably my uncle Brian are watching. So hi, I love you guys. Um, and then hi to my coach Todd Holland back in Cocoa Beach. I love you guys. <laughs> well, sweet. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Thank Good you. luck for the next one. Thanks mm -hmm. so much. Okay, back to live action. While you're on that St. Luke interview. Some scores dropped in, so Surfer in blue dropping a 4-3-3, Surfer in white dropping a 5-3-3, and Surfer in green dropping a 4-1-7. So early going in this heat, white first, blue second, green third, and Surfer in red, Bella Kenworthy yet to open her account. But when she does, look out, this girl can throw fireworks. There we go, green. Gaia McCart working it onto the inside. He's got a nice looking inside runner. Bangs it up. Vertical trying to get back out in front of the section. Floats the section and goes down. And white on the outside up and riding. 
and she goes out the back. So breaking down the replay of Green, picks up a little double up on the inside. So that she's able to get two snaps on this wave. And a third. Really tries to go vertical on the fourth, but loses it. Maybe overcooked it there a little bit, but she'll be rewarded for the work she did before the fall. So that's three outside turns. Okay, so the judge is making some comparisons, and last of green, 4.63, so green goes to first, white drops to second, blue, you are in third, you require a 1.4, and red is yet to open your account, you require a 5.6. Coming up in the next heat, Sarah Freire, Freire Mia McLeish, Fabiola Akala, and in green, Olivia Storer. So you ladies are free to check in whenever you like. You can paddle out within five minutes. But I please want to remind you, when you paddle out, please stay within the channel. It gets very confusing up here. If you're too far into the lineup, we cannot decipher who is in what heat. That's why we're asking that you stay in the channel. A lot on offer, a lot. Implications can go down. Right here in Barbados, this is the highest ranked North American tour event. Coming up later on today, we're gonna see the junior men's round of 56. So every year this event gets bigger and bigger and more popular. So the fourth priority, Green, given that one a dig, is unfortunate she couldn't get in. That did have a nice looking wall and rolled its way all the way onto the inside. That was a little bit of those north underlying peaks as white, she's paddling down that way too. A lot of these guys and gals have been here for at least a week, been able to get Super Bowl when it was really going off last week. Hopefully, hopefully with a bunch of prayers and hopes we can see that return again on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This beach predominantly faces northeast, so we get all those swells on the east coast that hit North Carolina and Florida and all down into Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. It works its way all the way down here to Barbados, and it doesn't really take much. just takes a long period we can have a three foot, one point, you know, two meters swell out of the north. The higher the period, the bigger the waves, is we're gonna watch red use her priority. Bella Kenworthy, she goes up and right and throws the first turn up in the lip. The wave kind of closes out on her. She's gonna stick with it, hoping to get around this section and to get a reform, which she will. Here we go, up on the inside, little flick turn. Uh, she's working her way to the rip, another flick turn. So she'll get on the board with that one. So on the outside, we're looking at uh, watching girls jockeying for position. Watching the replay start from Red for the USA. This is Bella Kenworthy. She came all the way around that section. Another snap. She's connecting all the dots here and gets another finishing snap there. So that was a well-surfed, executed wave. Yeah, she had a nice outside maneuver and she stuck with it. So we'll see if it pays off for her as we watch live action. This is Surfer in white. A little fade to the right. And then nice big vertical turn. And green on the outside, up and right. And she is the current heat leader. We're going to follow green. And she doesn't get to that inside section. So she's sitting on a 417. And a 4.6. So we're going to compare some scores. Surfer and white here. 
There's a lovely setup snap, throwing some water. Wait, it's an incredibly timed vertical backhand hit. That will be heavily rewarded. That's probably one of the nicest quality maneuver, single maneuver I've seen with the, this heat. Surfer in green comes up, gets a little at top. Second turn a lot better. We have splits on her, so that's only two outside, but there are two outside quality maneuvers on a decent size set. We will see how the judges separate those two raids. Yeah, and that leaves the surfer in blue sitting on the outside with priority. As the score for red comes in at a 5.1. So, waiting for the last of white and also last of green. So 5.1 on the last of red, currently in third position, but I'm just waiting for these other scores to come in. So the last of white, 4.4, 12 minutes remaining. So last of green will not factor in so last of green, 3.10. So situation in the water, white first, green second. Red, you're third, you require a 3.7. And blue, you're fourth, you require a 4.4. 14 minutes, 45 seconds. Here we go green, staying busy. She comes around the first section. Nice, wrapping down carve, straight into another maneuver. And it catches the rail a little bit, but she's working her way onto the inside. A couple of major maneuvers, so Daya McCart. She advanced out of the round of 32. Well, here you go, what did you see, Simon? Loving what I'm seeing here, coming from behind the section. Lovely wrapping, arc in the pocket. And the second one, young lady's using her rail. This way, this way it just keeps on giving for her, so she just keeps banging away, that was four. Seamless transition maneuvers, and two of them were outside turns. I'm thinking that's going to be a heavily rewarded score. Yeah, that was really holding that rail on those down carves. Uh, here we go, red. Bella Kenworthy up and right, and coming around the first section, throws it up vertical. Wrapping cut by a little tail slash. Watching the replay here of Red, she comes around, bangs the white water on a lovely open face carve. She takes she's ready to do a little fade there and it popped her out the back of the wave, but that was still two quality turns. Got to see how the judges reward right, so it. Last of green, 6.3. Last of green, 6.3. We are waiting for a score for red, and then I will update the situation. So momentarily, green, you gone to first. There we go, live action, white up and right, and nice big vertical turn. Pushes out the fins. Reed Von Wagner working it, working it for all it's worth. So she did have a nice outside maneuver. And here you go, watch this first turn, really pushes the fins out. Sticks with it, cuts it back. Hoping that this wave would a reform that she could tee off on some of those inside runners like like Daya did. Well, unfortunately, the wave fizzles out. And still, we're working on this score for red, and then we're gonna get this wave in for white and, and green. Giving this one a sniff, she don't want it. But eight minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Here we go, blue, she's gonna pull the trigger. Barbados' is very own Chelsea Ruit. Nice open turn up in the lip, cutting it back, banging it off the white water. Waiting for this wave to reform. She's gonna look at this inside section. Not gonna offer too much, so she goes out the back. Currently sitting on a 4.3. 
Here is the replay of Chelsea Rip from Barbados in blue. Lovely first carve. Swooping. Open up the shoulders into a nice round host cut back. She's redirecting, trying to make the connections. It's weird. It's fizzling out on her. She's actually heading left here. And then she redirects back right. So she utilized every inch of power she could have that wave. Really got her only three, three quality turns. But that was a well-served wave. And they're going to have to reward her for something she did on the outside there. So last of red, 427. So red is currently in third position, requiring a 4.6. But I have a wave for blue to drop and one for white. White. This wave is probably not going to factor in. And up and riding is red. Big first turn. Big wrapping cutback. Second maneuver straight into another cutback. And out the back. OK. Let's see if they queue up the replay for last of red. She picks us up deep in the section. Gets her first, first big hit. Lays out a lovely open face carve back to the pocket. And then one more carving snap in the pocket. So that was some quick work done. Three maneuvers in succession. No hopping, no bogging of rails. That was some clean surfing. And that was Bella Kenworthy from the United States. All right, last of blue, 4.6. And we're waiting on white. Six minutes, five seconds remaining. So last of white. 5, 3.5, 3.5 for white. So working on the last of green up and right, and we're still working on that last of red. Last of red, 6.83, so all the scores are in. Red, you go to first. Green, you drop to second. White, you are in third. You require a 5.6, and blue, you are in fourth. You require a 6.3. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Uh, that, that was the last of um, green, Dan McCart from uh, the United States. That was just uh, up and down, so that'll be of no consequence. Four minutes, 55 seconds remaining is white, up and right in. Going vertical, up in the lip, gets hung up a little bit. And she comes around the section. She's going to go out the back. That first turn is so important. She is currently in third position. We watch this replay. Cue not to repair this young lady has a lovely deep bottom turn and she transitions that into almost a vertical backhand snap. This wave goes out to sea. So she just redirects to the pocket, hoping for a connection, but sees this just fizzling out. So she gets out of there quickly, but judges will reward her for the work done on the outside. And that was one quality maneuver on the outside. Okay, four minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Surfer in red, currently in first position. And green, she is in second position. White requiring a 5.6 and blue requiring a 6.3 is red. She's up and right and looking to ditch that 5.1.0. And on the outside, blue is up and riding. Goes up in the lip. But this wave doesn't reform for her. Watching the replay here on Last of Blue Chelsea Europe from Barbados. She was a little bit stuck behind the section, was able to get one turn up in the pocket, 
and that wave just fizzled out for us. So. Here we go, Red. Up and right in Bella, she's staying busy. Nice big turn. Followed by another one. Flicks out the fins. White, you're currently in third position. You require a 5.6. 5.6 for white to move into an advancing position. Blue, you're fourth. You require a 6.3. Two minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Watching the replay for Bella Kenworthy from the States. She has got probably one of the best quality turns of this uh, heat. With one large outside snap, belting water to the... So we'll see what the judges deem for that. It was only really two, out, two outside maneuvers, and that way it fizzled out quickly on her. But that's quality turns. And she's now in a commanding position in this heat. Two minutes remaining. All right, White, up and riding. So currently looking for a score for this surfer in White. She's gonna work this one all the way as far as she can. Jim, um Look at the replay coming here of White. This is a lady with a lovely backside whip. She gets one outside hit and another. This wave is starting to fit, to go a bit fat into the rip, so she, but she decides to stick with it to get every inch she can. We're down to about a foot of wave here, and she's still tapping and going, trying to get something more done there. Another little check turn, and she finishes with a tiny wiggle there. So that was four manufactured maneuvers there, but the first two were quality. All right, priority change. Blue goes to first priority. Here we go. Chelsea Ruitt on the outside, up and riding. Here we go. Green, she's going to take this one. She had priority. Big opening wrap, last of red, 653 red. Here we go, Chelsea Ruit up and right in, surfer in blue from Barbados, comes around the section. Wave offering nothing on the inside and she kicks out with just 20 seconds remaining. And red on the outside, she is the current heat leader, drops the wallet, picks it up. Working her way to the beach and with just three, two, and one, counting that one in. So servers in the next heat, hold your positions. We're gonna be on a short hold. We're gonna watch some of these waves as we look at the last of green. Nice big wrapping cut back. She was currently in second position. So, and the only person that could leapfrog her was the surfer in blue. She was trying to manufacture a score, but not really offering much, but we still have a score to drop for the surfer in red. The server's in the next heat. Please hold your positions. This heat still has not started. So last of red, 623. Last of blue, 0.73. So the heat remains the same, server in red, in first and advancing, and the surfer in green, in second and advancing. Diana McCart and Bella Kenworthy will be going up into the round of 16, coming up later on in the week. We're gonna go to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number two in this round of 32. Please stay tuned. Step every single race, paradise is be named. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways.
Okay, we're back to live action while we were on that short commercial break. There were two waves ridden. We'll get you that replay coming up momentarily. We're waiting for the scores to drop. Coming up in this heat in red, Sarah Freire in blue, Mia McLeish in white, Fabiola Alcala, and in green, Olivia Storr with 23 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, White's replay here comes out on a little slingshot there. Didn't really get much, got a roundhouse and then kicked out. Red was on the way behind, gave a little bit more opportunity to do a cutback and off the lip, and then she kicks out. Paddle by Green, Green up. So Green up and right, and this is live action. First of red, 383, first of white, 217. So we're sticking with green. She's up and right and working her way to the inside, throwing up a big turn. So Olivia advancing from the round of 48 into this round of 32, showing what she's got, showing what she has to offer. She, she picked a little bit lined up wave here, does a little floater off the lip, gets this double up here back to the main pocket. This wave gave her a little bit more opportunity than the, the last two waves ridden, and she finishes with a bang. Twenty two minutes and thirty seconds remaining. Blue up and right in Mia McLeish. Stopping her mark. Here we go. Out onto the open face. Not liking what the looks of that inside section has. And she gets out. So all three girls, all four girls are now going to be on the board. Update this situation as soon as all these scores come in. So last of green, 3.0, last of blue, 2.5. So early going, red first, green second, blue third, and, and white fourth. Yeah, here's blue's last wave. She gets going in the power pocket right here, wait, just waiting for an opportunity to do something. Does a cut back and another cut back here. And just the opportunity just wasn't there to get her power turn in. As White still riding live here, finishing up. We'll get a replay after that. Finishes on the inside. Here's the beginning of White rides, cuts back into the power pocket, has to bounce a little bit. Waiting for this thing to give her some opportunity. Does a cut back, another cut back. Just waiting for something steep to finish up this turn with. On the inside, she gets a nice little cut back. Just not enough opportunity to get a big score. And so last of white, 3.07. So white first, red second, green third, blue fourth. So the surfer in green, you just look up for at 0.84 and blue 1.2 to move up into advancing position. Yeah, it looks like all, all the girls are just wanting to get their feet in the wax and fill in their boards so they can get ready for the rest of the heat. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, just staying busy. A little bit of common nerves, figuring out what the sets are doing. Still plenty of time, 20 minutes remaining. Yeah, it's like a normal heat now. Yeah, exactly. I always take that extra five minutes. I always take that extra five minutes every time. How about you? <laughs> Me too. The amount of heats that have been flipped around in five minutes is incredible. So blue was in third position. Th sorry, in third priority, opting out of that wave.
So Blue, looking at this one again, she can't get into that one either. You're talking about the last five minutes. How about the last five seconds with like uh, Andy Irons, Kern, or Slater? Those guys were like five seconds left and turning heats. You're right. I think Kelly, Kelly got a score in the last minute, two scores. All right. We're going to take a short break, cut down to the glass, standing by with Amaya, the winner of the last heat, Bella Kenworthy. Here we are by the San Luis Glass with the winner of this first heat round number two of the Women QS VTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Dim Diamonds International. Bella Kenworthy, how are you? I'm good. Oh, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. We, we were just saying, got a little stress there because it took a, a little while to catch a first wave, but then you kept really busy. Um, yeah, I got really stressed at the beginning. Like this contest like means a lot to me, so I tried to like fix it up at the end, but ended up catching a lot of waves. I'm still stressed, clearly, but yeah. Well, you're looking really good over there, you know, releasing some fins, a little flair and power. It's, you're looking really strong. Yeah, I didn't like select the best waves, so I was trying to just do the most like that I could on the waves I got. Um, and yeah, thankfully I got a couple turns in. Well, you're saying you feel a little stressed, but you got the other girls a little stressed too because you kept really busy, you know, asserting some authority at the lineup. So, yeah, how are you feeling for the next round? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Happy to get that heat out of the way. It's a little nervous, like, starting the comps, but once the first heat, like, you finish that, like, brings up your confidence a little bit. So, looking forward to the next few heats. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's it for you for the day. What are you going to do this afternoon to get ready for tomorrow or Friday? Um, yeah, I'm here with like my brother and dad, so we'll probably just like go find a fun wave and surf and just have fun. Sounds fun. Well, enjoy Barbados. You want to say a little something for, I know your brother and your dad are here, but you want to say something for the others back at home maybe in the U.S.? Yeah, um, I want to say hi mom, Indy, Waylon, and Peta. Love you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Keep it up, girl. Nice seeing you. <laughs> you. All right, back to live action. So situation in the water is white first, red second, and red is up and riding. We watch this replay of red. She's just setting up this inside section. Throws it up, nice little top turn, cutting it back. She's currently sitting on a 3.83, looking to better that score. Currently in second position. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining. There's still quite a bit of time left in the heat. That's a couple of small scores. So she comes in at a 4.33 for red, 4.33 for red. So red, you go to first, white drops to second. Blue, you are now in third. Blue, you require a 2.6. And green, green, you are fourth. You require a 2.2. So surfer with priority is surfer in green. Looking at this first wave, this one's going to hit the reef on the inside. That's the north section, and she's going to pull the trigger on this one. Green. A little bit of an easterly wave, so that wave's going to bend off the reef. And it gives her a little section on the inside to work with. Nice top turn. Still going, still working it all the way down to the rip. She goes out the back. She's currently sitting in fourth position as we watch this replay. She kind of rolled into this one a little late. So there really wasn't much on the outside for her, but she stuck with it. She's only sitting on a three, so she only has a single wave. Just requires a small score, so I'm sure that's going to put her up. Priority change, priority change. Blue goes the first, red second, white third. All right, priority blue, red, white. Blue, red, white. 
So waiting on that last score of Green to come in. Going back to that last five seconds of those guys, Lou, they just never gave up in the heats and come back and win. White, she's going to roll in on this one. She's going to get to her feet. Yes, she does. She's going to wait for it to roll up on the inside. White working her way all the way into the inside. As red on the outside. So that was lovely top turn for red. So we'll get that replay. So she's currently in first position. I think she's going to ditch that 4.3. Now here goes a replay of white. Rolls into this one, does a little cutback, and uh, waiting for it to stand up. Gets a little snap here, and the wave kind of fades a little bit here. This blue's up and right and live out the back. And now here goes red taking off on the replay on the inside. Does a big roundhouse. Got a better opportunity with a big snap followed by another opportunity with another big off the left. That is a nice quality wave for today out here as Blue doing a roundhouse cutback and fading out of that one. So last of red, 6.5. Last of red, 6.5. Last of green, 3.6. Green, you are currently in second position. That was your previous of green, 3.6. I didn't realize you just had another wave. And we, so right now, white is in third position. And r blue is in fourth. Break down green's wave. Comes out and does a roundhouse cut back, back to the pocket, waiting for this thing to line back up, but it doesn't. She was out. Going back to Red's last wave, she just picked a, a better wave with opportunity, and she got to drive three turns on that wave, Lou, uh, with fluid, smooth connections from one power turn to the next. Yeah, so, that's what the judges are looking for. And they rewarded her for that, so wave choice is key out here for getting a good score, and to show your ability of surfing. Absolutely. Critical turns in the critical spot of the wave. So we're waiting on this last of green, and then I will update white and blue as blue up and riding. Mia McLeish currently in fourth position. is sitting on two small scores, and she's going to better both of them already with this wave. She can hang on, get down to the inside. Big turn off the top, working her way onto the inside. She's going to go out the back. She's just a tiny little thing. She serves amazing. Yeah. Here we go. Break down, driving off the bottom, rotating back to the pocket, waiting for this thing to stand up. She tags it. And sticking with the wave, waiting for an opportunity. Green up and riding live out the back as a replay of blue is still finishing up as she finishes her wave. All right, White, your last wave was a 2-3-3. Three, three, three. I'm just waiting for the last of blue and also the last of green to give you your requirement. You're watching this replay of green. This is the wave that we're waiting for. Yeah, Blue, you're going to drop your best. So stand by, 9 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. You've got one more score to type. All 
All right, last previous of green, 247. Last of blue, 3.7. So red first, green second, blue, your third, blue. You now require a 2.9. And white, you are fourth. You require a 3.5. Nine minutes remaining. Priority with white, red second priority, green third priority, fourth priority blue. Green, you need to check in for your next heat. Green, check in for your next heat. Arena Vargas, Arena Vargas, you need to check in for your next heat. Eight minutes, 13 seconds remaining. Yeah, green up and riding on the replay here. This wave really wasn't gonna give her the opportunity from the start up, so she just kicks out and gets back out in the lineup. So coming up in the next heat, we have Ella McCaffrey, Leilani McGonagall, Bahia Ferdiana, and Arena Vargas. So Leilani McGonagall was the winner in 2018 when we did this event at Drill Hall as a 3000. It's 2017. Here we go. White up and right in. She got a nice looking wave out of her. Oh, she just missed that first turn. Really needed to go up into that lip vertical. Finishes strong, though. So you see what happens. If she would have made that first turn on the outside, that, that wave would have gone up into the excellent range for sure. And on the inside, this is a nice looking wave. Mia McLeish. She is currently in third position. Throws it up. Can she hang on? No, she can't. And on the outside, Green wrapping it around. She's going to answer all of them. Olivia Strower. Take that, man. Ba -pow. These girls are all friends. Back in the day, your competitor was your enemy. Like You, you lost to somebody. You wanted blood. Nowadays, they shake each other's hands, and yeah. I think it's great. And you know, it has a lot to do with the priority. Re replay on Wyatt's wave. Got a bigger wave here. Does a big check turn. Finishes with a big snap there. One of the better quality waves. Just and then you have green cap coming back with a roundhouse cut back on this replay. Fires it off on the lip. Another roundhouse in front of her competitor. Finishes with a off the lip, and then one looking for one more turn, but had to kick out. So judges watching these scores. So we're gonna go back to that white. You know, she really had an opportunity to smash that first maneuver. Yeah, there's some fireworks going on in the last three waves there. For sure. The judges comparing this. Score of green, getting the comparisons correct, setting the scale, following the scale that they've set. All right, so this is gonna, this is gonna change up some things here. I got a score coming for green, a score coming for blue, and a score coming for white. And I think the only one that's, I'm not even gonna say it, because <laughs> this could change everything. I'm seeing some scores drop in for both white and green, so. All right, last of blue, 2.7. Last of white, 5.83. Last of green, 5.33. So red first, green second, white, you are third, white, you require a 3.1, and blue, you are fourth, you require a 5.2, four minutes, 25 seconds remaining.
Priority on the outside with the surfer in red, then white, blue, and green. So this last exchange, everything flip-flopped. The only one that stayed where she was was, was red. However, the surfer in white only requiring a 3.1, and the surfer in blue requiring a 5.2. Yeah, in, no. in second position, sitting in fourth priority. So she's going to give way to White. Here we go, White. Let's see if she's going to make a better first maneuver. Last wave, she dropped the 583, and all of that came from that inside maneuver as she works her way down to the inside, trying to stick with it. She's going to get back out onto the open face, throws it up, pushes out the fins. All right, so here we go. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Let's see what the judges think about that. Here's Green, you are currently in second position. You have a 5.3 and a 3.6. However, White only requires a small score, and she just had a wave. So as soon as I get her score, I will update you. Here we go. Blue up and right, and she also looking for a wave. Working it to the inside and on the outside. Green up and right, and as we stick with blue, working it to the inside. So can Olivia answer back with green? Here we go. She's going to opt for, to kick out of that last maneuver with two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And here we go with the blues replay. A little smaller wave does a cutback, trying to let this wave reform so she can perform a big maneuver. The section pops up in front of her, but fades out, does a cut back, finishes it strong on the inside. And then out the back, we had green on this replay, roundhouse cut back to the pocket, kind of on the high line on this wave, another roundhouse, got a bump in front of her, and she was out of that one. But on the last exchange, on the last exchange, uh, white and green. All right, last of white, 3.4. White, you go to second. Green, you drop to third. Green, you now require a 3.9. One minute, 40 seconds remaining. Blue, your last coming into the 3.7. You still require a 5.5. So green, up and writing. We go red, up and riding. She's the current heat leader, sitting on a 6.5 and a 4.3. Nice big wrapping cutback. All right, here we go. Um, go ahead, Jim, with the replay. Yeah, red takes this one, does a nice roundhouse to start out, does, cuts back to the pocket, keeping the speed and flow going, just looking for an opportunity to do something big here, and finishes with a snap on the inside. The wave just slowed her down at the end. All right, with 30 seconds remaining, green up and riding. She's looking to answer back white. Here we go. She's got something on her sights, throws it up. Still working this way for all it's worth. So with 10 seconds remaining, this is up to the judges now. Yeah, here she goes. Attacking Count it in. Going back to the pocket. And three, two, one. And finding a off, nice little off the lip there down the line. Really giving everything she had, knowing it was the last wave of the heat. All right, so we're, server's in the next heat. Stand by. We're on a short hold. Next heat. Stand by. We're on a short hold. So... All right, last of green requires a 391, drops a 3.7, not enough. So white stays in second. 
So taking the win, Sarah Fr Freyer in red coming in second. Fabiola Alcala in white. Servers in the next seat, please hold your positions. We're on a short hold. We're going to take a short commercial break. And we'll be right back with heat number three of this round of 32. Back to live action. Here we go. Green up and right in. Arena Vargas. Working it out onto the open face. Throws it up. Bangs it off the lip. And she goes out the back. So Arena drawn first blood. All right, coming up in this heat, the red jersey, Ella McCaffrey in blue, Leilani McGonigal. She's a former champion of this event when it was a 3,000. In white, Bahia Fridiana. And in green, Arena Vargas. So first of green coming in at a 4.5. So 20 minute, 23 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Priority yet to be established with the other three girls way, way, way up inside. So once Vargas gets to the outside, she will assume fourth priority. As a little paddle battle ensuing, blue, she's going to hold off red. Here we go, Leilani up and riding on her backhand. Float, nice re-entry on the first maneuver as she works her way into soup bowl. Throws it up vertical. Out onto the open face. She made that wave connect all the way from up inside. And she goes out the back. So Leilani's another competitor who's been coming here since she was a junior. So she really capitalized on that opportunity. Uh, as we catch up with Ella McCaffrey, she really had a really good turn on the outside, well-connected wave, finding lots of rhythm. Yeah, on this replay, she's able to tag the first off the lip, has a little stumble there, gets back to the pocket, tries a big roundhouse cut back there, does another roundhouse cut back, then she kicks out. All right, here we go. Girls are battling to get back to the outside. So first of blue, 5.6. First of red, 5.4. And I know that they're not going to hear a word I'm saying because they're concentrating on each other. Yeah, as they got a paddle battle going back out. Love yeah. to see that. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Sarah Fryer. Here we are at the St. Luke Glass with the winner of heat number two, round two of the women QS BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, the young Sarah Freyer. How are you? I'm good. It was super fun out there. It was my first heat and my first time here, so I'm just super stoked to be here and find a few waves. Yeah, I mean, you're looking like you're having fun. You kept a little bit more quiet than the other girls. Was it your strategy? Um, yeah, well, I was just trying to wait for the good ones because all of them look so fun, but I was like, I knew that I just had to wait for like the right waves. Well, you did catch the right waves. You're looking pretty steady and radical. Is it like kind of like home here? 
Yeah, a little bit. It's feeling like a little bit of a beach break today back home at like Huntington, so it's super nice. <laughs> All right, well, keep at it then. Um, are you feeling ready for the next round, maybe tomorrow or the day after? Yeah, I'm super excited for the next round just to get to go surf more heats with only three other girls out. It's so awesome. Yeah, tell me about it. You want to say a little something for friends and family back at home in California? Yeah, for sure. I just wanted to, first of all, just say thank you to God just for getting me where I am today and just, just always never giving up on me and just never letting me down. And thank you to my friends and family who are here and watching back at home and supporting me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> all right, back to live action. As we see these two, Leilani currently ranked number 13th, and Ella just outside that qualification in fifth. So, so here we go, blue paddling, Leilani up and riding. Here we go, first turn, throws it up in the lip. Uh, wave walled up on the outside, but then kind of went real weird. It looked like when she first stood up, it was going to be a really good wave. Red, you are in second position. Your first wave was a 5.4. 5.4 on your opener. Last of blue, 3.3. So blue, you go to first. Red, you drop to second. First of green was a 4.5. White sitting with priority, followed by green, red. 18 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. So just saw the replay there of blue, Leilani McGoggle of Costa Rica. She was able to pick up a mid-size wave and do some decent rail work. The wave didn't offer any critical sections for it, so all she could do is kind of keep it weaving rail to rail. So that kept the score down a bit, but that's her backup. So she'll be looking to improve upon that. She's a seasoned veteran out here at this stage and a very smart competitor. So she's just well out in front of this heat. Coming up in the next heat, in the red jersey, Zoe Benedetto, in blue, Vela Mativ, in white, Keanu Miller, and in green, Mia Moore. Coming up in the next heat, Zoe Benedetto won this event last year and also leapfrogged a couple people to get into the qualification for the Challenger Series. So we have a former champion in this heat in Leilani and a former champion coming up in the next heat in Zoe. Also past champion on the men's side Michael Dunphy, and um, Luca Messinas.
So it took a long time, this contest, not this particular event, but we have been doing an event, pro event, in Barbados, the third longest running event in the world behind Bells and the ECSC. And it took a long time for a backsider to win out here. First backsider ever to win this event was Asher Nolan. And he opened the door for a lot of goofy footers, showing them all how it's done. So here we go, ocean moving, girls swinging. Here we go, blue with fourth priority gets this one, goes up vertical. Leilani, well, I don't know how, any idea how those girls let this wave go. She's gonna smash this North Peak all the way onto the inside, still giving her a wave to work with. Literally taking this wave from every single one. play here because that was the best score that he so far come from right section bang straight up vertical and she's riding up with so much power clean snap on the shoulder she set up the inside corner it's tying up and she's lays in another hook underneath the pocket and then a vertical stab Leilani really made them pay on that one well, here we go red up and right in Ella McCaffrey Didn't realize that replay wasn't done yet. <laughs> so here we go, Leilani catches that wave up with fourth priority from everyone. And she was just so surprised that nobody went. She was like, okay, I'll go, here we go. And Red taking off, holding her position up there at the be beginning, trying to let that wave set up, doesn't do much and she uh, was out. There we go, Leilani McGonagall, 8.0, 8.0 for Surfer in blue. You go to first, last of red, 2.6. So Leilani dropping at 8.0. Under fourth priority, that was a big blunder. So as I was saying, Leilani sitting in uh, 13. And Ella just outside that qualification in fifth. And last year we saw a lot of surfers get leapfrogged, a lot of emotion is involved in this. This is a huge event. Big, big, big points on store. And, and Blue's gonna turn on this inside nugget. Look at this wave lining up for her. Throws up the first section out onto the North Peak. It's gonna line up on the inside. And she starts to unload on it. I don't know where the camera guys are, but they're not filming her. We'll get you that replay. So she's gonna back up that eight point ride in fine fashion. Hopefully we have that replay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the main camera seems to have missed that ride. We're unable to follow her, but we're hoping they can queue it up on the replay for us. I stand corrected. I meant she was gonna back up that eight. She ain't back it up. She bettered it 8.5. For Surfer in blue, 8.5, Leilani. Paired up with your eight, with 11 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. When you're in rhythm, you're in rhythm. That's all I can say. Not sure if the booth has that last of blue, if you can cue that up for us.
There's White on the replay. Comes up, does a big fin release there. The wave just doesn't offer any more on that replay. Okay, although we've missed the camera guy, he's missed it. Leilani has just dropped probably the best score of the morning, and she's now has sitting on two eights. I'm not trying to update the situation, but we did miss the uh, the video of probably one of the best rides of this heat, unfortunately. So we're just gonna give her a little commentary on what was actually not not shown to the viewers. Yeah, but the judges didn't miss it. The camera guy missed it, but the judges didn't. There's a pair of two eights, uh, eight, eight, eight plus an eight, five, highest score of the day. Lilani sitting on two eights right about now. She would be grinning like a Cheshire cat, completely confident, and anything is possible in her mind. She has no stress. Yeah, nine minutes, 30 seconds remaining. So priority is on the outside with the surfer in green. Green is currently in third position, sitting on a single score of a 4.5. Green requires a 3.5 to move up into an advancing position. And White, you are sitting on a single score of 3.2. You require a 4.8. We always consider these heats, uh, when someone's out there with double digits, 16.5, they're pretty much gone. So it turns into a three-man heat now. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Between red, green, and white, so. With eight, eight and a half minutes left. And you see Ella way up inside the point, but the surfer in, the surfer in white sitting right next to Leilani. She wants some of that. She wants some of that luck Leilani's been having. I want to send a big shout out to my good friend Scott McCranos watching all the way from Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah, Big Red. Big Red, thanks for joining the broadcast. Need some dental work? Go to Scott McCranos. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Ellie McCaffrey up and riding. Oh boy, she makes a little blunder, so she will go to the last priority. Plenty of time, seven minutes, 50 seconds remaining. White is going to snip this one out. She's sitting in second priority. Scott used to come here quite a bit with his nephew, but Scott's been coming here for years, long time. So here we go, looking at this replay of Red. Here we go, Red. Just a one turn and out. Uh, she's going to get back out there with fourth priority now. So it's seven minutes and 30 seconds left. First priority goes to green. Second priority, white. Third priority, blue. Fourth priority, red. Yeah, I had many battles with Scott over the years. They're Lou all around the world. We've had good times. Yeah, he's a great surfer. His nephew, him and his nephew used to come here and surf in this event for a long time. Nathan Beal. You ever see those videos of Nathan and Cam Dewey? I actually <laughs> haven't seen those. <laughs> I invite go anybody to go on YouTube and Google Nathan Beal Kandui. He will absolutely blow your mind with his bar writing skills as we watch White looking for a score, working it all the way to the inside. This is going to get dicey for the second position as we're now going to cut to Blue, who's just ripping out there. So the situation is going to maybe flip-flop as we watch this replay from White. Yeah, she comes powerful off the top, does two back-to-back -back off the lips, releasing the fins, rotating really strong there on the third turn, waiting for this to reform for something on the inside, but it didn't, but she kicks out. Blue was just, takes off, playing around, comes up, does one snap, Looks, and she's out. Yeah, we're gonna see what goes on here with this score for White. Judges are really taking a good look at it. Five minutes, 40 seconds remaining. This event 
last year I dubbed this event happiness and heartbreak because there was a lot of happy kids and there were a lot of absolutely heartbreaking kids. So last of white, 6.4. White, you go to second. Red, you are now in third. You require a 4.2. And green, you are fourth. You require a 5.1. Priority sits with the surfer in green, followed by red, white, and then blue. So blue first, white second, red third, with five minutes remaining. Red requiring a 4.2 and green requiring a 5.1. Lou, Lou, going back to Analyze what y'all were just talking about, the history between Soup Bowl and some of the Floridians. I remember from Scott to Todd Holland to Byron Knowlton. Um, Todd a, Morecambe. Todd Morecambe. David Spear. Daniel Mojado. There's so many, so many. And I think here. our earliest memories were probably seeing uh, what, a 13 or 14 year old Kelly coming down here and watching him completely on Super Bowl. Yeah. And we've had some. I mean, John, John Logan, Logan. I mean, Byron Knowlton. Matt Keenan. Jeremy Sacco. Gordon Lawson. Asher Nolan. There's so many, Danny Buzzer, I, so many uh, surfers. I, I, Mandia, Peter Mandia, Peter Mandia, his I son is now here. I remember Peter Mandia having Dengue at my house for nearly 10 days. <laughs> yeah, I met his son this trip, he was so cool. Klugel, Jeff Klugel. <laughs> yeah, Rich Rudolph, I mean, so many, it's incredible. Scott Bouchard, Paul Renneke. There's a long list of good surfers coming down from Florida. Bob Roman. That's right. For Bob Bob Roman. Keckley. What? Keckley. Coon. Keckley Coon. Ke yeah, Keckley. Crawford. A never-ending list there. Big shout out to my good friend and fellow compadre announcer Travis AJ. Welcome to the broadcast, buddy. Watching all the way from Ponce Inlet. I've been trying to get you down here for years, buddy. It would be great for you to come and help out. It would be awesome. We, yeah, can't forget Charlie Coon. Charlie Coon. Johnny Sa Futch. Those fellas started the movement, Charlie Coon. Yeah. I haven't seen Brian Hewitson in many years. I would love to see Brian Hewitson. Here we go. Blue, Leilani, she gives way. Two minutes, 16 seconds remaining. Can't forget about Robert Roman. One minute, 20 seconds remaining. Server in red. She's in second priority. Ella McCaffrey bangs it up in the lip, working it out onto the open face. She's going to stick with this and try and get around it with 50 seconds remaining. Here we go. Somebody's going to give her some more encouragement on this inside, trying to build some speed. Here we go. Ella McCaffrey throws it up, looks up at the judge's tower. 
And Leilani on the outside, throwing it up vertical once again, working it all the way to the inside. Servers in the next seat, please stay right there, hold your positions, 29 seconds remaining. Conditions looking buttery right now. Who's that? Greg comes up, eyeballs that lip there, and she attacks it. And she uh, Ten seconds. in to, re to this reform here. Really important way for her. She didn't give up. She had came all the Three, way two, in. Three, two, one. She was able to get a bonus off the lip there. Waiting for her score to come in. And... Uh, yeah, that's a well-served heat by Leilani. Uh, All right, servers in the next seat, stand by. So we ended with a flurry, but an important score coming up for the surfer in red. So waiting for... All right, so we're waiting for scores for all three, all four girls. Leilani is pretty safe. She's in first position with 16.5. So waiting for this score for white, red, and green. Picking all these waves apart, comparing all these scores. That's what's taken a little while. All four surfers had waves right at the buzzer. Big implications to go down. Important score. So some really important scores coming down. We have the surfer in white, also red and green. So last of white, 3.4. She ups the requirement. And the last of red, she requires a 4.4, drops a 4.1. Not enough. She stays in third. So white and blue advancing. Blue taking the win. White second, red third, and green fourth. So Ella McCaffrey bowing out of the event. So advancing Leilani McGonigal and Bahia Fridiani. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number four in this round of 32. Stay tuned. Introducing the crown of light. It's the only 90 faceted modern dome shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown, giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. Happiness. Coming up in this heat, your current champion from last year, Zoe Benedetto in red, Vela Mativ in blue, Kiana Miller in white, and Mia Moore in green. So while we were on that short commercial break, no waves were ridden. As we witness an upset in the making in the last heat, with Ella McCaffrey unfortunately going down. She's currently sitting in fifth position. 
on the QS rankings. So we'll see if anybody can leapfrog. Leilani McGonagall is still in the event. She is currently ranked 13. Leah Mons is here. Mia McLeish, Sarah Fryer, Noe Clapp, Sonoa Olin. So we'll see what's gonna happen. We watch the water. We see in red in position, Zoe Benedetto. She picked off a good one. Here we go. Nice big wrapping cut back out onto the open face. Throws it up in the lip, going vertical. So a series of maneuvers. She works her way to the inside, all the way to the inside, and throwing it up and completing the maneuver. Here we go with the replay of red. Nice wave choice. Slash showing the fins there, coming straight up with, with a power turn. Now bouncing in, waiting for this reform connection. Wave face lines up, tags it again for a great finish. Good opening wave for red. 7.33. Okay. Red, your first wave, a 7.33. All right, we're going to throw it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the heat winner of the last heat with a 16.52 wave heat total. Leilani McGonagall. Here we are at the St. Louis glass with the winner of heat three, round two of this women QS BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Leilani McGonagall. How are you? Good, really happy to make that heat. Um, I got a couple under priority that just pulled up and kept going. I was so happy. I hadn't even gotten waves like that in my free surf, so. Well, I mean, you just cracked not just one, but two excellent scores, the first ones of the day. That is amazing. Oh, uh, thanks. I, I'm just lucky, really, because I had fourth priority on both of them, and I guess no one really wanted them. So I got them, and I was feeling good. I love my board, so I'm just happy to be doing good surfing. That's kind of my goal for this contest, just to surf as hard as I can. Well, I mean, you've been coming here for a few years, so that's probably, you know, a little local knowledge that you got there. You saw something that I didn't see. I remember you won a few years back when it was down in the south. Are you coming for another title? Yeah, I would love to win um, this comp. I have a special connection with Barbados. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been to. And I've won a pro junior out here at Super Bowl. And then at Brandon's, I won a 3000. So yeah, I have a good connection here, but just want to get good waves and do good surfing. Good waves, good surfing, good vibes as well. Well, keep it up for the next round. You want to maybe give a little shout out to friends, family, maybe sponsors. Hola a todos en casa, gracias por el apoyo, muy feliz con ese hit y de seguir avanzando, este evento tiene muchos puntos, así que vamos a darlo todo y saludar a todas mis familias y a mis amigos que me están viendo ahora y por allá. Thank you so much, keep it up girl, nice seeing you. Okay, back to live action, thank you very much for that lovely interview. Still waiting for some scores to drop for blue. Red dropped a 7-3-3 on her opener. 20 minutes, 26 seconds. So priority on the outside sits with red, then green, then white. Here we go on the replay of blue. Coming up, driving through that first turn, doing a little layback. Essing her way through onto the inside here, Lou, and finishing up with a nice turn. Little fin release. Yep. Earns her a 5.17 for that effort, so that puts her in second position. Meanwhile, Green come up, did a little fin throw there, the wave just not giving her what she wants, and she's out. Yeah, only manufacturing a 2.5. So early going, red first, blue second. And we look live action, white up and right, and throws up the first turn. Kiana Miller working it out onto the open face, flicking out the fins, setting up this inside, banging it up again, working it all the way 
and she goes out the back. So just a couple of slashing maneuvers as she works her way to the inside. We'll see what the judges think about that. Yeah, she had some good flow to that. Here she goes, throwing it straight up right off the takeoff, cutting back into the power, use, utilizing the speed, doing a little fin release there, throwing it right back up. Her flow is really nice on this wave, and then tagging it again, and then kicking out of that wave. Yeah, Jim, she really found some rhythm on that wave. Yeah, she kept the speed and the flow through there with a couple nice, sharp turns. And, uh, you know, I'm sure she is going to feel good there, and uh, she's going to get right back out to the lineup with the rest of the girls now. It was a little bit of a smaller wave, but she got some work done. As we watch Red on the outside, Zoe Benedetto, she's from Stewart Beach, Florida. And green up and riding. Oh, and she can't hang on to that finishing maneuver as the score start to trickle in for white. Here's a replay of red. Just a little slash and out really wasn't giving her the opportunity that she wanted green on her replay throwing it straight up into the pocket waiting for something to stand up cars back into the lip waiting for this thing to stand up again gives her opportunity but she ends up poking the nose big shout out to my good buddy rodney archer he's one of florida's finest watching all the way from florida he's usually here couldn't make it this year. Thanks for tuning in. You might not have heard it, but we did call Byron Knowlton for sure. Welcome to the broadcast, Rodney. So last of white, 533. Last of green, 317. So situate last of red, 2.27. So red first, blue second, white, you are third. With a 5.33 and a 0.6, you require a 0.74. And green, you are fourth with a 3.17 and a 2.5. You require a 2.9. 16 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Priority sits on the outside with a surfer in red, followed by white, green, then blue. Again, going back to White's last wave, like you said, it was a little bit smaller, but she was able to keep the speed, power, and flow from one turn to the next, and they rewarded her for a 5.33. That was a nice wave by her. Yeah, she found a lot of rhythm on that wave. She went from transitioning from one turn straight into the next, and she kept the speed, the power, and the flow up all the way. So she was rewarded. You know, that was a bigger wave. You know, you're looking at another, you know, that score is going up into the good, very good range. Now everyone's out the back, Lou, with 16 minutes to go. Everybody has two waves. And in first place at the moment, red. Blue is in second, needing a 4.44 to move into the lead. White is in third, needing a 0 0.74. And green, needing a 2.91. What do you think about that, Lou? Pretty close heat, huh? Very close. You know, we've got some, only one score up in the, past the good range. All the other scores are just average. So we're going to look to see these girls get a little bit busier in this last 15 minutes. Pretty much everybody has a backup score. Zoe has a keeper already with that 7-3-3. She's going to look to try and build on that, but I think some of the other girls are going to try and better their scores. You know, Surfer in blue, she's just, her backup is a five, is a point nine. Surfer in white, her backup is a point six. And the Surfer in green, her backup is a 2.5. So this heat's still wide open between second, third, and fourth. Lou, it looks like the wind's not blowing as much. Seems like it's calming down like it did yesterday, about the same time, huh? Yeah, the wind's calming down a little bit. That kind of happens here sometimes when the island starts to heat up. The wind starts to, like, just move around. It, it actually 
just gone a little bit more to the right, which is more to the southeast. Yeah, it's a southeast wind, so it's kind of just clocking around a little more as we watch red. Zoe Benedetto, she's up and right, and here we go. First turn, throws it up in the lip, buckets a spray out the back. She is the reigning champion of this event. So she adds her name to a list of many. You see her checking her foot right there. She had a little mishap with some sea urchins. So breaking that down, lots of red. She gets a, tags the first hit real well, buckets of spray, and that wave kind of flattened out on her. So it's just pretty two maneuvers. But the first, first one will probably up her, her score line. So that'll probably improve, improve her situation and strengthen her lead. And that is Zoe Benedetto. Yeah, she's from Stuart Beach, Florida. I grew up in South Florida and I used to travel up there every day sometimes surfing. A wave called Stuart Rocks? Stuart Rocks, my friend, was a secret spot for years. Also, Hope Sound North parking lot. That was another secret spot. And when the waves used to get big, it was amazing. I remember another we surfer called David Dixon from Stuart Rocks. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, last of red, 6.0 red, 6.0. So there's your backup score. The two yeah. maneuvers, six, six point. There was also a place in Stuart behind a hotel that we used to have. You used to walk through some bushes. Here we go, white up and right in Kiana Miller. She just requiring less than a one point ride. So she's gonna look to try and stick with this one. Not a bad looking score, or not a bad looking wave. We'll see what her score comes in at. She needed she need a backup, so going through the replay. She's a little slow to get to her feet. This was a little cross stop wave. Got one check snap to start with. She stuck with it. She saw the low road, redirected and waited. She kept going and she was able to connect the inside dot and get one finishing hit. Won't be a big score, but she's something to improve her score line and strengthen her position in advancing. Back to live action, Mia Moore. Just picking off a little smaller inside wave. She got some work done. We'll see where it goes. Just replay. Yeah, she goes up and tags it right there, and she really is waiting for this bowl to stack up so she can do something. Cuts back, is waiting for something. This wave just fades out on her. So she just goes back out the back. You know, when you're out there, Lou, as a competitor, well, you're. Last of white, 3.0. Last of green, 287. So white, you go to second. Blue, you drop to third. Blue, you require a 3.1. Green, you are fourth. You require a 5.1. 11 minutes, 12 seconds remaining. Yeah, like I was saying, when you're uh, sitting out there as a competitor and you're in the lead, time can't go fast enough. And when you're behind, it's going way too fast. It's a very funny thing out here at Soup Bowls because uh, – the time does go real fast, as you know. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, not only when you're a competitor, but when you're a parent sitting on the beach, <laughs> it, you go through the same agony. It can't go quick enough, or it takes too short. Is that why I see a lot of bald parents around here? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bald this, parents with no fingernails. This, this powerful thing called time. When you're winning, time goes slowly. When you're losing, time goes fast. Correct. Yeah. Here we go, watching blue. She's going to try and answer back. White. Vela Mativ eyeing up this inside. She's going to try and get over this bump. She makes it, so she's got something to work with on the inside. Throws it up. So just that one maneuver, she is requiring just a small score. So we'll see where the judges go with it. Coming up in the next heat, Kira Pinkerton. Yeah, in the replay, she rips a... Nice cut back out there, waiting for something to line up. She gets, does a great job to get over this pump, to let it set up. And just a little late to the party there on that one, but she gave it a good effort. All right, so she requires a 3.17. She drops a 2.73, so not enough. Blue, you, need, you still require that 3.17. So coming up in the next heat, we got Kara Pinkerton in red, currently ranked number two. 
on the QS ranking. She is also a former champion of the Junior Pro, taking out the first ever Live Like Xander Junior Pro in 2017. Also a former champion out here, Chelsea Tuak. She's gonna be in the blue jersey and in the white jersey will Rubiana Brunel and in the green jersey, Koa Fierro. Are you kidding me? This is a final right here. <laughs> I, I just yeah. saw this. This yeah. is a great heat coming up. Heat. Everybody should keep your eyes on that one. Full international heat. There's going to be some fireworks going. Oh, yeah. Screen, you are in fourth position. Your last wave comes in at a 287. You require a 5.1. Eight minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Priority is with red, then white, then green, and then blue. Yeah, again, with the most, the biggest wave, with the most critical turn, major turns, flowing from one turn to the next, they're going to be scoring very good. So this next heat should be fireworks because I'm expecting all of these girls to have their transitions from one turn into the next. They've all very experienced competitors, and uh, it's going to be a fun heat to watch. Yeah, it's going to be a fun heat. And all of them girls, as you said, are seasoned veterans. They're not going to go on on and junkie waves they're going to pick the right wave give them the right score and meanwhile we've got red in the lead white in second blue in third and green in fourth priority with red there we go blue taking off now lou go ahead bella sorry bella mativ up and riding she requiring just a small score working it to the inside really trying to manufacture something out of that wave So seven minutes, 20 seconds remaining. She's still gonna be able to get to the outside. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be another battle between the, the bottom three as blue goes here, looking to draw a big bottom turn. The lip doesn't really show up for her. She cuts back, she's still waiting for something. Unfortunately, this wave just fades out and she, she just kicks out. But uh, white, blue, and green, it's turning into a three girl heat for that second advancement so I, I feel like whoever capitalizes on the best wave out of those girls coming up in the next six and a half minutes is gonna you know this is very crucial for those three girls Lou what do you think yeah I think so All right, so just waiting on that last score. I think this is going to come down to the wire as we watch the heat leader. So last of, of blue, 2.9. 2.9 for blue, not enough. You still require that 3.1 as we follow Zoe all the way down to the inside. Series of major maneuvers. So she's sitting on a 7.3 and a 6 with 6 minutes remaining. Yeah, she was attacking this. She dropped in low, came up back to the power pocket, Got low here on her bottom turn, extended her turn there. Again, right up into the pocket and finished with a nice turn. Nice wave for her. Zoe Benedetto. Yes. So with five minutes, 40 seconds remaining, Surfer and Blue still requiring that small score. She's hunting hard. She's going to go on this one again. Here we go, Vela Mativ up and riding. Coming around the first section, going up in the lip, flicking the fins. Cutting it back, standing up, waiting for this one. It's going to give her a little more wave to work with on the inside. So here we go. She's hunting this last maneuver, throws it up, and she's going to like that one. And out the back, this is White trying to answer back, Kiana Miller. So I think that Vela might crack that, that crack that three point. Amen. But we're going to wait to see what's going to happen with White. We pick up with this replay. So pretty much an up and out. All right, so last up, Blue, 4.2. You go to second, Blue. 4.2 for Blue goes to second. White, you drop to third. White, you now require a 4.1. Green, you are fourth. You require a 6.2. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Last of red, 6-3-3. You are comfortably in the lead. 
So priority sits on the outside with the surfer in blue, sorry, green, then red, white, then red. So green, white, red. So yeah, there you go, Vela stayed busy, hunting, hunting, hunting. She only needed a 3.1, and she finally found something to give her a little bit of open face, and she capitalized it on it. Yeah, this heat was a bit slow, and she decided she's just going to pull the trigger and up one of her waves, and she did. Uh, I, I like the yellow board. Remember, we, back in the 60s and 70s, you saw a lot of people with all yellow boards. I haven't seen an all yellow board in a long time. How about you, Lou? No, me neither. And guess what color my surfboard was always? Yellow. Yellow. And guess what it had on it? The Tom Curl Swish. <laughs> <laughs> Every board I owned. I loved it. It just was amazing. And it was bright yellow. I mean, bright pink, bright blue. You name it, that was the color. Nobody had white boards back in the day. Yeah, but the problem was you're a regular foot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I still, I like Tom Carroll and I like the swoosh. Yeah, I hope you turned it the right way. So right? The, the, the funny thing is, is like one of my very first boards was bright yellow with a Tom Carroll swoosh. It was a pintail. Bob Roman used to shape boards for me and it had channels and I just loved it. Here we go, Lou, out the back. Here we go. This is White trying to answer back with three minutes remaining. Here we go. She's got a good looking wave. Goes up in the lip. Out onto the open face. And green on the outside, just an up and out. So, oh, Keanu Miller, she just can't hold on to that final maneuver. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. So, watch this replay. Break this one down. Yeah. As she does a roundhouse cut back into the power pocket there, she throws it straight up. Rotates with a nice little carve coming back down into the double up here and then at the end it just clipped her but she got a lot of work done before that it's going to be close yeah i think it's going to be close there's almost you know a little bit of safe surfing she really wasn't up in the lip that much but she doesn't require much so she got some work done yeah i'm sure so they're gonna go over replays on that and compare them two minutes left lou we got red and priority second priority blue Third priority green. All right, here we go. White drops his four, seven, three, goes to second. So blue, you drop to third. Blue, you now require a 4.9. Green, you drop to fourth. You now require a 6.8. One minute, 40 seconds remaining. So flip flopping, flip flopping, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, white. That last wave was just a little bit bigger than the last couple of waves coming in. I think they rewarded her on that with the nice transitions of turns back to back. So with just one minute, 15 seconds, she turns the heat, goes back to second. So this is almost like becoming a battle of, you know, some of these girls that, that have advanced are, are, are taken. Some victories are taken, they're, 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 they're still advancing. Yep. A lot of these girls are young, a lot of them are in junior pro as well with 50 Blue. seconds remaining. Yep, that's what I was gonna say, just under a minute. Yeah, 50 seconds remaining, so, yeah, so, all right, here we go. Blue, she's gonna roll in on this. Vela Mativ, she's trying hard. Working it to the inside. Yeah, Jim, so with 16 seconds remaining, we're gonna close this one out. 10 seconds. Counting it in, three, two, one. Yeah, here we go. So servers, servers in the next seat, please stand by, we're on a short hold. We are on a short hold service in the next heat. So official results with that. So all the scores are in. So official results in red. 
All right, in red, taking the win, Zoe Benedetto in second, turning the heat, Kiana Miller. So those two girls will be advancing into the round of 16 coming up a little later on this week. We're going to cut to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with heat number five, round of 32. Stay tuned. Back to live action, and while we were on that short commercial break, we saw Koa Fierro absolutely smash a set wave. We'll cue up that replay for you. But coming up into this heat, seeing Kira Pinkerton in red, Chelsea Twack in blue, Rubiana Brunel in white, and in green, Koa Fierro. Yeah, this is a great heat. She got this right on the horn. She came up right in the power pocket on one of the bigger waves of the morning coming straight out of these turns into two rap, rap, wrapping turns back into the pocket, snaps it, and then she comes up and out the back. Anyways, uh, All right. she started off with a banger out the back. All right, hold the phone. She just dropped a 9.0, 9.0 for the surfer in green. Literally on the buzzer. So how are they gonna answer her back? Kira Pinkerton, Chelsea Twat, and Rubiana. Yeah, for the fans at home, uh, she uh, she got a turn off before the replay, so there was one big turn out the back before that. Well surfed, and that's what I was talking about when the chess game on the paddle out and where to sit, and it's always interesting to me to watch who's going to sit where, what color is going to go where, because uh, it is a chess match, and she was able to to pull the first move. Not only that, it was an excellent wave with a start of a nine. 22 and a half minutes left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be setting up under the main tent, under the main tent, selling Zander shirts, Zander hats, Zander stickers. All those proceeds go directly into the Zander Venezia Trust to aid and assist underprivileged and disabled children throughout Barbados coming up immediately following this round of 32 in the women's. We're gonna go straight into the junior men's Live Like Xander, junior men's round of 56. So we're gonna be selling gear for about the next two hours or so. Anybody's interested will be underneath the main tent. Thank you very much. Here we go, it's Red Kira Pinkerton. She is a the inaugural Live Like Xander champion in the junior working her way out onto the open face working it to the inside big shout out to jim pinkerton i know you're watching welcome to the broadcast and here we go jimmy's going to break down this opener yeah she drives all the way through this turn she's waiting for this thing to stack up does a big carve, being patient, waiting for the power pocket to look for a big opening turn, able to open up that turn. Wasn't able to give her as much as she wanted, but she took advantage of what the wave was offering. Yeah, absolutely. We all know what Kira can do out here. She's a solid surfer, surfs with a lot of power. Great technique. Yeah, the most experienced out here, definitely Chelsea Twack. This yeah. is her home break. She knows the reef like the back of her hand. Yeah, she's been surfing out here since he was about 10 or even younger. And Ruby's so, been coming here 
uh, for years now as well. And she's got a nice backhand. Definitely. So first of red, four, six, seven. Four, four six, seven for red. 20 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Well, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Zoe Benedetto. Here we are at the St. Louis glass for the interview of Zoe Benedetto, who just won heat, heat four, round two of the Women QS BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> A little slow towards the beginning of this heat. Um, how did it affect your mindset? Um, yeah, I was just watching, I've been down here since like he, I don't know, earlier, I surfed earlier, and I just kind of was like noticing the changes, I knew my tide was going to be different uh, than when I surfed this morning, so yeah, just didn't want like to let slow paces affect me and just try to I get away, just surf as best I can and make sure it's a good one. Yeah, well, you did look very composed, you found a little gem there with a 733, showing some power and then that second wave with a big turn that got you another six points so that must feel good under your feet yeah for sure it feels nice to like settle the nerves like with your first wave and just know you have a keeper under your feet um which is always nice and you know paddling out i was really nervous the first heat is like the hardest heat for me so just like settling myself was really helpful yeah and coming back for your title as well as you won last year how is it like affecting you um, yeah, I'm really not trying to think about it that much. It just honestly, I'm trying to think about it in the way of no pressure and just that I can surf this wave and I like know and can find the good ones. Um, so yeah, just looking at it that way, not really putting pressure on myself uh, just yet. So yeah. Well, keep at it. You're shredding over there. Congratulations once more. Mom is here. Hi, mom. I uh, wanna give a little shout out to your friends and family. Maybe back in Florida. Yeah, uh, I just want to say hi to my sister and my dad at home. They're probably watching. Um, all my sponsors, Hurley especially, Ron Johns, FCS, um, and Andrew, if you're watching. on, He said I would be on the big screen on the office, so I'll keep him to that. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Keep shredding, girl. Nice seeing you. <laughs> okay, we're back to live action while we were away. Saw a couple of waves red and one for surfer in red and one for the surfer in green. So we'll try and get those replays to you. Also, surfer in blue. Last of red, five, six, seven. Well, here we go, Jim. This is Here's Chelsea Dwag driving off the bottom with a big section, but it just kind of lets her down. She wraps that thing all the way around, and then the wave just dies out. It was unfortunate because uh, she had a good start to that. Here goes Kira. She had a little bit more bang off the first turn here. Does some nice transitional cutbacks here, looking for the steeper part of the wave on the inside, keeping the board moving, and then throwing a big snap on the inside and kicking out. It gave her a 5.67 on that one, as well as green. Green, very fluid on this turn. Comes back to the pocket, drops down, Throws a big snap in the most critical part of that wave, cutting back and deciding to get out of that wave and get priority. All right, so green, it. green, you drop a 417, backing up that nine point ride. You're currently in first. Red, your last wave was a 567. You're in second. Blue, you are sitting on a single wave of a 2.83. You require 7.5. And white, you are yet to open your account. You are looking for a combination of a 10.34. Priority sits with the surfer in white on the outside, followed by blue, then green, then red, with 16 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, green, very smart on her uh, competition right here as she... Uh she could have finished that wave all the way in, Lou, but she saw red on the inside, so she kicked out a little early so she could get that third priority and get back out there. So she's definitely sticking to a game plan that she has. Yep, for sure. It was a wise strategy as she has just picked off that wave from red. So she's looking to better that 417. She comes out onto the open face. She's going to work it onto the inside. And that was that 
cutting out early that's the right before Get, and yep. to steal that wave from red right there that's right getting back out there before the 15 minutes 40 seconds remaining so you see this replay out onto the open face you got a nice fluid style there lou really attacking it you got two nice turns off of this wave and uh she goes out the back so she's going to sit patiently with fourth priority She's from Tahiti. Yeah. So the judge is giving this one a look, comparing it to some of the other scores. I'm checking to see if she's a junior because she looks pretty young. Yeah, White's still out the back with priority. She she knows she needs to pick a good wave with all these scores across the board, so she's being patient. She's looking for something to get her back in contention here. Is Blue, Chelsea, has second priority, and Kira has third, and Green holding down fourth priority. Almost nine minutes have gone by, and Rubiana's yet to catch a wave. She took out the heat win. Here we go. She's up and right, and this is Rubiana Brunel. Working her way out onto the open face. That's going to leave priority with the Barbados surfer, Chelsea Twack, on the outside. And we all know what Chelsea's going to do. She's going to wait for a good one. Like you said, she's a seasoned competitor. Yeah, unfortunately, this wave for Ruby, it started off. It looked like it was going to be good. She rips back waiting for this thing to line up and the wave just never stacked up to give her the opportunity so uh, unfortunately a mistake with priority there yeah, as a set gonna, rolls in the back yeah, this is going to be a go. small score here we go chelsea giving this one a look she decides not but there's one right there popping up in front of her this is that short period swell chelsea's going to go yep she's going to pull the trigger here we go chelsea talk from barbados up and right in out onto the open face, coming off the bottom, going up in the lip. Trying to muster this, get into the inside. She's going to get into the inside. Here she goes, cutting back. She's got a couple of more maneuvers. Eye that end section, throws it up. Well, that's Chelsea Tawak. Um. Yeah, and Chelsea... Takes off, drives out, big powerful turn. Little hung up there, right there at the top, but she bounces back in here and she gets a lot of speed power with a nice roundhouse back into the pocket with a great figure eight, another big snap and a good finish. So that will definitely uh, up her score, We're waiting for scores on the judge, judges. Yeah, yeah, we're waiting for scores. She's currently ranked 30th. And on the outside, Green, she is the current heat leader, up and right and going up in the lip. Nice turn up in the lip, out onto the open face. Another nice turn, and she goes out the back. She's looking to make things real difficult for Surfer in red and blue. Yeah, she's surfing very freely. She's going straight up into attack mode, straight up and down again. Knowing the wave didn't have much to offer, she's right out. She didn't try to milk anything else. Yeah. She's just attacking the turns and getting right back out there. Correct. Two major maneuvers in the most critical spot of the wave. I think she's going to dump that 5.5. Yeah, again, she, uh, she's sticking to her plan. Yep. She's finding the waves with a better face. You know, that, that st the face that stands up is going to give you the, the more opportunity to get more points. So... Uh, you know, the next one of these girls, uh, red, blue, white, you know, behind green at the moment, you know, if they, the one of them that gets that one wave that's a little bit different that stands up and they smash it, they're going to separate themselves, you know? Yep, and that's what she's doing. She dropped a 6.5 green, 6.57, 6.57 on your last effort with 10 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. 
And again, that wasn't the biggest wave, but that definitely had the steepest sections to hit there, Lou. For sure, and she smashed them, both of them. Two major maneuvers, critical spot of the waves. So coming up next, we're gonna see Noah Clapp. She is the winner of the Junior Pro last year. Leah Mons in blue, Havana Cabrero in white, and Carl Schuster in green. Sorry, Linnea. She's coming up next. Ten minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Priority on the outside, sitting with the surfer in red, followed by white, green, and blue. So last of blue, 5.93. Last of blue, 5.93. So situation in the water. Green first, red second. Blue, you are third. Blue, you're sitting on a 5.93 and a 2.83. You require a 4.4. White, you are fourth. You're sitting on a 2.53. You require a 7.8. Nine minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Here we go, white we go. paddling, going straight. White up and riding, working her way out onto the open face. Nice hack off the top. She's looking to get her campaign started. Just eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Series of major maneuvers. Wasn't the biggest waves, but they were there. Chelsea Twack up and riding. She's working her way to the inside. She liked that one. Here we go on the replay of white. Goes up and attacks that first section. Coming back down. Really getting an explosive move here with another backup turn, followed by a third one. It'll be her best wave of the heat. And Chelsea out the back on this. Big roundhouse cut back, following that speed, keeping it through, s her way back in to the inside, knowing that this thing's gonna stack up. Another big roundhouse snap, and another snap to finish, and she likes it. Waiting for scores. Yeah, so that last of white coming in at a six, two, three, so waiting for last of blue. Last of blue, five, six, seven. So blue goes to second, red drops to third. Red, you now require a 5.9. And white, you are in fourth. Your last wave coming in at a six, two, three. You require a five, three, seven. Seven minutes remaining. Priority is on the outside with Silver in red. She's going to pull the trigger here. This is Kira Pinkerton. She's a champion out here. Here she goes up and right and working her way onto the inside, throwing up the first turn in the lip, cutting it back, working it to the inside section, banging it vertical, completing the maneuver, and she goes out the back. So it's six minutes, 35 seconds. Let's see how the judges score that one and where that falls into this score line. Yeah, Kira on that last wave goes up into the vertical off lip with a snap, does a nice cut back and a snap to finish. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Jumping on the broadcast here with 
Jim and Lou. Shout out to Simon. Calling it all morning. Welcome to our audience tuning in online. All right, last of red, 5.8. 5.8. You now require a 5.81. So you are currently in third, requiring a 5.81. Surfer in white, you are currently in fourth, requiring a 537. Five minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Here we go, red up and riding. She goes out the back. She's going to be hunting that middle range score. Just under five minutes. Just under five minutes. Priority green, second priority white, third priority blue. So it looks like we've been having some fun conditions today. A little less swell in the water from yesterday, but good clean conditions. Surfers all having a good time. Great vibes down on the beach. Bars open, plenty of food on sale. We also got the Live Like Xander merchandise on sale. We got some free samples of Sun Bum, Lip Balm, and Sun Bum sunscreen available. If, if anyone forgot their sunscreen at home, head over to the bar. There's a couple of big pumps. Back to 50. Protect yourself from those UV rays. Looks like we got some live action. Here we go, Red, sniffing that one out. She's in fourth priority, so she's gonna stay busy with three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. So once again, while we have a little break in, in the action, want to say a big hello to everybody tuning in online from all over the world. Tuning in via the WSL site, or there's a live stream on YouTube. We've been getting messages from all over the world, people tuning in. Shout out to the crew in Hawaii. Got some messages from Hawaii yesterday. All over the states, a lot of American competitors here, their friends and family back home tuning in. Saying hello to everybody from sunny Barbados. The BTMI Barbados Surf Pro 5000. Priority change, priority change. So priority order, green, red, blue, green, red, blue. Here we go, red up and riding. A little cut back out onto the open face. Another slashing cut back. Next heat, hold your position. Next heat, hold your position. Blue, I'm waiting on Kira's score. All right, so we're just looking at the replay of Kira here. A little bit of a slow start to that wave. Comes around, first wrapping turn, a little bit hung up in the white water, trying to build some speed, throws a gouge on that second turn. Once again, just racing down the line, manages to tag it to end. Surfers in the next seat, you're too close. Turn and paddle back out, please. One minute remaining. Seven point zero for red, seven point zero. So red goes to second. Blue, you drop the third. Blue, you need a six point eight eight. 
So Green up and right and leaving Chelsea on the outside. She's not going to take that. She's going to let that go with 40 seconds remaining. Is this one going to stand up for her? No, it's not. As Red works her way to the inside. So is this going to pop up in front of her with 16 seconds remaining? Three, two, one. Okay, so ladies in the next seat, please stand by. We're on a short hold. So official results coming in first. In green, Koa Fierro, and also advancing in red, Kira Pinkerton. Ladies in the next seat, please stand by. So we're going to cut to a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. So we're live with heat six of the round of 32 in the women's QS. A little lull out in the water at the moment. So live action, we got Green looking at a left, <clears throat> getting a little short tag, a little wrap around on the second turn, not a lot on offer there. Here we go, Carl Schuster tags it just under the lip. Nice little wrapping carve, doesn't see anything else. Kicks out, heads back out. Let's get in the lineup. And here we go, Carl Schuster again. Coming from deep, just getting the one turn. But she's trying to build up a rhythm, surf her way into the heat.
And here we got Red up and riding. Just looking at the replay of Coral. Wow, surfer in white Havana, she is in form. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for the replay on those last two waves from Noah Clapp and Havana Cabrero. So Green, your previous wave came in at a 2.67 and your last wave came in at a 2.73. Looking at the replay of Red, aggressive turn, first turn. A little wrap around, get back, rebound off the white water. Pumping, looking for that reform, takes it inside, tags it off the lip. Looking for one more snap, tags it vertical. That's Noah Clapp. Yeah, that's our junior champion from last year. Here we're looking at a replay of Havana. Throwing some spray. Looking really aggressive. She's got her knee strapped up, but you could never tell she was feeling any discomfort the way she's throwing that tail. Waiting for the scores to drop. Seems like the judges like what they say, what they saw. So red, your wave came in at a 6.33. And white, your wave came in at a 7.5. So to update the situation, we got Lou back. All right, so in first position, surfer in white. You're sitting on a 7.5 single wave. Well, you're gonna watch this up blue. So blue going down the line, throwing it up in the lip. Liana Mons, Linnea Mons, and she goes down. So Carl Schuster up and riding, surfer in green, and she goes down. So we're gonna take this opportunity to cut to the glass. Standing by with Maya is the last heat winner, Koei Fierro. Here we are by the St. Louis glass with the winner of heat five, round two of the women QS BTMI Barbada Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. Kohai Fierro, how are you? I'm good, yeah. It's been so fun uh, this past week, just discovering Barbados and surfing good waves. So yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, you were just telling me first time in Barbados. You're all the way from Tahiti. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's pretty far. It took me two days to get here. So <laughs> I'm happy I made it. And uh, yeah, just enjoying a good time with my friends. It's been amazing. Well, it looks like Subal is suiting your style because you managed to get that epic nine point with that big turn. How is it, like confidence-wise? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I haven't got like a really decent wave this past week with the free surf. It was really hard to get a wave. And yeah, I'm happy I got this one just like uh, surfing, uh, expressing my surf. Yeah, well, we all saw your potential. Can't wait to see more. Um, tu veux faire un petit coucou peut-être uh, pour la famille et les amis à Tahiti? Oui, je vous aime, vous me manquez beaucoup, et puis euh, je fais de mon mieux, et j'espère que vous êtes fiers de moi. <rire> On est tous fiers de toi, continue. Une bonne chance pour la prochaine série. <rire> All right, back to live action. While we were on that short interview break, we had a couple of waves ridden. We will bring you those replays coming up just now, and then I will update the situation. Still waiting on scores to drop. Yeah, just a small wave from blue here. Wrapping turn. Another wrapping turn, waiting for, some wave, for the wave to stand up a little more vertical. Tags the lip there, nice vert turn. And goes down, attempting to get one last smack. Here we're looking at green, nice wrapping turn. Getting back to the power source. Pumping, trying to make that inside section. Just gets a bit of a bobble. 
Shifts the weight accidentally to her front foot, ends up going over the front of the board. All right, back to live action. So situation in water, red, you're first. The last of red coming in at a 4.6. So red, you go to first. We're still waiting for a wave for white and also green. La first of blue coming in at a 5.0. Go live action, red up and right in. She's the current heat leader. And so last of white, 5.5. As we watch red working her way onto the inside, she is the reigning Live Like Xander Jr. women's champion. Yeah, Noah surfed really well last year. Looking at this replay, she gets up straight into a white water foam climb, comes around. Little wrap around, trying to stay close to the white waters, close to where the power source is, give that wave a chance to develop. Doesn't really see much happening down the line, just decides to kick out, get back into the lineup, and reset. Okay, so all the scores are in. Situation in the water, white, you're first with a 7-5 and a 5-5. Red, you are second with a 6-3 and a 4-6. Green, you're third with a 3.3 and a 2.7. You require a 7.6. And blue, you are fourth with a single wave of a five. You require a 5.9. 15 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Priority, blue, white, green, red. So we're in heat number six of this round of 32. So we got two more heats coming up for you in the women's QS 5000. And then we're going to go into the Live Like Xander Junior Men's. You are tuned in to the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro QS 5000. Presented by Diamonds International, brought to you by Surf Promotions Barbados. For everybody online looking to stay up to date with all the action happening in Barbados, go look at look for Surf Promotions on Instagram. Follow their page. Keep up to date with all the action happening here in Barbados throughout the year. And stick around. We're just kind of around the high tide mark now. So throughout the afternoon, we should see improving conditions. Winds are favorable. And we'll be starting a, the men's junior competition. A lot of those guys are involved in the, the open men's. So there's gonna be a lot of talent out there. And hopefully with some improving conditions, should be an action-packed afternoon. Head over to the bar, get yourself a cold banks. All right, here we go. Blue up and righted. Leanna Mons, Linnea Mons, sitting on a five point ride, throws it up and she goes down. So, coming up, and after these next two heats, we're going to be going into the junior men's, Live Like Zander junior men's. There are some alternates Cannon Carr, Braided Birch, Kepa Mandia, and Jaden Hill. You all need to go down, check in with the beach marshal, let them know you're here, and you literally have to be at the beach marshal, and within five minutes, if there is no check-in, you get the spot. There is no calling, you just need to be next to them, you need to be at the beach marshal, so bear that in mind. So once again, Cannon Carr, Braden Birch, Kepa Mandia, and Jaden Hill. You guys are the alternates in that order that I called. You need to check in with the beach marshal, and you need to be ready to go if, in the event, nobody checks in within five minutes. Server in white, you are in first. There's 12 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. A 
We saw that last replay from Linnea. Throwing it really vertical into the lip, but coming down too steep, digging the nose. Coming in with a small score of a 1.57. The judges are looking for explosive maneuvers, but they're also looking for completed maneuvers. For a maneuver to be completed, you have to be deemed to be in control and to ride out in front no. of the white water. Right up and riding. No way clap. Nice top turn. Working out onto the open face. Two maneuvers and she's out the back. She's looking to back up. She's looking to replace a 4.6. With 11 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Here we go, looking at Red wave, Red's wave once again. Comes out from deep, does a wrapping turn to get back under the power source. Second wrapping turn. Third, big wrap. Doesn't see much happening further down the line and just kicks out. So with 11 minutes to go, Surfer and White comfortably in the lead, sitting on a 7.5 and a 5.5. The judges deliberate on this last of red and see if it's going to get rid of that 4.6 for her. It's going to come in right around there. Yes, 4.83, 4.83 for red. So red, you now drop the 4.83. Blue, that ups your requirement to a 6.1. Green, you now require a 7.8. And on the outside, using priority, Alvina Cabrero up and riding, working it out onto the open face. Coming around the section. Nice big wrapping cutback. Really engaging the rail. And she finishes strong. With 10 minutes remaining. Yeah, Havana sitting in a very strong position. Decides to use her priority with this wave. Big wrapping cut by waiting for the reform inside, waiting for it to stand up, give her a little bit more of a vertical face to work with. Big wrapping turn again. Wave slows up a little bit, and then one tag on the inside, which she cut rides out completed. Will that factor into her scores? Live action with red. No clap. Goes vertical into the lip. Nice wrapping turn. Loads of commitment. Bit of a wrap. And on the outside, green. Carl Schuster. Working it to the inside. She's currently in fourth position. This looks like it's going to be her best. All right, Carl taking it all the way inside. Looking at this replay of red, what a great turn to start that wave off. A bit of a wrapping turn afterwards. Unfortunately, that wave peters out and doesn't give her any more scoring potential. And here we're looking at green, Carl Schuster. One of the biggest smiles on the beach. Nice wrapping turn, opens up her shoulders, throws it back towards the white water, gets a little hung up. Third big wrapping turn, rebound off the white water. Throws a little spray on the inside, tags that little section. I think that's going to be her best wave. All right, coming up in the next heat, we got Sanoa Olin, Mattia Olin, two sisters, Maddie Starr and Candelaria Rosano. You ladies can check in, should be checked in already. Got three minutes before you can paddle out. As we watch Blue up and right, and she goes out the back. Linnea Mons currently in third position, sitting on a 5 and a 1.5. Here yeah. we go, Red's going to use the priority. Oh, big vertical turn up in the lip, out onto the open face. She's going to wait for this one. Looking to finish is off strong. She's got a big outside maneuver. So that's going to... That could be her best. Yeah, Noah starting strong again. That first maneuver, she really is throwing everything at it. This wave actually stayed up a little bit and gave her the opportunity to ride further on the inside. 
another wrapping turn there, throwing some spray, comes in, tags the last section. All right, you see the score is starting to drop for, for red. Yep. Well, that's going to be her best. Judges rewarding the commitment to that outside maneuver. One more score to drop. All right, last of red, 7.67. Last of red, 7.67. So red, you go to first, white, you drop to second. Green, your last was a 367, you are currently in third. You now require a 9.3. And blue, you are currently in fourth. You require an eight. As we look at Havana Cabrero, live action, big turn off the top. She goes out the back. Okay, Red, that was your previous, that was your previous 767, so you still have another wave coming. Here, we got green on a wave, going straight up into that first section, getting a little bit of a bobble, waiting for that reform on the inside, throwing some spray, another wrapping turn, and she kicks out. So we're waiting for scores for red, white, and green. Here's this, green again. Yeah, this is the replay from the last. All right, our screen just went dark, but it's back up. Yeah, we're back. This is the last of green. I think Carl realizing she was on a bit of a smaller wave there and trying to manufacture some scores by trying to blow the tail out a little bit. All right, here we go. Blue, she's going to utilize priority. Linnea Mons working it out onto the open face, throwing it up in the lip. She's going to hit the reef on this inside. She's sitting there waiting for it. And she goes out the back. Well, I think Linnea will be really happy with that first turn. Red, I'm still waiting for your last score to come in. Still waiting on your last score. Your previous score was a 7-6-7, seven, seven, so you're in first. So there's Linnea. Use priority on that wave. Let's see if it pays off. Had a good maneuver on the outside. All right, last of red, 6.6. .6. So red, your two scores, 7.67 seven, and 6.6, .6, you're in first. White, you are in second. You have a 7.5 and a 5.5. .5. Green, you are in third. You have a 3.6 and a 3.3. .3. You need a 9.33. And blue, you are in fourth. You have a wave coming, so does white. White doesn't look like it will factor in. There's a couple of scores on the board. Not sure about blue. So in the meantime, got a shout out to all the crew looking, tuning in online. Paul Irie Juan Wilson. Very involved with all the skating involved in Barbados. The man behind all the, the skateboard movement that we see nowadays. Good crossover sport for surfing. A lot of our surfers also skate. World class skate facility up by the Barbados Gymnasium. Last of white was a 5.33 Havana. Last of blue, 4.53. So red first, white second, blue your third. Blue, you require an eight. And Green, you are fourth, you require 933. Here we go, green, up and right in with third priority. Nice looking wave ahead of her, Carl Schuster. Blue, your last wave was a 453, you are in third. 
You require an 8.0. Here we go, looking at this replay. She was in third priority when she caught this wave. And it was a nice looking wave. Working it all the way to the inside, Carl Schuster. Will definitely be her best. Yeah, nice finish there from Carl. Battling her way back. One minute 40 to go. Noah sitting in a real strong position with a high score and priority. And here's Elasa Blue. Yeah, Linnea tags that first lip vertical, tries to throw it right up into the second section. Doesn't have a lot of speed. Ends up getting a little hung up in the white water. But her attack on the backhand, throwing that board vertical anytime she can is impressive. One minute to go. All right, last of blue, 3.20, does not factor in. You still require an 8.0. Last of green, 477, you cut your requirement down to an 8.2. 40 seconds remaining. Priority sitting with red, white, green, and then blue. 30 seconds to go. Will the bowl throw anything at us for an exciting finish? Last 20 seconds of heat six in this round of 32 in the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented to you by Diamonds International Barbados. All right, counting this one in, five seconds. And here we go in three, two, one. So that's the heat, so this ride will not count. So ladies in the next heat, please stand by, we're on a short hold. Noah just having a bit of a victory lap on this one. Hands left the rail after the buzzer, so that wave will not count. All right, so official results. Taking the win, Noah Clapp in the red jersey and coming in second and advancing in the white jersey, Havana Cabrero. So those two ladies will be taking part in the round of 16 coming up later on in the week. We're going to take a break cut to a short commercial break and we'll be right back with heat number seven in this round of 32. Stay tuned. proceeds going directly to the Zander charity. So we're back to live action. <laughs> Coming up in this heat, we have the Olin sisters, Sanoa and Mattia, also paired up with her in the white jersey, Maddie Storer, and in green, Candelaria Rosano from Nicaragua. 24 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. No raves were ridden while we were on that break, so there's nothing to catch up on as the girls are way, 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 way up inside the bowl, actually on the left side of the bowl, if you're out there. Candelaria being from Nicaragua, she'd be used to probably surfing some of those heavy beach breaks they get over there. Yeah, she put together a really nice heat in the round of 64, as did Maddie. So these two girls are paired up against the Olin sisters who are in seated positions. So White, Maddie Storer, here we go out onto the open face. 
Little wrapping cut back, working her way to the inside. She's got a grower on her hands. Here we go. Nice big wrapping cut back. She gets hung up a little bit, but she completes the maneuver. Yeah, manages to ride out. As we said earlier, the judges want to see maneuvers completed. So just looking at the replay, starting the heat off, we got Maddie Storer from USA. Just waiting for this wave to develop a little bit. As it stands up a little bit, there she starts to go to work. Gets a little hung up, but manages to ride out. It's always good to get your feet in the wax. All right, back to live action. Maddie dropping a 3.0 white, 3.0 on your opener. And green up and right in Candelaria Rosano. She goes up and out. So the two Olin sisters will battle for the priority spot as fourth priority will go to either green. It will go to green and third priority will go to white once she gets on the outside. So as the girls start to make their way back into the bowl, they're in the right peak now. Here we go, up and right in Candelaria. Out onto the open face, gets a little hung up, cutting it back. She's going to get out the back. They know how important that first maneuver is. And if you don't manage to get it cleanly, there's no reason really to continue on the wave. Well, Candelaria seems to have a strategy to keep busy. That first wave she took from way over to the right, close to the high rock side, ended up being a little bit deep not being able to make it around the section. And then on the paddle back out, immediately span. Here we go, is this her first wave? Uh, I think that's the second wave. So yeah, on her way back out, decided to spin and pull the trigger on another little peak, just managing to get two small maneuvers. All right, while we have a break in the action, we're gonna cut down to the glass, standing by with Amaya. Is the winner of the last heat, Noe Clapp. here back at the St. Louis Glass for the interview of Noah Clapp, who just won heat six of the round two of the QS, QS Women 5000 BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> well, lots of action on the second part of this heat. Um, how did you manage to keep calm and find those gems over there? Uh, yeah, I mean, Havana rips, and she started off with a really good wave, like a seven-something, so that kind of got me hyped, and I just wanted to get uh, better that score and get uh, a wave with a bit of a wall. I think that's the hardest part about this wave, is just finding the ones that kind of ramp up. And once I found one of those, uh, got the score, and then just bettered from there. Yeah, those little insiders are the ones that kind of hold the wall, so you got to stick to it and find out well to finish the score. Um, so how was your head, how was your mindset coming up to this event, the last one of the, the circuit? Uh, it's good, I'm not doing any, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. Uh, I think it's gonna be my last QS for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little break um, just to, I don't know, l just practice and just get better in my surfing and not compete as much this next year. So um, no pressure, I just wanna do good and I wanna finish off with a good result. Well, fair enough. I mean, you're looking strong over there. Your surfing is great. Um, but I guess we, a little time off will be good to regroup and come back stronger, right? Can't wait to see the next. Um, what are, how are you going to prepare for your next heat? How when will it be like tomorrow, maybe? Uh, just like always, uh, spend time with my dad and my friend Fabi, who are here supporting me. And she's still in the event, too. So we're going to push each other to the next rounds and uh, just dawn patrol in the morning and then show up for my heat. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds like a really good plan. You want to maybe do a little shout out to friends and family, both in Germany and California? Yeah, my family is watching. My sister Anouk, my mom, and I love everybody who supports me. Thank you for the German Federation for being my sponsor and just, yeah, thanks everyone. All right. See you on the next one then. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you much, very much, Noe. And Amaya, we're back to live action. While we were on that short interview break, there were no waves ridden. So the situation remains the same in the water. 
with green first and white second. And the two Olin sisters still battling for priority. So third priority goes to the surfer in white and fourth the surfer in green. Girls shifting around, putting themselves in position. Here we go, Sonoa's gonna go on this one, red up and right in. So priority would automatically go to Mattia. She goes out onto the open face. And white's gonna turn on this on the outside as we stick with red. Big turn, big cut back on the outside with Maddie. She's on her way to a big score here. Can she hang on? No, she can't, but she did some work on the outside. Had a nice opening turn, and then followed it up with a nice wrapping cut back. And on the far outside, green up and right in Candelaria from Nicaragua. Goes up in the lip on the first turn, cutting it back, working it to the inside. This is the tide pulling out now, and you can see the waves starting to line up a little better as the wind is coming off of it even more, going more around to the right. The Soup Bowl is predominantly a northeast facing beach. So here we're looking at Sonoa's first wave. Nice slap off the white water there. Gets a little hung up. Sticks with it a little bit. A little bit of pumping. Manages to find some open water. A little wrap around. Nice wrap and turn. And she just cuts out. And here we go with white on her second wave. Straight up into the lip. Nice bottom turn. Big wrapping carve. Back to the white water. Another wrapping carve. Oh, catches a bubble there. And just loses it right at the end. But the work was done on the outside. And now we're looking at green last, Candelaria. And she is going to town on this wave. Big wrapping turn, looking for that reform. Another big wrap. Waiting for the wave to stand up a little bit more and then attacks that last section. So plenty of scores to drop. Great exchange there, Lou. Yeah, it was awesome. I think the surfer in white's gonna get the better of that exchange as we're back to live action and we're seeing group, uh, blue up and riding. Matia, one is goofy foot, one is regular foot. How do you like that? She's wrapping it back, working it to the inside. So that's Matia's first wave. She gets on the board. The sisters are out there. As Lou says, one goofy, one regular. Here's the replay of Matia. Drops in from D, comes around, she's patient, waits for that section, misses that first section, has to wrap around, go around it a little bit. Now just does a wrap and turn. Another wrap and turn, cutting back, looking for a little bit more, but the wave doesn't offer much. Yeah, that was a well-served wave. So Sonoa is currently in seventh position, and Matia is in 12th. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're, 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 they're knocking on the door. So we'll see what happens. We haven't lost anybody out of our top four yet. And one's goofy, one's regular. Reminds yeah. me of the Godson twins here. Yeah, that's right. It's Amy and Haley, shout out to Amy and Haley. There we go, green up and right and going left on her backhand. Nice vertical turn up in the lip. Working it to the inside section. She completes the maneuver. All right. So that wave for white trickling in, it's gonna be a good one. So what, last of white, 717. Here we're looking at green, taking the left, making that first vertical turn, and then just a bit of a check turn for the second one, so she has enough time and speed to get into that third maneuver to finish. Yep, so last of red, 4.5. Last of blue, 3.3. Last of green, previous of green, 467. And here we go, live action, red. Sonoa up in the lip, nice, big, sweeping backhand turn. Another major maneuver in the critical section of the wave. She goes into a third combination. So that's it, Brody. That's what the judges are looking to want to see, those big major maneuvers done with flair. She really got in a rhythm on that one. Break it down For there. sure. Here we go. First turn, throws it straight up into the lip, loads of spray, nice transition into the second maneuver and then a third big wrap all done on the outside unfortunately the wave doesn't really give her any more but plenty of work done on the outside there 
Yeah, Marista, that, that's best of the heat. Yep, that, that was two major maneuvers timed right in the most critical spot of the wave. The only thing that would maybe keep that score down is the size of the wave. As we're looking at White into live action, oh, and she just goes down, wow. comes unstuck. So White showing plenty of commitment to go up into the lip there, but unfortunately doesn't complete the maneuver. Yeah. Sanoa's gonna shake everything up in here. Here we go, scores dropping for Sanoa. Scores dropping for Sanoa. Yeah, your boy, they look good. You called it, Lou. <laughs> There's a couple of nines, a 9.5, at 8.8, 8 8.8, 8.8, 8.93 8 for red. So red, you go to first. White, you go to second. Green, you're in third. Green, you need a 5.2. And blue, you are in fourth. You need a 6.85. 12 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, Brody, that was it. That's what they're looking for, those two big arcing turns right tight to the pocket, no downtime, everything just flowed seamlessly from one maneuver to the next, and they dropped yeah. the score. Those scores are easy to judge. There was no downtime, it was one move into the other, transition was seamless, loads of aggression, throwing plenty of spray. That's what the judges are looking for, that combination of speed, power, flow, completing the maneuvers, add that, some risk and some commitment, and the scores are always gonna be up in the air. And you also add to that, done in the most critical section yeah. on the wave. That's where the commitment comes from. Absolutely. You gotta commit to those big, crazy sections. Risk equals reward. So, update for the surfers in the water. All right, last of red, 8.93 red. You're paired up with a 4.5, you're in first. White, you're currently in second. You're sitting on a 717 and a 3.0. Green, you are third. You're sitting on a 4.9 and a 4.6. You require a 5.2 to advance. Blue, you are sitting on a single wave of a 3.3. You require a 6.8 to advance. 11 minutes, five seconds remaining. Priority, blue, green, red, white. Priority is blue, green, red, white. So Sonoa getting herself a little bit of separation from the rest of the pack with that big score, but we got Maddie with a 717. Yeah, she's looking for a backup. She wants to throw away that three. And Sanoa wants to throw away a 4.5. So the other two girls are looking to get in the mix. Priority sitting with the fourth place surfer, and then second priority with the, sec with the third place surfer. So their next waves are gonna be really important to them. So all four girls let that wave go by. That wave had some decent scoring potential on the outside. But they're all in position. For any of our audience tuning in, the way these guys are scored, these girls are scored, we take the top two highest scores. They can write as many waves as they want. Only their top two high scores will count. So strategy, <clears throat> strategy may differ. If you're in the first priority, on the second priority, you tend to sit back and wait a little bit longer, wait for those higher quality waves to come through. When you're in the third and fourth priority, usually the strategy is to kind of stay busy, try to manufacture scores, and keep your fingers crossed the set doesn't come through for the ones in first priority. Yeah, you know, we were talking earlier about um, priority and, you know, how it, I mean, in my opinion, it's the best thing to happen in surfing. Yeah. You know, it just took all that hassling out of it. Surfers paddling each other up the point and sitting right next to each other. And, you know, just it just made so much more sense to do it this Definitely way. Definitely created a less chaotic Correct. situation. But it also, it also created, that too, but it also created a, 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 a level playing field where your talent is what goes on, you know. Here yep. we go looking at Maddie up and riding. She is currently in second position, sitting on a 717 and a three. She She's didn't not like seeing the, that. Yeah, she didn't like the looks of that one. She yeah. kicked out. She's trying to throw away a, a three. Yeah, she was in fourth place priority, so it really, really was no kill cow to look at that. She's just gonna paddle right back out. Yeah, exactly what we were talking about earlier. Being in fourth priority, it's always 
it's okay to take that risk on a smaller wave. If you can manufacture a big score, then great. If not, then it's fine because you don't really give away priority. Here, Maddie goes yeah. again, spinning on an inside wave. Yeah, there we go. She's up in the lip, right? She's only looking to replace a three, so it's not very difficult to do that. But on the outside, Surfer in red, looking at that one, but she pulls back on it. Yeah, Maddie clearly realizes that she only has a small score to, to get rid of, trying to throw some big maneuvers at some small waves, but... All that commitment, unfortunately, it doesn't count unless you ride out. Yeah, you know, that, that was a nice turn. That was a quality turn. Unfortunately, yeah. she just dug the nose and fell. All but right. she strings together two turns like that. She's going to get a five. She, you know, yep. increases her you know, lead by two points. Yep. Puts more pressure on, you know, the surfer in green sitting in third position. So it does make sense. The last couple of heats prior, we saw the surfer um, doing the same thing. She only needed a 3.1. and. She was hunting, 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 and finally ended up getting the score. So here we go, Red. She's going to look at that one, but she's in third priority, so nothing to gain, nothing lost. Yep. Seven minutes, 10 seconds remaining, 7 10. So once again, all the alternates for the Live Like Xander Junior Pro. We had a full complement of competitors Cannon Carr, Braden Birch, Kepa Mendia. And Jaden Hill, you all need to check in with the beach marshal. And you actually need to be at the beach marshal, standing up, waiting. And once the surfer doesn't show up, within five minutes, you get the jersey and you get to go. And if you're not there, the next person in line will get the spot. So first alternate is Cannon Carr. Second alternate is Braden Birch. Third alternate is Kepa Mendia. And fourth alternate is Jaden Hill. That's coming up immediately following the next heat. Coming up in the next heat, we're going to see Talia Swindell, who is currently tied for second in the rankings. Zoe Chait, Kyle Pulsini, Kylie Pulsini, and Avery McDonald. So that will be the last heat of the round of 32 for the women. Then we're going to go into the Live Like Xander Junior Pro. Five minutes, 50 seconds remaining as we see the surfer in green paddling down into the peak. Here she goes, up and riding on a nice looking wave. Nice wrapping cutback up in the lip. This got a north peak on it. She's gonna look to get down this section. Here she goes, looking for a finishing maneuver. Throws it up in the lip. She's gonna get some more, hoping to reform. It just might. She's not going to get a finishing maneuver, but most of the work was done on the outside. So that's going to get her best. And White up and riding. She's trying to answer back currently in the second position. And she goes up and out the back. So White sitting on a 717 and a 3.0. But so here we're looking at green, replay of green, Candelaria. Big wrapping first turn, a little cutback trying to stay with the power source, stay with the white water, waiting for that reform and attacks that last section. A little missed time, but full commitment. Trying to pump to get one last maneuver out of that wave, but unfortunately it rolls away from her. Now he got in white. Maddie Storer from USA. One big rapping, rapping turn, but she doesn't see a lot of potential in there. Decides to paddle back out and try to get priority over green. All right, so here we go, waiting on that score for green. Going to come in as her best, see where it goes. Last up green, 5.83, 5.83 green. You go to second. White, you drop to third. White, you now require a 3.5. And blue, you are fourth. You now require a 7.4. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Priority is sitting with the surfer in blue on the outside, followed by red, then white. Well, Matea has been really patient in this heat. Only one way of ridden so far. A reasonable score of a 3.3, but she definitely want to get some more work done. She's going to be relying on a bomb set to come through if she's going to try to jump from fourth to an advancing position with one wave now. 7.4 is doable. Three and a half minutes to go. 
Priority sitting with blue, red, white, and then green. Candelaria jumping up a place with that long wave that she took all the way into the shore. Maddie Starr has ridden the most waves, but she's just not finding anything that she uh, seems to like. Here we go. Live action, Lou. Yeah, she's going to pull the trigger. She's got a good looking wave. Comes off the bottom, out onto the open face. Big snap in the, in the pocket. Cutting it back. Does this wave have a little bit of north on it? She's going to cut it back, wait for that inside racetrack. Matia with two minutes and 37 seconds remaining. She's going to drop her best score, only sitting on a 3.33. Wow, Matea, patience pying off. Two and a half minutes to go. She drops clearly what's going to be her best wave. Yeah, I don't think it's going to give her the requirement she's going to need, but it's definitely going to cut it down because this is going to be her best. Let's check that replay. Matea and Sonora representing Canada. So here we go, Matea dropping from quite far in the east. Coming around that first section, big smack off the lip throwing lots of spray and here we go two big wraps on the outside two more on the outside then comes to the inside making making that board keep moving finds that reform tags it once and a finish this one's going to be close Lou I think so too this is going to be close to what I, she requires I think that outside maneuver one minute 30 seconds remaining so surfer and blue stand by for your score Surfer and green up and riding. She goes out the back. So priority is on the outside with Surfer and white with one minute, 23 seconds remaining. She's right. up and riding. So looking at this replay of red, we just saw green recognize that red had priority and immediately get out of her way, trying to avoid any kind of interference cars, calls. And here we go, white, showing the end of white. All right, we're hearing some fireworks on the beach. Red is getting to work on this wave. Oh, just as he slid. So a flurry curse of, of waves. The commentator. Flurry of waves with 46 seconds remaining. So server's in the next heat. Hold your positions. Don't go any further. 40 got, seconds to go. So we're going to look at this replay for white. I mean, every single girl had a solid wave. Yep. On this. On, on, nice wrap exchange. back to the white water. Another big wrap back. Looking for that reform. Another cutback. And then we cut over to... Oh, hang on. I'm having a little freeze here. Here we go. Looking at green rolling in from deep. Coming in from behind the section. Big smack off the white water rebound. Coming back around. Big vertical attack. Counting this one in. Five seconds. Oh, and I don't know if she rides out of that one. In three, two, one. So that ends heat number seven. Ladies in the next heat, just get in position and wait. We have four scores to drop. Yeah. Four scores have to drop, and they were all waves of consequence. So we saw all the replays. I think the surfer in blue has two waves to come. White has a wave to come. Green has a wave to come. Red has a wave to come. Everybody has waves to come. So hold the fort. Stand by. What a flurry at the end of that heat, Lou. Yeah, that was so pretty, many ridden waves. It's pretty amazing. So the judges are going to take their time and make sure they get it right, deliberate. There's a lot of action to, to cover and to look over. So we're going to just keep this heat, next heat on hold for a moment. If you thought that was hectic to watch back home on the broadcast, imagine these guys that have to analyze each of these waves and drop a result for these, these girls. Every one of those waves ridden could be consequential to the final score here. So these guys are going to just take their time. We're not going to put any pressure on them. Let them look at the replays. Deliberate, compare, and try to make sure that everybody gets the, an accurate score, a score reflective of the work they did out there on the wave. And as Lou said, we're talking about 
a flurry of all well-ridden waves. So in the meantime, let's once again give a big shout out to our sponsors. Yeah, so just want to shout out Infra, BHTA, Zacchios, General Distributors, Lloyd's T, Sun Bum, Chickmonk, Eco Sky, Mount Gay, Banks Bear, Remy Martin, St. Luke. Also mentioning Events Unusual, Garbage Master, Container Services, Pharmacy Sales, Creative Junction, Be Social, Rise on the Beach, Jason Jones, Sea Egg Swimwear, and Last Resort Surf. So, previous of blue, previous of blue, 7.77. Last of blue, 5.63. Last of white, 5.03. Waiting on the last of green. And one of red. And then the last of red. So red's not really gonna matter because she's in first. Yeah, so blue blue went to second and green is coming in. Looks like it's gonna be a mid-range score. It's not gonna be enough to bring her up in the second. Last of red, 8-2-0. So the two Olin sisters take out the heat. Sonoa taking the win, Matia taking second. We're going to go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back with the final heat of this round of 32 in the women's. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Introducing the crown of life. It's the only 90-faceted modern dome-shaped diamond with 24 bezel facets on the crown giving it arguably three times more sparkle than any other diamond cut out there. This is Crown of Light. All right, we are back to live action. Coming up in this heat, we see in red, Talia Swindell, Zoe Chait in blue, Kylie Puccini in white, and Avery McDonald in green. So this is the final heat in the round of 32. This QS 5000. Immediately following this heat, we're going to move directly into the junior men's round of 56. Those will be 20-minute heats. Juniors, 20-minute heats. So the two Olin girls taking out that in a fury at the end of that wave, that heat. So Sonoa, number seven, she takes the win. And Matia, number 12, coming in, in second. So they'll both move into the round of 16 coming up later on in the week. Yeah, the Canadian we girls. See, yeah, we see Ky Kylie Pulsini in white trying to scratch into that one. And that's not easy to do. I, you see a lot of surfers roll into some waves, but not here. It's not that easy. That white water is so just much white water gobbles you around. up. <laughs> yeah. Soup bowl is a wave. It's not very deep out there. I mean, if it's eight feet deep, it's deep. Yeah. And very rarely do you hit the bottom, but it just ragdolls you and it drags you in. It pulls you in. You Parlor, tend to, up the road, forget it. Yeah. Forget it. You tend to hit the bottom of soup bowl on the smaller days when you're yeah. surfing a little bit more on the reef. Yeah. On the bigger days where you're a little further out, there is enough water. You know, it's crazy. Parlor is just right there a couple hundred yards to the east yep. and that wave will push you down to where you're in black water and your yeah. foot is being dragged by no your idea board. which way is up <laughs> no idea which way no is up, idea which way is up. almost here, impossible wave to duck dive yeah yeah and, and you're never out far enough no I don't care never how far, you're never out far enough i my last time well not my last time i surfed parlor one big day came over and saw like 40 guys surfing bowl maybe eight foot decided to paddle up parlor with two other guys and when we finally look back at the beach, the people on the beach look like ants. Yeah. And it didn't matter how far out we paddled. When that set came, we were all scrambling. Yeah, same thing Just scrambling. 
Same thing with guppies. You, yeah. It doesn't matter how far out you are, you just cannot be out far enough, and you always get smashed. Yep. And it's the scariest place in the world to lose your board. Oh, yeah. Because you don't know where it is, because there's a rip between you and the cliff. Duppies. And, yeah, duppies, oh, and yeah. the board gets caught in there. You can. So here we go, drawing for his blood. Red, Talia Swindell. Out onto the open face. Nice wrapping cut back. Shout out to Kristen. Talia's mom was hanging out with her earlier. She's over there supporting. And blue on the outside up and riding. Zoe Chait. Nice turn. Nice technique. Finding a rhythm on this wave. Oh. And finishes strong on the inside. So while we're waiting for these scores to drop, we're going to... Take it down to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat, Sanoa Olin. Here we are by the St. Louis glass for the interview of the winner of heat number seven, round two of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International, Sanoa Demfle Olin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you? How did it go over there? Yeah, that last heat went really well. Definitely a little nervous. Me and my sister had um, a heat together for the first round. So, um, yeah, it's always fun surfing against her, but super happy we both made it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of ways uh, with good scoring potential. It looks really fun right now over there. Um, what kind of board are you surfing for those conditions? Yeah, I'm riding a 5.9 HT2. It's a little wider than, like, my good short shortboard, so it feels really good in these kind of, like, smaller conditions. Um, this is, like... A replica of the board that I was riding here last year so it's feeling really good well it is working I saw you drop that hammer on that 8.93 you looked really really good over there it's nice to see some girls ripping um, how are you gonna prepare for your next round yeah I think juniors will be on tomorrow so um, just kind of same thing uh, joy you know the island I love being here in Barbados it's so beautiful and just yeah we're have a fun house of girls my sister and a couple of friends so just kind of hang out and enjoy where we are that's great. You want to say a little something back, back for friends and family at home in Canada, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I want to say hi to my mom and my brother and my grandparents and everyone in Tofino watching. I love you guys and I miss you. And yeah, I'm grateful that you guys get up early and support. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> okay. All right, back to live action. We saw some waves being ridden. While we were on that short break, Zoe Chait dropping a 6.5, Talia Swindell dropping a 3.0. Waiting on another score for Kylie Pulsini. So if we can queue up that replay for Blue. Zoe went to town on that, but we're gonna start off with Green Avery. And she's just gonna start with a bit of a slow wrapping cut back, waiting for that wave to stand up a little more vertical. Gets a little hung up. And now we're looking at Kylie coming from deep whitewater climb, wrapping cut back, another big wrapping cut back, waiting for that wave to stand up, little check turn, and then attacks the lip for the inside finish. She's feeling good about that one. All right, that earned her a 4.5 for her effort. But Zoe dropping the high score of that first exchange with a 6.5. Would love to see a replay of that one. All right, so situation in water. Blue, you're first with a 6.5. White, you're second with a 4.5 and a 0.33. Red, your third with a single wave of a 3.0. You require 1.8. And green, you are fourth with a single wave of a 2.3. You require a 2.51. So coming up next, we're going to move into the round 56, heat number one of the Live Like Xander Junior Boys, Junior Men. And red, Dan Banfield. Dan the man, Banfield. Such an awesome kid. Absolutely lives for surfing. Always with a smile on his face. And he charges. Yeah, he does. So he's coming up in red. Darian Shaggy coming up in blue. Caden Larrabee coming up in white. And the 
Diego Ferry coming up in green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got red coming up from pretty deep. Trying to make her way around that white water section. Looking for some open face. Tags that first lip. A little bit of a white wrap around. Rebound off the white water. All right, now we're looking at green. Avery McDonald from the USA. And she gets caught up. That white water takes her out. So we're waiting for a score to drop for Talia and Avery. In the meantime, we got Zoe Chait on the outside. She's our heat leader with a single ride of a 6.5 and she holds priority. So here we have a replay of Talia's wave. Nice wrap, big snap off the top there and a couple of wrapping turns. Manages to make her way all the way to the inside to finish. Her, her mom's going to be happy with that one. She knows he's cheering her on. Ooh, nice big wrap from Avery McDonald. Throwing some more spray, looking at that big section. Coming around, another big wrap. Oh, and unfortunately, the white water just takes her out, but she had four big moves before that. Okay, so situation in water, red, you're sitting in first position. You're sitting on a 5.0 and a 3.0. Blue, you are in second, sitting on a, sorry, hold the phone. That really frog around me without me even seeing it. So green, you are second with a 5.6 and a 2.3. Blue, you are now third. You're sitting on a single wave of a 6.5. You require a 1.4. And white, you are fourth. You are sitting on a 4.5 and a 0.33. You need a 3.47 to advance. One, 15, 14 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Priority order is blue, white, red. So Zoe, with that one high score of the heat so far, she's going to be patient with her priority. Yeah, she's going to want to make this next one count. That's going to build some pressure on the other three girls. Yeah, if she can drop another big score here, that will definitely put the pressure on the others. That 6.5 is the highest ridden wave of the heat so far. Another beautiful day here in sunny Barbados. Shouting out to all of our viewers all around the world. And back here at home, people that can't make it over to the East Coast for one reason or the other. There's a lot of people tuning in, sending us messages all the time, saying they're enjoying the broadcast. Wish they were here to help increase the vibes. A lot of people saying they're coming down on the weekend. Weekend's gonna be jam packed. Okay, we got live action with Red. She goes up and out. Yeah, Talia didn't like the look of that one. So yeah, this weekend there's loads going on. Besides all the amazing surfing and all the finals that were being held, there's a whole wellness weekend planned, a hike, Pilates, free Pilates and yoga on the beach. You can check out the Eco Kids Instagram page. They're going to be doing some stuff down here as well, keeping all the kids busy so the parents can go to the bar and and have a conversation with Mount Gay, Banks Bear, and Remy Martin. So a little set rolled through the lineup, had no takers on it earlier in the heat, not this heat, but earlier in the day. We had a surfer in fourth priority, nobody took it. She swung on it and dropped an 8.5. Here we go, green up and right in. Avery McDonald currently in second position. She's sitting on a 5.6 and a 2.3. She's looking to ditch that 2.3, which I'm sure she's going to do right, right now. Yeah, a couple of big gouges there, but not much on the inside. No reform for her to continue.
So replay of Avery comes from pretty deep, starts with a bit of a white water foam floater. One big wrapping turn and then doesn't see anything else on offer. So I think that's going to be enough for her to throw away that 2.33. Okay, scores dropping for Avery. 3.73 for your last wave. That will move you into the lead with a combined score of 9.36. That will push Talia into second place. Talia, you're going to require a 4.37 to regain your first place. Zoe, you still sit with priority on that one wave. You're just looking for a 1.5 to get into an advancing position. And sitting in fourth place with second priority, we got Kylie Pulcini. She has a wave total of 4.83, and she's looking for a 3.5 to advance or to get into an advancing position with just over 11 minutes to go. All right, so last of green, 373. So you go to first. Red, you drop the second. Blue, you drop the third, requiring a 1.5. And white, you are in fourth, requiring a 3.5. 10 minutes, 55 seconds remaining. Priority is with blue, then white, red, and green. Blue, white, red, green. So Zoe is sitting in 16th in the rankings we haven't lost any of our top four girls as yet ella mccaffrey went down earlier we lost her so the two sonoa girls are still in noe clap is still in sarah fryer is still in mia mcleish is still in not sure if leanna mons nope she lost Leilani's still in. Here we go. Green up and right in. Avery, nice slashing turn. Kind of looks like she lost her footing a little bit. She is the current heat leader. She's yeah. sitting on a mid-range score and a low and a mid and a high three. Yeah, Avery trying to throw away a three-seven. Paddled over a little to the right, tried to separate herself for the pack, knowing that she had a low priority. And trying to manufacture a score and keep busy on the meantime. While the others wait patiently on the set to come through. Nine and a half minutes to go. For everyone out there on the beach, I hope you guys made sure you got your sunscreen on. No problem if you forgot it at home. Sun Bomb has provided two big pumps of sunscreen over by the bar. Just head over to the bar, grab yourself a Banks beer, a Mount Gay, some Remy Martin. You can also get your Xander gear, shirts and hats and stickers. And all the proceeds from that go right back into helping underprivileged and disabled children throughout Barbados. Also all the proceeds collected from food and beverage go directly back into these events. And here we go, red, up and riding. Talia Swindell. Nice technique, finding a rhythm. Blowing out the fins, working it to the inside. Little finishing maneuver and she goes out the back. Yeah, so Talia decided to pull the trigger on that one only with third priority, but she's just trying to throw away a small score of a three and I think she may have done that with that wave. Yeah, that could possibly be right up there in her Here best. Here we go. Drops in. Little bit of a wrap. Comes up. Big snap off the top, throwing loads of spray. Another tag. One more little tag on the inside. And that's an example of staying busy when you're under priority. And just trying to keep improving your scores slowly. So still waiting on that last score for Talia to drop.
All right, scores trickling in. 4.87, 4.87 for red. So red goes to first. Green, you drop to second. Blue, you're in third. Blue, you require a 2.86. And white, you're in fourth. You require a 4.87. Seven minutes remaining. Well, Lou, it paid off. Red staying busy on the inside, not waiting for the priority, deciding to pull the trigger and see if she can let her surf and do the talking. And threw away that three. Has a nice backup now of a 4.87 and managed to take the lead. So Tally will paddle back out now and hope that the water, the ocean goes flat for the next six minutes. For our online audience, stick around. Right after this heat, we go straight into the first round of the junior division. Loads of talent. This junior division goes is, uh, for up under 20s. So a lot of the guys in the open division are going to be seen surfing in this junior division. A lot of talent on show. And then, of course, hopefully over the weekend, we look forward to that under 12 event. Yep. Red, your last wave previous was a 487. You went to first. Green is in second. Green requires a 4.2 to move into first. Blue, you are in third, requiring a 2.86. And white, you are in fourth, requiring a 487. Five minutes and 15 seconds remaining. So Priori sits with the surfer in blue. She's held it for a long time. She's That's looking at this one. Here she goes. Is she going to get in? No, she doesn't. Oh. So priorities changed. So green up and riding. So red waited with priority all that time, and then she couldn't get into that wave. Blue. So blue will go to third priority. Yeah, hard luck for Zoe there. Yeah, she only needs... Needs a very small score, so she's going to get busy now. Yep. Not going to be so selective. She sat for a long time with priority, waiting for that wave. So now what she needs to do now is have a little reset and just get busy. Only requiring a 2.9. Just looking at Avery's wave, the one she managed to sneak off when Blue missed it. So under priority, here goes Avery, first wrap and turn, and then she goes into a second wrap. Looking for a little speed down the line and then tags the inside to finish. So three minutes, 50 seconds. So blue is now in third priority, still with just one ridden wave. Still the highest single score of the heat. So blue does not need a big score, but she does need a wave. Oh, here, here she goes. goes. Blue up and riding. And she goes out the back. Doesn't like that one. This because she's gonna turn on this. No, she's not. She's gonna try and get back out before green. Well, here we have a little paddle battle on the show on the screen, guys. So for the viewers at home, the surfer deemed to be back out in the lineup and in position will be given the priority. All right, three minutes, three minutes. Red, you are in first. There's two minutes, 50 seconds remaining. So blue, you are still requiring a 2.96 to advance. White, you require a 4.9 to advance.
All right, off the review, priority shifts back to blue. Priority shifts back to blue. Blue. All right, so just watching white live on screen. Kylie Puccini. Here we go, red up and riding with one minute, 35 seconds remaining. So blue, Zoe still requiring a wave, the minuscule waves. She's hunting that inside. All right, waiting on a couple of small scores to drop. Nothing that's really factoring in. Under a minute to go. So last of white, 307. So white, you require a 4.9, 45 seconds remaining. Blue, you still require that 2.9. And last of red, 3.10. Coming up on 30 seconds. So green's gonna use her priority to keep off wet, red, blue. So with 20 seconds remaining, blue goes back into priority. Looks like there's 15 a little bump. seconds. She's got no choice. She's got to pull the trigger on this one. She's got priority. Here we go with five seconds. In four, three, two, one. So this will count for Zoe. Flex Here out the go. tail. But she takes a big sigh of relief. Oh, uh, she's going to. So it's not. She it's, can uh, it, breathe we, now. Well, she's still got to get the score. Yeah, but at least she got a wave and gave herself a chance. It was looking dodgy. So servers in the next heat, hold your positions. We're in a short hole, waiting for some scores to drop. There's the replay of blue. Nice wrap and turn, start. Throws it back into the white water. Comes up, a little more vertical section, throws the tail out, little pump. All right, so last of blue, 3.93. You go to first. Red, you drop to second. So advancing out of the heat number eight, surfer in blue, Zoe Chait. First, second position, Talia Swindell. Servers in the next heat, stand by. We're gonna go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back with junior men's round one, heat round of 56, heat number one coming up. To live action, we have now shifted gears to the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. Coming up in this heat, we got Dan Banfield in red, Darian Shaggy in blue, Kaiden Larrabee in white, and Diego Ferry in green. You see the surfers here on your screen, and we got red up and right, and Dan Banfield goes vertical up in the lip. Here we go, Don Bonfield, he's only 11 years old. Another big turn, out onto the open face. This is one of Barbados' up and coming young surfers. Starting strong. Working it all the way to the inside, Don Bonfield. Don the man. <laughs> Let's hear it from the crowd for the local kid. All right, watching blue on the outside, here is Darian Shaggy. All right, Dan starting that heat off and getting the crowd on their feet right away. Only 11 years old. 
he'll be coming up later on in the under 12, 12 and unders. Yeah. Where Barbados has a big crop of young surfers, three of them coming up in the next heat. Wow. So here's the replay of Red. All right, Red coming from pretty deep, using that local knowledge and throwing it straight up into that first section. Loads of commitment. Makes his way around. Another big tag of the lip. Wraps around. The white water come onto the open face. Stays with the power source. Gets another little tag. Pumping his way to the inside. Another tag on the inside. One more tag of the lip. And a little finish. And looking at blue. Blue dropping in. Just a short wrap around that wave kind of runs away from him. So blue with a throwaway score. But Dan getting the beach excited. Loads of support for the local boy. Dan is definitely one of the most committed surfers I see out there. He just goes. Here we go. Nice one dropping for Dan. Server in red, 617. Yeah, let's hear Drop it for Dan. Dropping a 617. Server on the outside in white. Larrabee. Nice big flow to reentry. He's looking to stick with this one, trying to get back to the inside. So All Dan right. Banfield dropping a 617, going to first. Already going in this heat, 16 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. That's a good one. good start for Dan. That will give him loads of confidence. Here he is looking at a little inside wave under priority. Yep, trying to back up that six. Out onto the open face. This wave's going to reform a little bit for him. He's sticking with it. He's going to wait for it. Dan Bonfield uh, just caught a rail on that bottom turn as we go to the outside. Diego Ferry from Hawaii, floating it all the way through to the inside. Big slashing turns, got a grower on his hands, another big turn, throwing it up one more time, vertical, he goes out the back, and blue on the outside. He's working it all the way to the inside. All right, so let's see these replays. Green just had a wave that just kept growing and getting better and better. So last of white, 5.0. Here we look at a white's replay. Jumps up, immediately has a little tag of the white water and then throws it up into that section. Loads of commitment. Tries to stay with it, recognizing that he's got a pretty good score, but that wave just does not offer him anything else. Probably stays on there a little too long, looking for the reform. Eventually cuts out. Here we got Dan using his local knowledge for a little inside nugget. Snaps it off the whip. Little wrap around. Looking for that inside reform. Oh, gets a little hung up. Catches the rail a bit. And then loses all his momentum. All right. We're going to cut to live action as we see Surfer in blue working his way to the inside. As we wait on these next scores to come in. We're going to throw it down to the glass standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat. Coming from fourth to first, Zoe Chape. Round number two. <laughs> you did good. Thank you. Here we are at the San Luis Glass with the winner of this last heat for the round number two, the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro presented by Diamonds International in a women's divi division. Zoe Chait, how are you? I'm doing better now, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, quite a nerve wracking um, heat for you. You were on a forest, you were forced the whole time and then you had that buzzer beater just now. Yeah, I mean, it just shows you that like one mistake can kind of get you really far behind in the heat. Like I just made one priority mistake and ended up missing like the only set wave. And then I was really um, having to grovel to like get a two. And thankfully that wave came to me at the very end and I had priority and um, just had to execute at that point. I was happy I did. Well, good thing you didn't let the stress get the better of you and you really hit those sections pretty well. You're looking strong over there. What board are you surfing today? Um, I'm surfing a Sharp Eye number 77, um, shaped by Marcio. It's a great board. It's like 
Um, definitely my favorite model, five seven and a half. Um, and huge shout out to Raul Castillo and everyone at Raul Castillo Martial Martial Arts who have like gotten me dialed and ready for this competition. And that's why I feel so strong out there. So thank you. Super sweet. Love to see you ripping over there this year again. Uh, you wanna? I know you just said shout out to your sponsors, but you wanna say hi to maybe somebody and family back at home in California. Yeah, huge shout out to my mom and dad for making this possible for me. Like the QS is really hard to do and they do everything they can to let me do it and kind of pursue what I want to accomplish and um, say hi to my dog and my brother, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Hi, dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. Keep it up, girl. Thank you. Nice having you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are back to live action. While we were away, a couple of small scores came in, but a big score for the surfer in green, Diego Ferry dropping at 867. And this is the replay of the last of white. Yeah, white. just just a small score, a couple of wraparounds, and then it runs away for him. I want to say congrats again to Zoe Chait, clutch performance in that last heat. Going from fourth to first in the last seconds. That's what we like to see in surfing. Clutch performances, knowing that it's never over till it's over. Right now, Dan Banfield leading the heat and sitting there with priority in a good position. 11 minutes, 45 seconds to go. Stay tuned for the next heat, guys. Three locals, three local boys in there. All three absolutely shred. So for all of you viewers tuned in from all around the world, once again, welcome from Sunny Soup Bowl Barbados. Here presenting the PTMI Barbados Surf Pro 5000 presented by Diamonds International. WSL sanctioned event, 5,000 points. Right now we're dealing with the Junior Pro. And then we have a fun under 12 event open to all competitors 12 years and under over the weekend. Just for fun, we're going to send you out there. You're going to be judged by the official WSL judges and your peers. <laughs> all right, surfers on the outside moving around. No takers on this one. Is there one behind it? I don't see anybody putting themselves in position, but server in red, Don Bonfield from Barbados holding down priority. He's also holding down the lead. Yeah, Don started with a really solid score of a 6-1-7. First wave of the heat. Set the tone. Build some confidence. Shout out to Dan's dad, Barry, another charger. Likes to throw it vertical. And Dan's older sister, Ava, she's one of the young girls, one of the local girls. There's about five, six, seven of them right now. All training, starting to compete. All right, there's some movement. All right, here we go. Don Bonfield's going to pull the trigger. Here he goes, up and right in. He's sitting on a 6.17 and a 3.0. Cutting back the first section. He's going to have a north section ahead of him. Here he goes, throws it up in the lip. 
Working it out onto the open face. He's going to cut it back. Wait for it to reform. He's going to get one more finishing maneuver. He goes up vertical. So he closes that one out. And nobody else was able to manufacture getting into the second wave. So Dan, only person writing that set. That's going to be somewhere close to it. Yep, 3.5, 3.5. So that just minimally extends your lead. All right, so Dan's last wave, a little bit of a slow start. Wave kind of flattened out a little bit, had a bit of a bobble, had to pump a few times, but then he got a bit of a reform and manages to get a couple of nice wraps. Waiting for that inside and tag it to end. Yeah, so back to live action, Diego Ferry had a nice opening maneuver on his outside. So we'll bring that replay to you. He's currently in second position, but only needing a very small score. To move up in the first, he's looking to back up an eight, six, seven. Yeah, so dear. last of green, seven, one, seven. So green to first, red, your second. White, you now require a 4.71, you are third. And blue, you require a 6.5. Seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Priority sits on the outside with the surfer in blue, followed by white. So the two surfers in third and fourth needing scores are went first and second priority. So Diego Ferry from Hawaii extending his lead. Two good scores. That kid has absolutely ripped his first two waves to shreds. Here we go. Local knowledge. Dan Banfield picking this one up under fourth priority. Here he goes out onto the open face. He's going to look at this north section. Throws it up, and he can't hang on. Oh. He only weighs about 65 pounds. So. That's the commitment that Dan, the man, shows every time he goes out. He just goes. And on the outside, White, he's going to use second priority. Here he goes, working it onto the open face. Cut him back. And he doesn't have any major maneuvers, but he's going to get something on the inside to work with, just setting up this inside section. And he can't manage to hang on to that, so he goes down. Yeah, it looked like Hayden just tried to throw a little too much into that last maneuver without really having any speed and came. Here we are looking at Dan on this wave. And if he could have just hang on to that, I'm sure that would have gone up into the fives or sixes, but we're watching Green, and he goes right. And blue on the outside. Here we go, up and riding. Bigger wave. Throws it up in the lip. Little cut back. It's five minutes remaining and green on the outside. We're going to stick with blue. So last of red coming in at a 307 does not factor in. So servers in the next seat, you can paddle out. All right, we just had a wave ridden by Darren Shaggy and Diego Ferry, one after the other. So we're going to take it back to the replay. So waiting for green, waiting for blue. Here we are, looking at blue on a nice size wave on the outside, just a little bit late to that first section, but manages to tag it. Comes around, a little bit of a wrap to stay with the white water. Finds some open face. Couple more wraps, just waiting for this wave to reform on the inside. Still wrapping around, keeping the board moving. And here we start to get to work on those inside sections. And here we are looking at green, your heat leader. Oh, first, 
throws it straight up into the lip. 360, right is out. A little bit of a wrap back. Another cut back into the white water. Being patient, waiting for that wave to reform. Keeping his board moving under his feet. Couple more wrapping turns, throwing some spray, and then eventually loses it on the inside. But the work was done on the outside. All right, last of blue, 517. So blue, you now require a 4.5. And white, your last coming in at a 2.6, you require a 4.7. Three minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Surfer in red, holding down priority on the outside, followed by surfer in white. So green first, red second, blue third. Blue requires a 4.5, and white is fourth, requiring a 4.7. Two minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Well, Dan Banfield sitting with priority in second position. He wants to throw away a 3.5, so he's going to sit tight. Two and a half minutes to go. So Dan's going to be playing a bit of defense, trying to keep himself in second spot. Just over two minutes to go. Dan Banfield, you have priority, second priority with white, then blue, then green. Dan, you need a big 9.67 to take the lead. Two blue. minutes, two minutes remaining, surfers. Two minutes remaining, surfer in blue, still looking for that 4.5, and surfer in white. He's looking for a 4.7, but Dan the man, Banfield is holding down priority on the outside. He's going to let Blue go on this. Blue up and riding. Kind of gets a little sticky on that last wave. And White is up. And Dan on the outside. Pulling into this one. Here we go. He's going to let it go. Gives way to Green with 1 minute 26 seconds remaining. Green is having a lot of fun out there. Diego Ferry from Hawaii, absolutely ripping it to bits. Shout out to everyone tuning in from Hawaii right now. And here we go, Dan the Bam, Banfield on the outside on a big wave. Here we go, he's One in priority. Red is up and riding, comes out onto the open face, goes up in the lip as the left just barreled off and spit. Dan cuts back, goes up in the lip one more time. Waiting for this one to wall up on the inside. He's gonna look to finish this strong. Here he goes, throws it up, vertical. And he gets the right out. And Dan right the out man. All right, so with 40 seconds remaining, surfers in the next seat, please hold your positions. We got scores for all four surfers to drop with 30 seconds. Here we go, replay of Dan dropping in late under the lip, coming up, just getting a little bit hung up under the white water there, but then comes out, finds some open face, nice wrapping turn, throws it up into the lip. Wave flattens out a little bit on him. So he managed to pump, find the inside, and then tag it to finish. With counting it in in three, two, one. And that ends the heat, so we got some scores to drop. Let me see where this is gonna go. We got the last of red to drop and the last of red of green. So score for four score for white coming in at a 203 not enough score for blue coming in at a 3 he needs a 5.04 coming in at a 3.53 not enough down Banfields. All Stay, right. Stays in second and advances. So taking the heat win, Diego Ferry dropping an eight-point ride on his last wave. And in second position, Dan Banfield bettering his score with a 403 on his last ride. So first, Diego, second, Dan. Coming up next, surfers, hold your positions. We're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back with the heat number two, round of 56 in the Live Like Xander Junior Pro.
right, back to live action. Here we go. Green up and riding. This is Liam Knight. He's working it to the inside. He's Coming up in this heat, we're going to have Trent Corbin in red from Barbados, Kai St. George in blue from Barbados, Christian Stout in white also from Barbados, and Liam Knight in green from Barbados. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Knight from the USA. Liam wishes he was from Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so plenty of uh, local talent in this heat. Christian Stout is the reigning 12 and under, live like Xander, junior champ. Well, under 12 champion. Yeah. Taking that win last year. These guys all surf together all the time. Kai, Trent, Christian, awesome kids. All of them absolutely rip, constantly improving. So first of green, 383. So Liam just getting the heat started with this little one from the inside. Coming a little bit from the east. A little bit of a wrapping turn. Making his way down, trying to stay... Out on the open face, another little wrap. Finally gets a bit of a vertical section on the inside to tag, and then just a second little tag on the white water. Reasonable score for a well-served wave, but smaller inside wave, not offering too much scoring potential. So there we have a great shot of the three local boys out in the lineup. These guys all charge. We had some big barreling conditions last year, and I think uh, Trent and Christian both have a video of them getting absolutely lost on a huge day out of the bowl. Yeah, surfer in red, Trent Corbin, he will also be taking place in the 12 and unders. Chrissy aged out this year. Here we go. Here we go. Christian Stout. Turning and burning. Here we go. Up and right in Chrissy Stout. This boy's got an amazing little technique on him. Here we go. Out onto the open face. Cutting it back. Working his way to that north section. He's going to look for this inside. Makes the wave looks three times the size that it is. He's only three feet tall. <laughs> but he make no bones. He rips. Good start from Christian. Also known as Termite. Here we go, first section, makes it away around. Little tag off the white water, big wrap, little rebound off the white water, another little tag. Making his way to the inside, doesn't see much else on offer. Yeah, Chrissy's an accomplished skateboarder. Yeah. So many videos he's got of him being in the, in the uh, skate park is pretty amazing. Very impressive. The first day I saw this little kid stand up by the eight foot vertical wall of the bowl. And then I looked around, I looked back, he was gone. I thought, where did he go? <laughs> and the next thing you know, he was flying around the bowl. No fear. No fear. That was my nickname for him, but it didn't stick. Danger Mouse. Yeah. All right. We're standing by for these scores. Actually, the scores end for White, 3-4-3. Three, three. So while we have a break in the action, we're going to throw it down with Diego Ferry, winner of the last heat, standing by with Amaya. Here we are at the St. Louis Glass for the first interview of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Opera in Loving Memory of Xander Venezia, presented by Diamonds International. I have here with me the young Diego Ferry from Hawaii. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. You were just signing me for Simon Barbados. How are you liking the waves? I love it here. The waves are so fun, super rippable. The people are great. Just really good vibes all around. Yeah, you're looking right at home, showing some good progressive maneuvers over there, throwing some tail. Looking really strong and really good. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm stoked to be here. I'm uh, from Hawaii, so it's a pretty far journey, but stoked to be out here and stoked that we're getting some fun waves. Hopefully everyone in the competition has some good heats and excited to see what's to come. Yeah, we're all excited to see you rip some more waves over there. Um, maybe you want to give a little shout out for friends and family back at home? Yeah. Thanks everyone at home for watching. Mom, brother, sister, so love you guys. and. Uh, yeah, you guys are probably just waking up, so hope you have a good day. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, welcome back to live action. No waves ridden in the, in the interim there, but the surfers all looking interested in something. 
Still waiting for Surfing Blue Kai and Surfing Red Trent to get their first waves. There's a shot of our heat leader, Liam Knight from the USA. One wave ridden on a 3.83. And we got Christian in second place with a 3.43. Just over 14 minutes. Once again, welcome in our viewers from all over the world. Keep those messages coming in. Got a lot of people giving us a shout out from Europe. They're like four, five, six hours ahead of us. So everyone coming home from work and settling in on the couch. Pulling up their favorite WSL app. And finding the uh, Barbados Surf Pro. Or you can just go on YouTube, look for the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro. Check our live broadcast. This is the round of 56 in the junior division. Heat two. We're going to be running two more heats today. And here we go. Trent. Trent pulling the trigger on one. Smaller one on the inside. Little wrap around. Throws it up into the white water. Another wrap in turn. Little cut back, waiting for that reform. Third cut back, looking for that little reform on the inside. Here he goes. Will it stand up and give him a section to tag? One, two, and he's still going. Three. I thought he was going to surf that all the way to Sandbank. Ray. <laughs> yep, so Trent is going to be another one of those servers that are going to be taking part this week on the outside looking at. Yeah, no worries, just Trent, just uh, getting some work done. Smaller wave, but loads of turns, keeping that board moving under his feet. Wrap around, wrap around, just keeping that board moving, making sure he keeps his speed up, waiting for that inside reform so he can tag it once, twice, and then a third time. Someone give Trent a ride back to the lineup. So while we were watching that replay, we had two waves ridden, one for blue and one for green. So here we have blue on the replay. Kai St. George throwing it up vertical in that first section. Kai serves with so much power. Another wraparound, rebound off the white water. Uh, just gets to the lip a little late. So priority sits on the outside with the surfer in white. Christian Stout, here we go. He's putting himself in position. Here he goes, up and right in. Surfer in white, Christian Stout, coming hard off the bottom, right up into the lip. Nice little down carve out onto the open face. Catches a rail, and he can't go any further than that. So we got some scores to drop for everybody. So this is the replay for Chrissy. Nice little down carve. Just caught that reel a little bit. Kind of made him a little wobbly. Yeah, that wave just kind of gets a little fat there. All right, I need the surfer in the next heat, Luke Rubensdorf. Luke Rubensdorf, you need to check in, please. So the first of red, 377. First of blue, 617. So blue goes to first. Last of white is 2.0 and up and right. And Trent Corbin with a nice wrapping around cutback. Trent's grandfather was one of the founding members of the Barbados Surfing Association as he's working his way all the way down to the inside. Here we go. And on the outside, white up and right in Christian Stout. He's got a good looking wave ahead of him. Nice north section, big cutbacks, waiting for it to reform. It's going to open up for him right here. Another wrapping cutback. Chrissy Stout goes up vertical, cutting it back into the rip as we shift to the surfer in blue from Barbados. Wow. Kai St. George, With nine minutes, 50 seconds remaining, have some scores to drop for white, for everybody. Yeah, a little flurry Everybody. of activity there. Four waves ridden one after the other. Gonna wait on a couple of replays here so we can kind of break them down. I 
All right, starting off first with Christian Termite Stout. Dropping in, fading the back, waiting for that wave to, to form up. He's got a nice big section in front of him. And then that wave just kind of rolls on down the reef. Here we go. Nice snap. Big wrap around. And here we're looking at Kai's second wave. Gets up. Big wrap straight back into the front white, white water. A little pump. Throws it up vertical into the lip. And he's out. Two outside maneuvers. And Kai Palace back out. So he can try to regain priority, which he manages to do. Here we have a replay of green, getting up into the lip, gets a little hung up there, wrap around, rebound off the white water. Another little white water rebound. Looking for that inside section to wall up a little bit. One more wrap. And then he just loses it. So waiting on some scores to drop. All right, last of, last of green, 4.5. So green goes to second. Last of red, 3.03. .03. Last of blue, 473. Blue, you're in first. We're working on this white score now. Just eight. over eight minutes. Seven fifty, seven minutes, 50 seconds. Last of white, 3.40. So blue first, green second, white is third. White, you require a 4.9. And red, you are fourth, you require a 4.5. Seven minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Coming up in the next heat. Heat number three, we're going to have Luke Rubensorf, Jacques Ackerman, Sage Katz, and Ryder Smith. You boys should be checked in and ready to go. Here we go. Red up and right. And Trent Corbin. Trent Corbin. Nice wrapping cutback, and he goes out the back. Not feeling that one at all. If you have green. So you servers have about a minute before you can paddle out. Just please stay down in the channel. That'll be heat number three. We're going to go down into heat number four. So two more heats for the day. That will close us out. You so see go ahead. Looking at Trent's wave, but he just pulls up, tries a wrap, feels, gets a little hung up, but doesn't see much potential down the line. Decides to cut out, get back into the lineup and reset. Surfer in the lead, Kai St. George, also holds priority, so he's sitting in a strong position. Once again, shout out the Tobago Posse. They're all tuning in, cheering on for Kai. Kai's dad, Barry, is a charger. He's originally from Tobago. Spends a lot of time down there fishing. I know Kai spends a lot of time down there too. So shout out all the Tobago crew once again. Big up. Kai representing Barbados and Tobago. So we got five minutes, 45 to go. Priority sitting with blue, then green, then white, and then red. White, you require a 4.9 to get into an advancing position. Trent, in red, you require a 4.5 to get into an advancing position. And green, you require a 6.4 if you want to take over the lead. And here we have some surfers looking interested. So we have a little priority change there with white. Oh, sorry, with red paddling for that one. Sorry, white paddling for that one. Reviewing this last paddle. So here we go, white pulling the trigger. Christian Stout, little wraparound on the inside. Stands up, gets that section looking a little more, more vertical. Here we go, uh, just catches the rail again. That's the second time that Christian's caught his inside rail. 
Here we go, looking nice and smooth, opening his shoulders, looking back at the section he wants to turn and hit. But and just too much turbulence on that wave, white water and foam, catches that rail and goes down. So last of white, 3.9. So, White, that goes in your score line. You now need a 4.4, Chrissy. 4.4. Red, you are in fourth. You re require a 4.5. Four minutes remaining. Priority still with blue and the lead. Second priority with green and third priority with red. So for those of you interested, the uh, name of the skate park, the KTIF skate park, KTIF skate park over by the gymnasium, world-class skate facility, skateboarding facility. And when it goes completely flat, that's where a lot of these kids will go hang out and have some fun, skate around the bowl and... So surfer in red, sorry, surfer in blue, Currently in first position, holding down in priority. But you surfer in white and red with three minutes remaining. Just need some mid-range scores. I know both of them can drop it. Here we go, blue is gonna pull the trigger. Kai St. George, opening maneuver, cutting back. Going up in the lip, working it out onto the open face, banging that north section. Oh, lovely. Coming out onto the open face. He is the current heat leader, finishing strong, Kai St. George. So, surfer in green, All right. down priority, Kai followed by red work. and white. Kai getting some work done on the outside there. That third turn was mental. Here we go, surfer in red, putting himself in position. Green's gonna let him go, Trent Corbin. Up and riding, throws it vertical, up in the lip, working his way out onto the open face, cutting it back. He's gonna have to stick with this one. He goes down. Oh, he just got hung two, up. Two minutes remaining. So Green's gonna use his priority. Green up and riding. Nice wrapping cut back with one minute, 46 seconds. Throws it up, can't hang on, and he goes down. So that's going to leave the door open for Surfer and White, but are there any waves to come? One minute, 30 seconds to find one. And he's got priority. Here, breaking down Blue's replay. Gets a little hung up on that first turn. Second turn, building some speed. But this is the money turn here. We're vertical up into the lip. Beautiful snapping turn. Right in the pocket, going almost upside down. And then manages to get a little speed and throw some aggression at that last one. Here we're looking at Red coming around. Nice tag off the first section, but then as he comes in and tries to rebound off the white water, that wave just rolls on down the bay. Doesn't give him any reform. The server's in the next heat. Hold your positions right there, guys. Thank you very much. And here we're looking at Green's last wave. Came from a little deep, had to build some speed to make it around that white water. Does one wrapping turn and then gets hung up on the second. All right, here we go. On the outside, Christian Stout with 40 seconds remaining. He's up and riding. Here we go, Christian Stout's got to make this first turn count. He does out onto the open face, cutting it back, banging it off the white water. He's going to look to finish one. This one's strong. Still working his way to the inside. Chrissy Stout. He's going to look for a finishing maneuver. And red on the outside, Trent, Corbin, nice little down carve. Flicks out the tail, banging it in three, five, four, three, two, one. As Trent Corbin continues working down the line with a nice rail gouge, so surfers in the next heat. Just hold your positions. We got scores for pretty much everyone. All right, another nice little flurry at the end of that heat. Loads of excitement. Beach is going crazy. So previous of blue starting to drop, but we got scores for everybody to come in. 
So previous of blue, 6.6. .6. Previous of white, 3.9. So white, you still have a wave coming. And this is your replay, so nice first opening maneuver. Working it out onto the open face. Series of cutbacks. So green may have left the door open for these two young Barbadians. But I want to see red, because red had some nice turns. So, so waiting for that score for white, waiting for a score for. Here's red on a slightly bigger outside wave. Here we go. Nice wrapping turn there. Another big white water rebound. It looks like he's going to get some of reform there. Nice wrapping turn, throwing the tail out. And then he tags it, but doesn't right out of the last maneuver. So lots of action to finish this heat, guys. Once again, we're going to just be patient with the judges. We're just going to be patient with the judges. They've got a lot of waves to review and they want to make sure that they give everyone an accurate score reflective of what they did out there in the water. All right, scores trickling in. Last of blue, 287. So that we won't need factor. One, we need one for green. And one more score for red. So it looks like green scores trickling in won't factor in either. So it's really down to red and white. White requiring... Just a medium score. And red, both requiring kind of a mid-range score. All right, last of green. Is there still another one for green? There may be one more score for green to drop. The previous came in at a 077, so that doesn't factor in. But we're still waiting on three scores. So last of white coming in, last of red coming in. So last of white, 367. Required a 3.91, so sorry, required a 4.4, not enough. Last of red requiring a th drops a 4.43, so not enough, so situation remains the same. Blue first, green second. Red so third. we're gonna take a short commercial break and we'll be right back with heat number three of this round of 56, Live Like Xander Junior Pro. We'll be right back, so please stay tuned. Here we go in three, two, one. Coming up in this heat, we're going to see in the red jersey, Luke Rubensdorf. In the blue jersey, Jack Ackerman. In the white jersey, Sage Katz. And in the green jersey, Ryder Smith. So this is going to be heat number three of the Live Like Xander Junior Pro in memory of Xander Venezia. And so blue, Jack Ackerman is going to draw first blood. Nice wrapping cut back. Working it out onto the open face. Throwing it up. Nice finishing maneuver. He's still not done. All right. Jack getting the heat started off the first wave. This is heat three of the round of 56, penultimate heat of the day. And we got Jack getting it started off. So he's just going to roll in on there, have a little wrapping cut back, trying to get by, by the white water and give this a chance to form up. Tags the white water, comes around that section. Another cut back, another wrapping cut back, looking for that wall to get a little more vertical. Tags it once, another wrapping cut back, making his way all the way to the inside, getting lots of work done, keeping that board moving. Yeah. 
So one more heat to go after this. And then we'll let you know about the call for tomorrow. Oh. All right, first of blue, 4.5. After further review, server in red blocked green. So blue goes to third priority. So, which means green will go to first priority. So priority order, green, then red, then blue. Yeah, we just saw Sage Cats getting his account opened. And how we're looking at blue with live action coming from deep. Yeah, Jack Ackerman. Nice wrapping cutback. Jack's keeping busy. So coming up in the next heat, we're going to see Timothy Simmers, Enzo Ackerman, Winter Larrabee, and Lucas Skinner. Lucas really impressed me with his surfing in the open. Boy, I'm going to tell you, I have never seen a boy get more speed on a surfboard than him. I, I, I actually went and looked at his board. I was like, what are you writing? Uh, and he told me it was a signature model that his dad designed. Yeah, I heard his yeah. dad shapes the his boards. Dad, well, yeah, his dad is uh, the world champion longboarder, and he's known for his longboard skin dog, and he's known for his longboard line, but apparently he put together some dimensions for Luke and uh, got it shaped by, I believe, Firewire. And uh, I tell you, I don't know what he's got on that board, but he is flying. Yeah, he just barely has to turn the board, and it just shoots out. Yeah, reminds me of a Toledo. I actually Correct. thought he was right in the Toledo board. I thought he was right in the Toledo um, model. Yeah, the, uh, the the quad, the Toledo rides, because he was just incredibly fast, like noticeably faster than a lot of the other surfers out there on the same waves. All right, so last of white, 5.0. So with 16 minutes remaining, white in first, blue in second. So priority order goes with the surfer in green, followed by red, white, and blue. Yep. All right, while well, we have a break in the action, we are going to send it down to the glass, standing by with Amaya's Kai St. George, boy from Barbados with a heat win. Here we are, the St. Louis Glass with the winner of heat number two, round one of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia, presented by Diamonds International, one of our local boys. Kais and George, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. You opened that, uh, that heat pretty well, got a couple of six points, must feel good. Yeah, honestly, it feels really good. This is probably the first heat that I've actually won in this contest ever. Well, a nice little confidence boost. You were telling me you haven't surfed really backside in a little while, so that was weird at first. Yeah, super weird. My home break has been firing for the last like four days, so probably shouldn't have, but I've just been surfing there. haven't really been training much. Well, as long as you're surfing, I think it's the right thing to do. Um, are you pumped for the next round maybe tomorrow? Yeah, really excited. Hopefully the waves are fun. Yeah, and how was it actually surfing with two other of the Beijing boys, feeling like it's kind of a regular lineup? Uh, kinda. I really love. I really love to surf with those grums. Like I want to push them so much to surf so much better. And right now they're really, really ripping. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one then. Good All luck. Right. Nice having you. Thank <laughs> you. See ya. Okay. Back to live action. Thank you very much for that interview. While we were away, we just saw a couple of scores drop. The 2.6 for red for blue. And also a 1.33. Yeah, just a couple of small scores from our surfers are in the lower priority trying to keep busy while the other surfers with the first and second priority are still waiting on their first waves. Congrats again to Kai St. George, winner of the last heat, representing Barbados. Here we, Here we go, go, Green. Ryder Smith up and riding. Nice wrapping cutback. He's working his way out onto the open face. And surfer on the outside in red. As we, fall, we shift from green to red, here we go, Luke Rubensdorf setting up this inside section. Another set on the outside that blue can't get into as we continue down the line with red. All right, so we got our surfers with uh, 
taking using their priority to get a couple of waves. Let's uh, break them down and see if that was a great use of priority or not. In the meantime, there was a priority change between white and blue. Blue did paddle for a wave and miss, so white now has first priority and blue in second priority. Here we go, replay of green's first wave. So a little hung up in the beginning, but came in, a little wrap around in the white water, comes out onto the open face, waves kind of flattening out, so he's gonna stick close to the white water, waiting for that wave to wall up, and it never does. Green goes down. Okay, we got live action with white coming in from deep, first wrapping turn. Waiting for that section to wall up and just catches the rail. Looks like he lost his fins out the back of the wave. Loses control. Yeah, he's checking his fins. Looks like he just caught a bit of a ridge on that wave and just kind of made the board skip. Gives you that feeling that you're going, to this, going across the side as if you got no fins in the board. Here's the replay. First wrapping turn. Setting up. Bottom turn. Throws it up and just catches a little ridge, loses all his traction in the board, throws him off. So we are at 12 minutes, 12 minutes. Blue, you are in the lead with priority. You have a 4.5 and a 2.67 for a combined total of 7.17. We're waiting for a score to drop for white and red. But blue, you're in the lead and you have priority. We'll update as soon as these scores drop. 11 and a half minutes. So we're still waiting on a score to drop for white and red. 11 minutes to go, folks. Penultimate, penultimate heat of the day. Heat three of the round of 56. <clears throat> Live like Xander, junior pro. WSL sanctioned event held here in Barbados, Soup Bowl. Soup Bowl Barbados, I should say. Soup Bowl Bashiba over on the east coast of Barbados. It is sunny and warm. So for those of you feeling a little parched, head over to the bar. Fiona and Trish and Ryan, keeping busy all day. Okay, so scores trickling in for white. We have 10 minutes to go. Okay, so score drop for red. Red, your previous, your last wave was 5.27. And white, your last wave was a 2.1. So situation update, blue, you are in the lead with a 7.17 combined total and you have priority. White, you are in second place with a 5.0 and a 2.1, you're looking for a 2.17 to take the lead, and you have third priority. Red, you're in third place with a single wave of a 5.27, you're looking for a 1.83 to advance. And green, you're in fourth place with a single wave of a 2.6, you're looking for a 4.51 to advance. Eight minutes, 35 seconds to go. Priority with blue, green, white, and then red. So 
So a little bit of lull in the action. Surfers are just jostling, keeping their eye on the ocean, looking for any, any signs of any movement that there may be a set heading their way. So we'll take this little break in the action to once again shout out some of our sponsors, Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., BTMI. This whole production is brought to you the kind compliments of Diamonds International, the Tourism Development Corporation, and Slam 103, getting us out there on the airways. Also want to shout out Zacchio's General Distrib Distributors, Lloyd's T. Sunbum providing sunscreen for everyone on the beach. So if you guys turn up and you forgot your sunscreen at home, head over to the bar and there's a free pump and some lip balm. Want to also shout out Chipmunk, Eco Sky, keeping us all hydrated, making sure the judges have got plenty of water throughout the day. It does get hot under the tent. As the wind dies off and makes better conditions for the surfers, it makes it a little warmer on the beach. So Eco Sky Water, these guys are literally taking water out of the atmosphere and putting it into a recyclable bottle and making sure it's available for us. We also, of course, want to shout out Mount Gay, the Bear of Barbados, Banks Bear, sorry, Mount Gay, the Rum of Barbados, Banks Bear, the Bear of Barbados, Remy Martin, and St. Luke. So live action, we're looking at red. Luke Revensdorf from USA getting a nice smack off the lip there in a critical section. A little bit of a wrap around. Looking for that inside reform, building his speed down the line so we could try to tag that one section, but doesn't really give him a lot. But the work was done on the outside. So Luke presently on a 5.2. So priority sitting still with blue, and then green, and then white. Five minutes, 20 seconds to go. Here's the replay of red. So coming up immediately, trying to build some speed so he can hit that first critical section. Lots of commitment. And after that, just a couple of wraparounds, rebound off the white water, but that wave doesn't offer up much on the inside. Five minutes to go. All right, so your last score, Luke, was a 6-3-3, and that puts you in the lead. So, Blue, that drops you to second. White, you're now in third, looking for a 2.17 to advance. And Green, you remain in fourth with a single ride, looking for a 4.57, and you have second priority. Priority sitting with Blue, Green, and then White. Four minutes, 30 to go, penultimate heat of the day. All right, so if the next heat is ready, you guys can start paddling out, but make sure you stay way over in the channel. We don't want to have any confusion between the competitors in the heat present and the ones that are paddling out for the next heat, so stay over in the channel. We know you guys aren't trying to encroach, but it is, and it is difficult for you to figure out where you are in the water sometimes. That's why we're gonna just keep letting you know if you get too close. Okay, under four minutes to go. So in the next heat, we got Timothy Simmers. Enzo Ackerman, Winter Larrabee, and Lucas Skinner. Okay. 
All right, back to live action. We got Red Luke Rebensdorf. Just up and out. Green trying to manufacture a score. Big wrap around. Finds himself out on the little open face. Smaller wave, but it's standing up for him at the moment. He's going to stick with it. Seeing a little potential on the inside if he can build his speed up. Tags it once. Looking for the final finish. And just about has enough. So that's Ryder Smith from USA on his second wave. He's just taking a look at it again. Big wraparound rebound off the white water for the first maneuver. Gets a little hung up as the wave kind of flattens out on the second and third maneuvers. But keeping his board moving. Back to live action. We got Luke on his fourth wave. Trying to manufacture some scores and defend his lead. Coming off the white water. Looking for that section to stand up a little bit. Just loses all his speed. Too much pressure on the front foot and goes down. So, waiting for some scores to drop for red, white, and green. Priority sitting with blue. We'll update the requirements as soon as these scores have dropped. Looking at a replay of white. Gets up straight into that lip line turn. Another wrapping cutback. Third wrapping cutback. Waiting for the section to stand up. Fourth wrapping cutback. And gets out of there. So Green, your last wave came in at a 3.3. White, your last wave came in at a 2.83, which moves you into second place. And we're waiting for a score to drop for our heat leader. 40 seconds to go. Priority sitting with blue. Okay, green taking priority over white. Trying to find a score in the dying moments. Blue on the outside using his priority, looking for a second, for a second score. Sticking with green for now, tagging it to the inside, nearly digs the nose, pulls it out, manages to build some speed up and tag it one more time. 13 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right, so here we're looking at green's last wave. He took that off of white, used his priority. Manages to tag the lip a couple of times, wrap around, nearly digs the nose, but then manages to pick it out and just about tag the lip one last time. So we're waiting for scores for blue and green. So servers in the next seat, hold your positions. We're on a short hold. Oh, look at that replay from blue. Looks like he got some work done. He's looking for a small score, so... Let's see what happens, what the judges think. We could see some movement. Okay, so Red, your last score comes in at a 3.4. That does not factor into your total. You still hold the lead, waiting for one score to drop for Blue. And scores starting to trickle in. Blue, you require a, required a high three, and it comes in at a 4.17. That moves you into second place. So official results, our heat winner, Luke Rebensdorf. And in second place in blue, Jack Ackerman. Third place will go to Ka Sage Katz, and in fourth place, Ryder Smith.
All right, we're going to take a short break, go to a commercial break. We'll be right back with the last heat of the day, number four, round of 56. Please stand by. From a place, we upset every single race. Paradise is we name. Come over and you will fall in love. I should stay, have a special time of the year where we just get away. Most beautiful display. Go search a million ways. Right back to live action. This is heat number four, round of 56. Coming up in this heat, we have Timothy Simmers in red, Enzo Ackerman in blue, Winter Larrabee in white, and Lucas Skinner in green. We saw Lucas, sorry. Winter. Winter. Yeah, Winter just getting started with a small inside one, coming up from over on the east side a little bit. Tried to run down the line, tag it hard once, but then just ran out of wave. So. All right, so 18 minutes, 50 seconds. This is the last heat of the day. We saw a heat flip-flop just at the very end of that last heat with Surfer in third, flipping over and going into second. We've had some exciting finishes today, actually, Lou. We had a couple of, couple of waves, a couple of heats where we had four or five waves ridden in the last minute. Yep. And here we go on the outside. As you see, your Surfer's in this heat on your screen. And my screen goes dark. Uh, so... We're back. That was Enzo Ackerman in the blue jersey. Not quite sure what happened. And here we look at this replay. Yeah, Enzo coming in, just having a little tag. Ah, oh, just seemed to completely lose, lose his footing on that board. I don't know what happened. That was weird. So White, your first score came in at a 1.5. And that's, here so goes here we White go again. White up and right, and this is White Winter again. Larby He's working his way onto the open face. He's working it all the way to the inside. Just a series of small cutbacks. All right, so just looking at the replay of Winter Larby from USA. Stands up, goes th straight into the lip for a little white water foam climb, then a big wrap around, trying to get back out onto the face, builds some speed, catches a little bit of wobble on that bottom turn. Little white water rebound, and then just cuts back out. So your last wave comes in at a 2.5 white. So you have a combined total of four, letting you sit in the lead for now. Enzo in blue with just a tiny 0 0.67 throwaway score. And still waiting for Timothy and Lucas to get started. 16 minutes, 20 seconds. Final right. heat of the day. All right, so while we have a little break in the action, we're going to not cut to the glass. Standing by with Amaya is the winner of the last heat. Luke Rubensdorf. Back at the St. Luke Glass for the interview of the winner of heat number three, round one of the BTMI Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia, presented by Diamonds International. How are you? I'm good. You good? So you look like you were having fun over there? Yeah, it was fun. The waves were super fun out there, actually. Yeah, I mean, there are a few gems to find and get a few scores on the, on the board. Yeah. How is it compared to where you're from in Oceanside? Uh, it's a little bit different. It's reef, it's a point break, so it's like super different. This wave you could actually do like probably five turns on. At home it's usually about two to three, but yeah. Well, sounds like a little better then. Yeah. 
You pumped for the next round? Uh, yeah. Are you going to be surfing the same board, maybe? Uh, yeah, same board. It's magic stick. All right, I know that is here. Hi, Dad. <laughs> you want to say a little something, maybe? Shout out for friends, family, back at home, maybe? Yeah, say it. Hi, Mom. She's watching back home in Oceanside, so. All right, well, thank you so much. Good luck for the next round, Luke. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to live action. While we were on that short break, no waves were rented. 14 minutes, 35 seconds remaining. Situation remains the same in the water. Winter, Larby in first position in the white jersey, followed by Blue in second position. And the surfers in green and red yet to open their account. So looking ahead of the forecast, Lou, looks like Tomorrow, slightly dropping swell, but very favorable winds. I don't know what the call is going to be. Yeah, no, we haven't got the call yet. So the winds will be cooperating with us tomorrow, and yeah. I don't think it's the tide is not that bad either. Yeah, the winds are due to be quite light, which is going to mean a warm day. So make sure you've got your sun bum covering you up. But um, those light winds coming out of the south, those southerlies are absolute magic for the east coast and soup bowl cleans up all the chop on the face of the wave and we have just nothing but glassy conditions so let's hope that it is a swell well here we go up inside white winter larby working out onto the open face oh and he goes down on the outside green lucas skinner here we go explosive surfer floats the first section Floats and drifts the fins on the second, working his way all the way out. There's that speed we talked about with green. Yeah, now, now get him. Now he's working on red. Timothy Simmers banging it. Nice, frothy, foamy wave. It's got something on the inside. Four major maneuvers. Wow. Working it all the way to the inside. That was a well-surfed wave. That wave had a lot of froth and bump on it. And he just kept going. Let's... Take a look at white first. So white winter larby coming from deep, coming in, trying to tag that first section and just catches the nose and the rail, goes down. Immediately after that, oh, next we have Timothy Simmers from USA coming around. Nice gouging turn to start. Being patient, comes up, tags the lip, throws the tail out, comes around. Plenty of turbulence in the white water, but he keeps attacking that lip and blowing the tail. And one more time. And tags it to finish. So Timothy getting through loads of work on that wave. And here we have Green down the line, projecting white water foam. Th drifts the tail out on that next section of white water. Big wrap in turn, rebound off the white water. Another wrap. And he kicks out. Loads of speed down the line. But that big drifting turn, his second turn of the wave, will be where the points are on that one. All right, last of green, 5.0. 5.0 for green. Still waiting on a score for red. Priority sitting with blue, then white, then green. Here we go, green up and right and Under third priority, smashes the first turn. Nice wrapping cut back. And blue on the outside, getting some work done. Floats the other section. Working it all the way to the inside. Throwing it up in the lip. Wow. So green and blue both getting waves. So we got a heat on our hands because red's about to drop something. Yeah, waiting on some scores to drop. But this last heat started to wake up. Lucas charging down the line on that one. Didn't see what Enzo got through. We're going to have to wait for the replay. But Lucas went to town on that wave. All right, last of red, 6.67. So still waiting on a score for green and blue. Yeah, 6.67, the, the high score of the heat so far. 
So Red will be happy with that start. Last of green, 683. So one more for blue, and I'll update the situation. Under 10 minutes to go. All right, 4.67 for blue. So green first. Green, you have a 683 and a 5. Red, you're second with one wave of a 667. Blue, you are third with a 4.6 and a 0.67. You require a 2.0. White, you are fourth with a 2.5 and a 1.5. You require a 4.18. Nine minutes, 22 seconds remaining. Here we blue, got blue, up and writing. Nice wrapping cut back from Enzo Ackerman. Surfer in blue. Yeah, he, he was in third priority, so he pulled the trigger on this one. Works it all the way down to the inside. With eight minutes, 56 seconds remaining, he's looking to ditch that .67, which I'm sure he's going to. Uh, yeah, almost for certain. So here we go, gets up, does a little stall, waits for it to come around, big wrapping cutback. Another wrapping cutback, throwing the tail out a little bit on that one. And then just carving around, waiting for the inside reform. Now he takes off and tags it once and twice so that will throw away that 067 for sure oh and on the replay we got green throwing the air reverse and still make finding some more wave to work with making his way down to the inside there's that speed we talked about doesn't see anything more and cuts out so waiting on a score to drop for green but that's a i think that's the first air reverse i've seen today all right, last of blue, four, four, seven. Eight minutes remaining, waiting for a score for green. I'm gonna look at that replay once again. Oh, straight into that air reverse. Lands, shows all the control to ride in reverse for a little bit and then spin out of there and then maintain his speed to go in to look for another turn. Here we got red. Timothy Simmers up and riding, coming from around the section, vertical white water climb, big wrap around, rebound off the white water, pumping, looking to get the inside section where you can get, oh, and that just slips off. I think Timothy was just eyeing up a possible air attempt. He was looking to attack that last section, but the foot just fell off. Here we go, Winter. All right, Winter goes up and gets hung up on that first turn. So he'll just jump on his board and paddle back out. Okay, situation for Blue. In the lead, we have Lucas Skinner in green. Combined total of 12.26. Behind them in red, you have a 6.67 and a 3.4. You need a 5.6 to get to first. In blue, you sit with priority. You have a 4.67 and a 4.47. You're looking for a 5.4. And in fourth place, score dropping for winter, that's a 1.7. So you have a 2.0 and a 1.77. You're looking for a 7.57 to advance, winter. Priority sitting with blue and then green. And we have just over six minutes left to go. Final heat of the day of the BTMI Barbados Surf Pro 5000. This is the junior event, the Live Like Xander. Junior event, all competitors under 20 years of age. Looking at that replay of Timothy, big white water climb, vertical, wrap around and rebound off the white water, but then this is where he just slips off and cuts his scoring potential down. 
Looking at white, rebound off the white water. A lot of bump and froth on that face. So while there's a little break in the action, five minutes to go in the last heat of the day, we're gonna once again try to shout out our sponsors. BTMI presented this whole event presented by Diamonds International, the Tourism Development Corporation, Slam 103 FM, Info Rentals, all your needs, all your tools, all your equipment. Okay, we got White up looking on the left, but he just tries to tag it and pulls out. Not much happening. So yeah, Info Rentals located on the south coast and I think around Black Bess. Anyhow, if you ever need to rent a tool, if you ever need a tool to get that job done, whether it be in the yard or in the house, Infra's got all your needs. We got Mount Gay Rum, the rum of Barbados, oldest rum in the world. And in Barbados, we drink something called a swamp water, which is basically a rum and soda but we put a little splash of coke in the top that makes it look like murky, muddy water. All right, back to live action, Lou. Wow. Okay, lots of activity going on now. So we just had three riders up on short rides. Here we go, looking first at red, Timothy Simmers. He gets up, starts making his way down the Rhine. First snap off the white water, comes around. A little bit of a hook back, carve back, looking to stay with the power source. And again, rebound off the white water. Not feeling that one, so he kicks out. And here we see Lucas Skinner down the line, straight into the white water. That little white water climb allows you to get back out into the face. And then he goes for the crazy blow tail reverse, but comes undone. In the meantime, we had blue. So we're waiting on scores for green and blue to drop. Two minutes, 43 seconds, guys. Two minutes, 43 seconds. Waiting for a score for blue. Okay, here we have red. Snap off the lip. Wrap around. Cut back. Waiting for the reform. Big wrap around. Rebound off the white water. Tries to throw the tail a little bit. That little bit of flare sometimes catches the judge's attention. That first turn was nice and vertical. So, to update, guys, two minutes to go. Waiting on a score to drop for red. And I will update you. One minute 45. At the moment, we have green Lucas Skinner in the lead. Behind him, we have red, but red has a score to drop. So blue, you're looking for a seven, two, three, but we're waiting for red's wave to drop. Red drops a 5.23, which keeps him in second place, but means that green, ha blue has a slightly higher requirement. So blue, you're looking for a 7.23 to advance. White, you're looking for a 9.4 to advance. So we have white up and riding coming from pretty deep. Lost my screen. There it's back. Yeah, white's not feeling that one. One minute to go. One minute to go. Blue, you have priority. You require a 7.23 with 48 seconds. Green, our heat leader's up. And throws the air, landing tail first, but doesn't manage to ride out. Now we have red up. 
Big snap off the lip. Carve and roundhouse into the white water. Rebound off the white water a second time. 19 seconds. So we're down to the last 10 seconds, the last heat of the day, guys. And five, four, three, two. Okay, still waiting on one score to drop. All right, and that drops in at a 6.1 for Timothy Simmers. That takes you to the lead. So official results, Timothy Simmers taking the win with a 12.77. In second place, Lucas Skinner with a 12.26. And then in third, we got Enzo Ackerman. And in fourth place, Winter Larrabee. So that's it, folks. The final heat of the day. We're going to throw it to a little commercial break and then come back, send it down to the winner, to the glass of Amaya for the winners, and then wrap up. Day three, another exciting day of action here at the Soup Bowl in Barbados. Welcome back to the broadcast. Another exciting day under wraps here. Just want to make a small correction about Lucas boards, Lucas Skinner's boards. He is on Slater design boards, but those boards are all hand shaped by his dad. He is sponsored and supported by Slater Designs. We apologize for that mistake, but all the boards are shaped, hand shaped by his dad in Cornwall. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I did know that his dad did the design and all the dimensions. I didn't realize that he actually shaped them as well. So big up to Ben Skinner, Skin Dog, Skin Dog Designs. Ben was here a few weeks ago at uh, Freight's Bay with the whole family, just tearing it up. Such a smooth, classy, stylish longboarder. You guys can look for him on the WSL Longboard Tour. All right, everybody on the beach, everybody in the water, we're going to make a 7.30 call tomorrow. All the competitors, you will find out this evening what's going to be on, what we're going to do. So look out for the WhatsApps or the emails. I think we're going to have a little bit of a highlight reel coming up shortly. But that concludes the day's surfing. Stay tuned for the highlight reel coming up. Here we are with Timothy Simmers for the last interview of the day. He just won heat four of this round one of the Live Like Xander Junior Pro in loving memory of Xander Venezia presented by Diamonds International. How is it going? I'm good. Only good? I mean, you just uh, stole the, the lead the very last few minutes. That must be a good little confidence booster. Yeah, for sure. I'm great. <laughs> I mean, you're still surfing very good again today. Is that the, surf the same board you're surfing again? Yeah, riding the same board, same fins, same leash. <laughs> same leash as well, wow, same thing. Don't change the team that's winning, right? Nope. <laughs> All right, so you're looking forward for the next heat? Yeah, for sure, just 
excited to like surf Super Bowl again, like not many people out. <laughs> For sure, and I mean, that was great action over there. All the boys were ripping, but you managed to uh, find the best scores. Um, you want to say a little something for friends and family that are away? Yeah, hopefully my dad's watching. I think my sister and mom are on a plane, so I don't know if they're watching, but yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Go get some rest or, I mean, maybe another little yeah. session to finish the day. You deserve it, man. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.